world of radio shock jocks, the biggest are Opie and Anthony. These people say shocking things that border on offensive uh, in order to entertain their audience. I refuse to sit here and think that radio has to be nice. Why? Why does radio, out of any other medium, have to be nice? We are being now held to a standard where we have to be nice and make people feel good. Go screw! Radio Bad Boys, Opie and Anthony. Controversial radio personalities, Opie and Anthony. Infamous DJs, Opie and Anthony. Talk show radio hosts, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Radio Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Uh, twisted testicle. She wrote out a prescription that basically said, warm baths. So <laughs> well, they would look like alligator eyes popping out of the water. Ah! <laughs> What's the best show on TV? I think it's called Three Sheets. Where Anthony is in relation to the wind when he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> I have a red light in my bathroom. Wow. Over showering with a chick when you have a red light. You're always thinking yeah, of okay. how you can look a little better. Exactly. So I have a blindfold that Hannah girl. She comes in. <laughs> <laughs> The Opie and Anthony radio show, the most popular show in the history of satellite radio. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Ah. And we're off. Here we go. That's good. Got to adjust everything every morning. I got some intel that uh, the studio's being used at night. Oh, is it? Yeah. Even though they told us that wouldn't be happening, and if it was going to happen, they would let us know. Hey, it's your studio. We're building your studio. <laughs> yeah, 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 we get it. Yeah, all right. Sure. <laughs> so apparently people come in here and there's new equipment and settings are all screened. And it's not just Ron and Fez, you know. We mean above and beyond Ron and Fez coming in. Like at night, there's some kind of crap coming out of this studio. We, we, we've been doing this uh, long enough. I mean, stop with the bullshitting. Just tell oh. us. Just tell us how it is. And we'll have to just yeah. accept that. And then we deal with it. Yeah, enough with the bullshit. Enough yeah. with the, uh, you guys were under-marketed and under-appreciated and oh. blah, 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 blah. Oh. Just tell us how it is and that's it. Yeah, that's all. We're not rookies. We're we've, veterans of this game. We've been through this. Right. Lay it, lay it out on the line. That's right. Then we know what we got and then we, uh, we work around that. Good morning, Dan. Got <laughs> all. What is this? It's good. <laughs> it's good. Can I? Re- am I giving anything away by no. even reading this? No. Dan just handed me a, a CD that just says "Guy butt fucked by wife." <laughs> it's a good little story. It's not a story. Uh, and Bill Murray story. hit somebody with a golf ball. He hit somebody with a golf ball every year. That was the pro am that was uh, happening over the weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that his like thing? Well, is that his thing to do? He's a horrible <laughs> golfer, and he he plays that pro am every year. Horrible golfer, is he? <laughs> and and he, oh. yeah. Oh, I see. Yes, and, remember uh, the old days when yes. that was a slang. And um, when he's in this pro am golf tournament, everyone wears helmets and stuff. Really? Yeah, because they want to watch Bill Murray, but they don't want to like die from being hit by a golf ball. Shanking them. So they <laughs> they got all sorts of football hem- helmets, hockey helmets, uh, motorcycle helmets. Really? I guess this woman was just one of the stupid ones that that thought Bill Murray could actually play golf. Well, they saw him in Caddyshack, so I guess they assume ever since Caddyshack, which was a million years ago. Uh, Bill Murray plays golf, and people assume he can play golf. Yeah, <laughs> but well, we, apparently not. We could start with this really fast, and then we can see how everyone's nights were. Sure. Get some of the personal stuff out of the way. Ah. ah. <laughs> Why is comedian Bill Murray on the ground next to this? Oh, this lady. Oh God. The What's her name? Friggin' vo- I don't it's, know. Annoying it's, bitch voice. It's Jeannie uh, Moes or is that Moss it? or whatever. Why is everybody? <laughs> Shut up. She's the one that got us in trouble for the Voyeur bus, so I never forgot yeah. her. Yeah. She jumped on the Voyeur bus. Oh yeah. Rat. Was oh, in, family rat. Was interviewing everybody, and we're thinking, wow, good publicity for the Opie and Anthony show. We got a CNN reporter on the Voyeur bus where. Where teen girls are getting naked all over Manhattan. And then she conveniently, what, jumps off the bus right outside City Hall? Yeah, and then runs into the mayor and says, What do you think about this? Yeah, and just plays the tape for the mayor. And next thing you know, all hell broke loose. The Jeannie Mose was the one that that started that uh, that nightmare for us. Why 
is comedian really Bill Murray on the ground next to this woman? It's fun. Because he just conked her with a golf ball while teeing off. I felt this explosion Did in my head. Did he hit her between the first and second hole? <laughs> 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 I love that joke. I love it too, actually. Yeah, she was stung between the first and second hole. <laughs> Off. I felt this explosion in my head. I thought I was having a stroke. Gail DiMaggio was out in her backyard watching the Outback Pro-Am tournament. Wow, she wasn't even at the event. Maybe it's one of those houses on the golf course. Still. Then she should be used to it. I guess. But, yeah, she's just in her backyard. <laughs> Doing some, some gardening. Oh, we got a lot of that one. <laughs> oh. Yard, watching the Outback Pro-Am tournament, hoping for a close-up view. Gee, I hope Bill Murray's ball comes on this side. Next thing you know, Bill Murray himself was at her side, apologizing profusely. How many fingers? I mean, then he just started comedy routines. He lifted my shirt, he gave me belly tickles. You put your head on your belly like that, and then a person puts their head on my belly like this. Before they sent her off to the hospital for a CAT scan and six stitches, Bill helped her up and worked the crowd. And he never stopped cracking jokes, even about going to the hospital. She's going to take this opportunity to have cosmetic surgery done, get her eyes, um, her ears pinned back, and just her highlights done. One city wants to pack all the... Oh, what a bomb. <laughs> this isn't set up right. Uh, whatever. See, like I said, everything is tweaked. Uh, wow, Bill Murray not being too funny right there. I never no. thought that Bill Murray was that funny. I don't hate him. I just never thought he was that funny. You don't think Bill Murray's funny? I really don't. I, I don't mind the minority. The problem is that he started making too many artsy, weird films. He's not off the cuff funny. I'll, I'll say that. I, I In his older movies, I found him funny. Stripes uh, okay. SNL. Stripes, he was funny. okay? He John, was great at Stripes. Dude, John Candy I thought was great in Stripes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bill Murray was okay. John Candy is, is way funnier than Bill Murray. I would I would admit that, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, but, you know, Caddyshack was funny. Caddyshack rules. Chinch, chinch bugs. <laughs> Manganese. <laughs> That's a great character, but it's a character. When he's just Bill Murray, I don't think he's very funny. I think he's a bitter guy. He comes up as a bitter guy trying to... Come off as a funny guy. Yeah. I'll say it again. I saw Ghostbusters recently, and a lot of people put that on their top five funniest movies of all time list. Yeah. Not so funny. Not funny. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not so funny anymore. No. It doesn't hold up. I guess it's one of those movies that just doesn't hold up for whatever reason. I was never a big fan of that movie. You weren't, ne- right? Never. That's never what I was, was thinking when I was watching. I'm like, did I even ever like, like this I movie? I think I like this one. Was it for the masses, you Ooh. think? Ooh. But I did like the song. Is it Ray Parker Jr.? Yes. And Huey Lewis getting all the money from it, remember? Oh, yeah. Because he sued Ray Parker. And took all his, this is, took all his cash. Which, this is, what song is this? Uh, it's not I Need a New Drug, what, is it? What? I Want a New Drug? No, I mean... It's the Huey Lewis song, and he sued, and now he gets money from this. We had Huey in, and he was yeah. very happy about that one. <laughs> I want a new drug. One of them make me sick. Oh, boy. One of them won't. Blah, blah, blah. Make me feel three feet thick. Bam, 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 bam. Are you a Huey Lewis fan? Uh, yeah. As a guilty pleasure when it's Huey on? Lewis in the news. It's all right. This, this is I- Sports. Yeah, Huey, Huey was big uh, back in the uh, in the day, as they call it. Remember that day? Mm-hmm. The day? The day. Yeah, it was the day back then. Mm, well. Ghostbusters. Yeah, I didn't find that um I'm, I'm glad we're movie. on the same page with that one. Back there. Nah, no. What about Ghostbusters 2? Because I still have that. Ooh. No? Don't watch? You. Okay. No, that's the one with Sigourney Weaver, right? Well, the first she one. she in the first she one? She was in the first. All right, then. See, I don't even know. What's his name was just not funny whatsoever. Ned Finney. <laughs> uh, what's his name? The dude that played the nerd. Rick Moranis. Oh, I don't think I've ever oh, found Harold Rick Ramis. Moranis funny. Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis was the guy in Stripes, the tall yeah. friend. Of, oh, you don't mean him? No, I mean Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis, who yeah. was uh, the Honey I Shrunk the Kids oh, guy. Uh, um, he was down the hall guy. Ugh. And he was. He um, was horrendous. Yeah, and he was uh, uh, the 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 two guys on um, Second City. Yeah, 
the beer guys oh, always man. drinking beer. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I guess uh, you got to be Canadian to get that. Does Travis got info? Travis. Well, Travis. you know they're making a third one, right? Oh, then I don't need no. Steve on Long Island. I hang uh, up on Steve on Long what? Island. What? A third Ghostbusters? Yep. All of them are coming back. Well, of course they're all coming back. They uh, haven't done anything doing in, in the last 10 nothing. years. Nothing. And they're going to train new Ghostbusters. <laughs> And there's also a Ghostbusters video game that's coming out that's actually getting some pretty good reviews. Is it on the Wii? Uh, you know, I don't know, but I did hear that uh, Rick Moranis uh, no. refused to do any voice work for it because he, quote, retired. From what? Is he doing the movie? So, yeah. uh, is he? Well, yeah. he said he said that he wasn't doing any voice work for the game. So. What, what an ass. <laughs> what do you mean he retired? Actors don't retire. From they just, what? They just don't get parts anymore. Yeah, he stopped getting work. <laughs> right. That's called retiring. So he's trying to spin it. Oh, I'm retired. You retire, but you don't determine when you do the business does? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Travis. Yeah? I need a lost update. Sure. What's going on tonight? Oh, no. What shenanigans no, are they worry, pulling? Dude. No, no, it's not content because it's lost is on tonight. This tonight. is what I look forward to every goddamn Wednesday. And what are they doing to their fans tonight? Tonight is the story of the Oceanic Six. It's a clip show. Yep. It's a clip <laughs> show. They're it's doing a, a recap show. It's a repackaged, probably narrated terribly. Why? Save a Why? Week. Because it, it, I, I, I give... <sighs> Like, what's the actual reason why? Yeah. So that so that the show can go throughout May, and they can hit all of May sweeps through sweeps. Yeah. Oh, so they're milking it. How come? How about you just put new episodes in there that are really good? How about and we get yeah. to watch it? Or you know how many you're putting out in January? So just you yeah, know, figure it out then. I think their ratings are pretty good. I think they could afford to throw another good episode in there. It's the most DVR'd show. Is it? And illegally downloaded. Legally. And legally downloaded. Legally. <laughs> wow. Hey, speaking of which, I, I'm, I'm looking up at the screen. Uh, Amazon.com getting in, into the movie business, I see. Oh, is they? They, uh, they got 500 movies and TV shows that you could now get through yeah. Amazon.com. Was wow. it Amazon.com? I hope so. I looked up real fast. Yeah, you can just download them and stuff. Well, mm. I mean, we're all heading toward just having every single thing ever produced available Downloaded on our home system, right? We're getting there. You know what? Uh, you know what I do now? Uh, when I I I haven't bought software like in a store or even um, online where they send me a disc. It's all downloadable now, mm -hmm. and I'm talking like not, not just little things and stuff. Real software, like like that cost a, a lot of money. Software, yeah. And then you just you know, hey, just download it. Get it on your computer. It's there. And then they could send you the disc also. But you have it at that second. Like, that's the worst part is waiting. It's like, I need this program. And it's like, uh, uh, you got to wait. You send for it. They'll send you the disc in a few days. It's like, no, I need it right now. But for, for older people, not that we're uh, yes. not that we're that old, we're, we come from uh, an era yeah. where when you buy something, you want to see it in front of you. You know what I mean? I, I see it. I think virtually. I know, but I think the kids are okay with that because they're they've been downloading uh, you know music and whatnot for so long. But yeah, when we bought our music, it was a hard copy. You needed you're like, see, I own this, I bought this. Now you buy stuff and it's just kind of in your computer. <laughs> it's just yeah, you know what I mean. It's just in there. It's just you you want to be able to hold what you buy. You know what the most important thing is. Making sure you you uh, write down or at least in some way, shape, or form keep that goddamn serial number. Because <laughs> if you have to reinstall, you could go to the site, you could re-download some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't have that serial number, you're screwed. Because mm -hmm. you don't have a disc, you know, to load it or a, you know a jewel case to open up with the sticker in there with the number on it. So you got to make sure that's like I learned that the hard way a few times. Well, yeah, oh, some man. good some good programs just like that. Ah, that is the worst. Uh, if you lose your serial number, please call this number oh, and forget that. Yeah, oh, please. The company's out of business. <laughs> so, it's They're long impossible. gone. It's uh, impossible. Vince from Bayonne, Amazon.com has been in the download biz for a while. I figured as much. Oh yeah. The story actually is they just added HD downloads yesterday. HD. Movies and TV shows. Mm. Here's the second uh, part of the Bill Murray hitting the lady oh. 
in the head with a golf ball clip. Ooh. And what did Dale DiMaggio want for getting hit on the head by Bill Murray's golf ball? Just an autographed copy of the movie Caddyshack. At least the only things he goes after in Caddyshack are gophers yeah. and flowers. Mm -mm. The day after he caught no. the lady on the head, Bill Murray was back on the course continuing the tournament. And this time, all of the course marshals were decked out in hard hats. Almost two years ago, Murray was stopped for allegedly drinking while driving a golf cart in Sweden. But there's not the slightest suggestion of drinking this time, just a bad drive. He introduced me as the lady that walked in front of his shot. Gail has the ball that hit her, already autographed by Bill. You want to see the bruise, is that Yeah, oh, that's a great idea. She calls it a happy accident. And look at that nice deputy taking Bill's hat to clean off a mud splatter. Better mud than blood, which is what happens when goofball meets golf ball. All right, enough. Enough with wow. the references. Enough Ish. about the dumb event. That's the worst news report I've ever heard. Well, she it does those, could be she does the those worst every day. Ever. She fucking stinks. <laughs> wow, is she bad. She does All those right. type of reporting a couple times a week easy. Yeah. Horrid. She is fucking terrible. Who cares? The guy hit a golf ball, hit someone. Oh, we'd like to see the bruise, this and that. How, how, how much do you need to talk about this? Exactly. Yeah. You got hit in the head. All right. That's enough. You got a copy of Caddyshack? Move on. Go yeah. back to your gardening. A golf ball, a <laughs> golf ball. We got it. <laughs> Wasn't a fucking cannonball. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh, poor world. Just take her head off. Well, I, I shut it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's uh, that's a terrific story today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a what a lame friggin' uh, uh, way to present that. That's how she does it's, it. It's just it's like they her, gave her much too much time. First of all, she gets a lot of time on that CNN. Yeah, human interest type of thing <sighs> with puns and. Ugh. Oh, speaking of human interest, what the well, barely human interest. What's what happened? With the, what's with the talent? Uh, Singer, England, ugly. The monster? <laughs> it's like I'm playing the $20,000 pyramid. Susan ugly, Boyle. singer, England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never got laid. Boyle. Yeah, that's a, a big part of the story. She hasn't been laid. But uh, she said she wasn't going to get any kind of makeover or anything. But what? There's, she's slowly like coming out of the house now with makeup on and mm, yeah. her giant retard hair wig. <laughs> Whatever that is on her head. Oh, you don't think that's her real hair? I can't tell. It's so big. It's just, it, it is elephant man like. The top of her head is giant. It, and if she shaved that head, she, it it's a complete man look. She has a man face. But uh, oh boy, is she milking this fifteen minutes? Well, it's more than that. I mean, she's the real deal. What, the singing? Yeah. yeah. All right. A lot of these stories, it's you're right, they milk it, but in her case, she's the real deal. But, <laughs> you hear about the offer she got? Oh, f of course. What? What, what what offer was that? The uh, well, indecent proposal? Yeah, she's never oh, been yeah. she's never been kissed. People are starting to say that uh, <laughs> she looks like Pat from Wanaki. With the wig. If, if you put a wig on Pat. I think we put a the, There's a picture of Pat with hair, I think. Really? I oh, think we, we did put the, a wig on I him I think we something. put a wig on him. If we could find that shot, I think we got a good one for Wow, him, right? that that would really be good if we get... I think we we put a wig on him once. Put uh, that wig and a dress on him. Because she hasn't been kissed... There's a uh, a porn company out in California. Oh, of course, California, there is. offering her one million dollars to make a porno. <laughs> really? Yeah. Who? Well, okay, I would say <laughs> I would watch it. <laughs> I was just Everybody go, would who watch would, it. Who would watch that? But it's kind of like, yeah, I w I would watch it. <laughs> one million dollars. <laughs> that with a blonde wig on. That... Does it look close? <laughs> well, the hair color is different, but yeah, that's. That's pretty close. We should do a little spoof video with uh, Pat <laughs> doing his Susan Boyle impression. <laughs> what is the song again? What's the big song she sings from Les Miserables? Oh, I know. Les Miserables. <laughs> That's one of those words you, you start pronouncing it right and then it just like falls apart. Les Miserables. <laughs> Les Miserables. I love the uh, Miserables. <laughs> Oh, like my mother used to make a nice big bowl of miserable. <laughs> Here's the latest on Susan Boyle.
I think she's being uh, upstaged a little bit. They're trying to say she's being upstaged by a 12-year-old. Here's, yeah. Here's the story. Well, sometimes I go out by myself And I look across the water And I think of all the things What you do And in my head I paint a picture What? I hate that fucking show already. Is that Britain's Got Talent? Yeah. yeah. Enough with it. With, with the fucking, with the ground swell of, of emotion from the audience. <laughs> yeah. Assholes. They're so a what? Needy nation. Oh my God! Some, something other than fucking. Hey, we've colonized this country. Comes out of somebody's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch America's Got Talent? America's Got Talent? Yeah. No. It's a good show. As far as those shows go, I can't do the Dance with the Stars. I did because of Jeffrey Ross for a couple weeks, and I can't do American Idol anymore. But America's Got Talent is all right. This this really? I thought that was a chick singing. Twelve year old sounds like Amy Winehouse. Shaheen, <laughs> is that a guy or a gal? A girl. It's a guy. Okay. Listen to his voice. Or is that it now for him? You got this really wrong. What? What do you sing apart from that? Who's Loving You by Michael Jackson. You want to give that a go? Give it a go, eh? is like a little Michael Jackson. What the fuck were you doing at 12? Crying. <laughs> That's something, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> what I hate about this show... Is how the camera just keeps showing the shocked look on the judges' faces. Yeah, yeah, that's their thing. But they can't believe the talent they're witnessing. Wow! I love when these uh, contestants can take Simon out of his role of being a douchebag. Like, they keep showing shots of Simon. Yeah. Appreciating this kid. Michael Jackson was, you know, pretty much like that at, at 12. He, yeah, but he was also like a millionaire at 12. This kid is probably living in the slum somewhere. Yeah, fuck, uh, fuck that monster Susan Boyle. Yeah. It's all about this 12-year-old. I think she's done. This uh, kid's <laughs> name is Shaheen. Oh, boy. Uh, Jay. <laughs> Jump in when you think you know not his gonna, name. Not, well, not going to work here anymore. <laughs> uh, Shaheen, jump in when you when you could pronounce this. J A F A R. Hafer. G H O L I. Gorley. Hafer Gorley. You're going to go with Hafer Gorley? I'm not. Hafer. 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 Half of <laughs> <laughs> sounds like another Italian dish. Actually, if you look at the name, ah, half of half a gory. I'm gonna have some uh, jagagagoli. <laughs> My mother would make it. She put the sauce melted. Yet, really, would yeah. she? Ah, oh, the pork would melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. <laughs> Here's a question: Up. How do we how, how do we get to see this Britain's Got Talent in America? Can we watch it on the BBC channel or anything like that? The BBC. Which is the most boring channel on the cable oh, system. It's terrible. <laughs> it's yeah, awful. Now news from around the world. When I will talk <laughs> like this, I have to go up at the end of everything. <laughs> so annoying listening to those guys. Yeah. American President Obama visited England. <laughs> God. Is that English? 
I want to watch well, this Britain's Got Talent be- between the monster and the the little kid. They, they, they got a good show going. God, they got the pictures of both of them. Well, look at that. <laughs> that woman is truly a beast. How else do you describe her? Monster. She's a monster. I'm, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is saying she looks like Otto from Otto and George. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she oh, does. Holy <laughs> shit. A cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she should be working the kid. Having the kid on her lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Look at him. A <laughs> 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 cock. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sing his song, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Dale in Michigan. Dale, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Dale. Looks just like Hey, I was going to say, they better uh, cut that rec- that kid's record pretty quick before he uh, gets some hair on his nuts and turns into a Peter Brady. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he's got that nice high voice because he's a kid. Although, you know, again, Michael Jackson was able to eke that shit out. Until yeah, but he they, was, uh, they kept giving him female hormones uh, well into his 30s. Though. Was that what they were doing? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, can't get over that now. <laughs> George. <laughs> she looks like George. Oh, that is great. So actually, it's George from Otto and George, right? Oh, broke cunt, sir. <laughs> oh, broke cunt, sir. Oh, my God. That is perfect. <laughs> perfect. Hawk, uh, hawk. <laughs> Dr. Jimsy from Whackbag. She looks like a burn victim with fake eyebrows and a wig. <laughs> she looks like a Benny Hill character, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is she terrible? Yeah, she's a terrible yeah. woman. Is that England is weird, man. There are some really hot bitches in England, but man, are there some disturbingly inbred monsters over there? You get a little island where, you know, not much fucking can go on. Well, they couldn't get around, so they had to fuck each other. Yeah, yeah, that's just it. Let's you start know? that rumor today. Maybe that's why they colonize so much, to try to just get that that seed Spread uh, out off nice. of that little island. But uh, once they had to pull back, wow. So this Craigslist killer, as I look up at the uh, one of the ATVs we have in the studio. Yes. What a ghoul. Held without bail. Good move. And how delusional is the fiancé? She says he's a wonderful person inside and out. They got the wrong guy. Uh, she's saying that the Boston police... Uh, just arrested him to um, uh, sell the story and 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 get like a money money from for a book, and think she's pulling out everything. Um, this guy's so guilty. <laughs> yeah, they got him on IP addresses. They got him on. Uh... They found a gun and hand ties, the same ties that were used yeah. on the on the girls, uh, and duct tape in yep. his in his apartment. And they got BlackBerry uh, uh, yeah. uh, emails, I guess. Emails, Craigslist uh, responses. That this guy, like all, all the features of the guy that killed that girl, he's dead in the water. And apparently, uh, he killed the girl. But, but he uh, also um, like was was holding up some of these girls, getting uh, getting mm-hmm. their cash. I don't think he was at the killer. I think he probably was a robbery gone wrong. He probably went to rob her to see where he fucking hit her with the gun butt or something and then shot her. She Apparently she resisted. What he would do is tie him to the door. Why are you going to into the, the door? You're going into your book bag like you got some uh, props for this story. Yeah. Yes, it, this is going to be hysterical <laughs> once you see what I do here. Uh, very funny stuff. I actually didn't plug something in that I was supposed to plug in, and now it says low battery. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, talk amongst yourself for sure. a second, or else this will shut off. Well, they're saying that he was a, uh, a gambler. Yep. He had some debts that he needed to pay off, so oh, he, yeah? he decided to uh, he decided to rob bitches. He's he? On, he was on his way to Foxwoods when they arrested him. Well, after he killed this broad, he went to Foxwoods, and he had a good night. He gambled for, I think, 24 hours and walked away with 5000 Wow, not bad. You want to talk about a poker face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Oof. Man, if you could kill a broad, go to Foxwoods and not sweat through poker hands, <laughs> that's pretty good, yeah. right? Good job, son. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he um, he, he apparently had done this before, mm-hmm. getting uh, robbing money and going to the casinos. Yep. And he had a, uh, a little bit of a, a problem, I think, because he had a lot of, uh, I guess, markers taken out. Oh, really? Uh, he'd, he'd get casino credit, 
and um, whoopsie, mm-hmm. uh, he'd lose and have to rob another hooker. Uh, and that seems to be his M.O., as they like to say, modus operandi. And he was a pre-med? Yeah, yeah. He had a couple of years in medical school. Uh, one of these, you know, uh, clean-cut douchebags with the fiancé. They're supposed to be married in August. Don't look like that's going to happen. They might have to put that off. And uh, all the friends shocked. You're going to lose a deposit there. Yeah, yeah. Oof, oof. <laughs> that's going to be a little tough. You're going to have to eat that one. <laughs> Who gets the phone call? Good news. A date has opened up at our wedding hall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have some good news for you. I, 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 don't you think, though, that her family is just consoling her with, look, Thank God you found out beforehand. Mm -hmm. It could have happened after the wedding. Just be thankful. We're going to have to move on with this. He kills hookers. (laughs) (laughs) This isn't a man we really want at the house for Christmas. (laughs) This is not something he can work on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But then the the friends were all saying that they were shocked that this isn't who he is and and, uh, all that happy horse shit. But um, they're also saying there was a weird side to him, kind of a mysterious. He wouldn't, um, he wouldn't talk about himself a lot. Uh, he didn't uh, even tell anybody that he was engaged. He, mm-hmm. They just thought he had a, a girlfriend, but and not a fiance. Uh, so, you know, eh, I love when they interview the friends anyway. Like, what the fuck do they know? If if he was going around saying, "Yeah, I rob hookers and I killed one," perhaps you know. It would have ended sooner. Sure. <laughs> of course, they didn't know about it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, what a what a piece of shit. Yeah. That girl was pretty hot for a Craigslist whore. And let's be very honest. That is part of the, the reason we feel as bad as we do. Because if Susan Boyle was killed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly. You know? We, yep. were, we would be trying to scrape up bail for this fella. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. You know how the poor guy probably was expecting something hot, come to the door, and this slob comes over. and The defense attorneys would be using the same tactics that hog farmer defense attorneys <laughs> use when they charge their two mean to the pigs when they slaughter them. <laughs> mm. You know what amazes me about the lawyers, though, is the uh, this, this lawyer for this guy... Um, after a couple of days, is my client is pleading not guilty and is not guilty. Yeah, enough with that like, crap. You know something? Shut up. First of all, how do you know? How do you know after two days of sitting with this guy uh, that he's not guilty? I know it's their job to defend him, but, you know, don't come out and publicly make these ridiculous statements in the light of all this evidence. They go, all they have are words. Mm-hmm. All they have are yeah, words over a BlackBerry, words typed into a computer. IP addresses. <laughs> IP addresses. Satellite coordinates. Yeah. They yeah, got they got just about everything. Uh, and the, and, surveillance and, tapes. Yeah, and, and it's an insult to the, the victim's family. I mean, the ground is still soft. You can't even walk over the grave yet. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you, you sink in as you go visit the thing. And, uh, yeah, well, he's, he's not guilty, according to the lawyer. Yeah, great. Good, thank go, you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Stupid lawyers. I hate them all. Hate them all. But he, uh, yeah, he's been pulling these shenanigans to pay for his gambling debts. And um, I guess this girl resisted a little too much, conked her on the head, um, and then shot her right in the chest. Someone uh, suggested he watched American Psycho a bit too much. Yeah. The, the uh, girlfriend's okay. name is very familiar. Uh oh. The last well, name. Yeah, for real? I might know her mother, yeah, because she lives in uh, Little Silver, New Jersey. What? You might know her mother? Possibly. The name is real familiar. And How all, would you know her mother? Through another friend of mine. It could be somebody completely different, but I used to I used to hang out in Little Silver years ago when I started comedy, like 1991. Did you have, um, did you have uh, relations with the mother? No, no, no. No, Ooh. no if, if she's the person I'm thinking of, I just knew her through my friend. Oh. Just go research that, Jimmy. Find out. It's like the inside scoop. Maybe we could have her on the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then again, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I uh, met your mom years ago. <laughs> yeah. I was um, doing a high-energy character down the street at Rascals. <laughs> <laughs> high Awful energy. bit. Mm-hmm. But, uh, obese primate uh, ice cream. <laughs> I'm going to bring that back. Are you bringing that? Uh, yeah. You uh, should do an old school set. Chunky monkey bit back. I thought of that. That's pretty funny. Like, you should announce you're going to do, do an old school set. Oh. We should, we should do an old school show then. Well, we have been. Hey, did that make it up? 
What the latest? The newest, video? the latest video. I, yeah, I, if you want to take a look at no, it, no, I don't. Can you, guys? I, I uh... <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy just got this big twinkle in his eye. Yet? Well, the bit is we. I, I've been putting up uh, old videos from when we did a TV show called Real Rock TV up in Boston, and I don't know if it's helping or hurting us. I, I'm starting to think maybe I should oh, not put God. these up. Why? It was really funny. Wait, don't play it yet. It was uh, very, very funny stuff, guys. <laughs> and they're all, these videos are linked to my Twitter, OP Radio. I can't tweet today. I don't know where my BlackBerry is. Tweet. Oh, I'll tweet. tweet. I don't know where the fuck it is. Tweet. I think I, I might have left it home. But uh, here's the second video. One a day. One a day until the douche chills get so bad that I have to stop this process. One a day is quite enough. You know, on Twitter, you could hit that reply thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is it positive reviews so far? Oh, it's just brutal. <laughs> Have your fun, boys and girls. Yeah. Getting- I don't I, I didn't even look at it and I was getting like reviews <laughs> Twittered to me. <laughs> just saying, Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty bad stuff, huh? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll set this clip up. First of all, the the turkey bowling clip was supposed to go up. Right. With hot chicks and stuff. What I, happened? I, I think it could have been okay. I think we could have saved face on that clip. But they're, um, the video uses uh, Take the Skinheads Bowling, that old song, that old dumb song that no one downloads or cares about. Yeah. And because of that, there's a copyright infringement thing that YouTube's really into these days. Well, for a while now. So, uh, you know, I can't, I can't get it up there. It sucks. Hmm. If they know you're using a piece of music, they, they deny your videos now. Denied. Well, they've been doing it for a while, which sucks because it was on TV. We're just re- basically re-broadcasting this. What a load of crap. And and that's a much better clip than this. So last minute, we kind of like scrambled and put this one up. Today's yeah. clip should be a lot better, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This one's good, though. So basically, you know, we're such cool TV hosts, Anthony. Yeah. That we're hosting the show from my car, just driving around and... and Causing all sorts of shenanigans. Didn't we goof on Rocco about doing this with the rock bus? <laughs> well, we didn't steal my own car, though. <laughs> well, I know, but but why were we doing this? Why were we broadcasting from the car? I, I guess it should be noted that, you know, we had a radio show to do. <laughs> and then, here, like, here comes the excuse. And then we had, a, remember Ian? And then yes, Ian's like, course. what do you guys want to do on Real Rock TV this week? We're like, I don't, we, we don't even know what we want to do on our show. Well, that's true. So it was always like, it really was a, an afterthought. Like, all right, how about this? We'll, we'll film some, sh- some shit from our, you know, my car. You yeah. can say that again. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so this starts with Anthony acting uh, retarded. I'm really surprised Bruce Mittman allowed this on the fine TV show. Uh-huh. Because you're acting like a, a retard. You're you're banging your head on the glass, the passenger side uh, window. Why was I doing that? And, because there's, we're at a red light, and there's uh, some like, you know, housewife next to us. Oh, I was trying to like freak her out, and you did freak her out. All and, right, and good. we'll start with this, Jimmy. When you want us to stop the tape, you just uh, raise your hand and point to Danny. And this is basically just showing you what nuts. Opie and Anthony were off the air. Like, Crazy. Like, yeah. it doesn't stop here. No, no, no. What's DailyMotion.com? Use DailyMotion.com. You can put anything up on there. I might have to do the turkey uh, bowling clip on DailyMotion.com. i got to check that out later. There's so many sites, but, you know, if no one goes there. Yeah, but if you got a link and, and it's stuff that, you know, you weren't yeah. able to show anyway, why True. not? Throw, you know, throw these clips around a little bit. All right, Jimmy, here you go. The first look at uh, the video. You, ha- you didn't see this? You oh, got to watch. I did. Oh, you did. See yes, it. I, I did. I, 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 I haven't. I did. I haven't. So Anthony. I'm ready to douche chill out. Oh no, this is good. How many problems oh, you got? This with, is good. How many problems you got with this clip, Jimmy? None. It was really funny. I mean, <laughs> it, 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 I, I was like, these guys were like, when did these guys like kind of slow down? It was like obviously 24 hours of craziness back there. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> good copy. Racing away. 
Ah, fun with Opie and Anthony. This is what we Pause do it. when we're not on the radio. <laughs> Pause. Pause it. What, fun with Opie and Anthony. This is what we do when we're not on the radio. Fun with Opie and Anthony. <laughs> I was <laughs> groaning and banging my head against the window to try to upset the woman uh, that was uh, next to us at a light. Yeah. Yep, that's fun. Do you? I, don't I think it, fun. I don't even remember doing this. I don't remember doing this at all. At all. What do you think, Jimmy? That's the same thing Markoff is saying this morning in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I have no recollection of doing this. I don't remember this. Uh, there was. Uh, oof. It's oof. Very busy. You know, it's not particularly well shot. It's in the back seat, like a guy is just holding the video camera. Yeah, and you could tell there was no take two. Oh really? No, no, there's no. not one uh, for safety, as they say. No, we Let's don't have, do one more for safety. We don't have time for take twos. All right, here comes the uh, the second part of the video. Yeah, radio, by the way. <laughs> Real Rock TV on the road. That's great. Stop for the pole. Stop it! Don't be an idiot. Uh, hey, on the Real Rock TV <laughs> show tonight, we got a, a live performance from Power Man 5000. That's Rob Zombie's uh, brother on yeah. lead vocals. Hey, you want to see us break a law for Real Rock TV? Get the red light on the on the TV. Uh oh, watch. Oh, my God. There's a red light oh. now. <laughs> we got downset. You we got downset. The camera the cut. Right? You're crazy. Uh, what? What? The, the, what? The, the camera cut right there is horrendous. Probably because we stopped short yeah, and, didn't and made go sure we didn't it. break the law. <laughs> <laughs> why, would, why would the camera stop there and not show us going through the it light? It shows completely? you going up under I, the red light, and then all of a sudden, uh, I, I it do cuts. remember we actually went through the red light. Yeah, we did. But, uh, but I'm was, so amazed and stunned. Whoa! But this is you know we've been dealing with management and lawyers for a long time. Oh, yeah. I I do believe they didn't want us. Didn't want to show us breaking some law. Oh, that's on probably a t- it. on a TV show because then so they cut it out. Right? So then we would get arrested or or we'd have some kind of problem. It's like whatever. We'll yeah. deal with going through a red light. I'll take the points. I think you're if right. If it makes for good TV, but they're like, no, no, no. It makes for good TV. <laughs> let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's cut. Should it. be arrested for this. <laughs> yeah. Let's they, cut it right before you officially break the law. That's probably what the station was just telling you guys to be polite. They were probably like, this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like just tell them it's illegal. Maybe they'll drop the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, like that was the, the big law. It was like the little slow drive through the red light. It was like, oh Woo! yeah, did it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hit it again. And we got a Star Wars party, and uh, Rocco, I think, is doing something with the Monster Truck Show, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you is that a cop, man? Yeah, I, I want to comment about my man. A I, I, Star I, Wars party. What's a Star Wars party? I don't remember. I don't remember that. a Star Wars party. Maybe it was the morning show. It had to be those those. We were geeks. Cr- like cross promoting, saying what Rocco's going to be doing, and yeah. Ugh. And I said, "Man, man, can we hear man. the man again? Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> Doctor Beaver. Our wars party, and uh, Rocco, I think, is doing something with the Monster Truck Show, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> is that a cop? Uh, <laughs> check out the show. We got to go. <laughs> 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 Wish that would have happened. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'm funny. I was only joking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? Yeah. I am protecting myself. I am scared of you. Please call the police. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Is but. the only way to put that. <laughs> I, that's bad. I, I can't even. Does that make you uncomfortable to watch? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of. A, I, I'm cringy. I'm trying to wrap my arms up a little bit around myself to get warm. People are confused. I said, I don't remember this at all. And then I remember the red light thing. But all of a sudden, the red light yeah. thing came into... I, I remember that they didn't want us to officially get in trouble. We, but, they want us to be edgy, but yeah. not officially break the law on uh, the TV show. But Ant, you're actually Just going... the crap we, we've been dealing with forever. <laughs> yes, uh, Jimmy? Ant, Ant's actually going like, you know, like, oh, no, the cops. Like, like you're like making it like it's a crazy <laughs> ending and what's going to happen. Right, because uh, I didn't know. We're screwed. Oh, we're screwed. The beauty is oh, that Anthony, Anthony gets pulled over every other month now. Of so. course. See? 
See, we're edgy. See? I just see? Don't, I don't film it. As my voice gets higher. See? Oh, God. So what happened? Did the cops pull you over? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was yeah, a big was, to-do, oh, Jim. Boy, big yeah. to-do. Spent Fucking... the night in jail, and Bruce Midman had to bail us out. And yeah. Was, there was no cop. Should have saved yourself like Charles Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> what was with the friggin' just... The, the bullshit we would do. We were just happy to be there. Oh, completely. That was part of our transitional period. It really was. You know. God, thank God. We, we had to, we had to like, find our find our way. I like when you go, it's Rob Zombie's brother's band. And I think Ant goes, like, uh, I think you say that. Then Ant goes, yeah. Like, the one yeah. who acts like, yeah, that's an enthusiast. Yeah. Well, Power, uh, Power Man 5000 was pretty... They had a little thing going back then. They did yeah. right. I, it's kind of funny to hear what bands you're introing on some of these clips, you know? It's like, hey, and uh, here's a, uh, what was that band? It's Butt Trumpet or something. Oh, you're ugly. <laughs> and we're, we're here from Butt Trumpet in a little bit. Watching these old shows, there is, there is band after band after band that is no longer around. It's just not around. Bands like Reach Around. Hey, remember we'll, the band Reach Around? We'll be hearing from Brother Kane. Oh, an interview remember with Brother Kane. Brother Kane. <laughs> He was, he was supposed to be the next big blues guy. Yeah. All happened right. There. So that's today's clip, Jimmy. Not as good as yesterday's. We'll we'll get a doozy for today. A oh, Lulu. Maybe Sam could like uh, preview what he's thinking of uh, putting up there for me today. God, why not just put us uh, uh, in gay porno? It'll be less <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> what part makes you go? Ugh. Uh, My man kills me. Every I, I reaction can't. I have. It's just, yeah. Do you like the retard hey. thing you were doing, though? Um, that wasn't that bad. You know what? I don't think it was TV worthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be funny if you're in your car and, and the woman, it's working and, you know, you're getting a reaction from her, mm -hmm. scaring her perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, but, Sam ran in, so he must have something good. Oh. Well, you know, you guys didn't stop the craziness there when you were driving. We're no? not doing another driving, but are we? Did we do, like, uh, I think a drive through thing? Yeah. What did we oh, do at the drive through no. Well, Obi <laughs> decided to go up to the drive through and ask just for a piece of cheese. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's like, what? Well, why? Why? Jimmy just woke up. Just for a piece of cheese. Yep, he said he wants just the cheese. No burger. Well, wow. Now, what that, did the crazy. drive person say? And well, he also said, "and no ketchup on it." I did not yeah. do that. <laughs> did. Find another clip. I refuse <laughs> to allow that up there today. And then they they gave you a piece of cheese. Yeah. And then Ant said, <laughs> Ant, oh. Ant said, I thought I probably said something. <laughs> You're hoping you skated. Great. <laughs> I was hoping he would just say the end and walk out. But no, when I hear Ant said, I get scared. And when you want to tap out, you give me a call and I tap out for this bit. Because <laughs> I can't even look at the replies, the yeah. comments. Yeah. this is. Although uh... you guys got to keep them at five stars. As soon as I see those stars drop, bit over. Yeah. Bit over. <laughs> yeah. But they gave you the cheese. Yeah. And the aunt said, Ooh, I get half <laughs> of the slice of cheese. Ah, of the slice of cheese. Or blame for the bit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And, and Opie said, No, dude. <laughs> I got the cheese. I asked for it. We're fighting over cheese, man. And then you go, Anthony, you go crazy. And take it right out of Opie's hand and cackle and laugh as you rip the piece of cheese in half and enjoy your piece of it. <laughs> of the cheese. Why would we do this? Why would we do uh, this? Look, I, I can't do this bit anymore. Why would we do this? <laughs> I, I have found my Wow, line. that's great. There's no. a lot more. <laughs> no. you, know what, you know what the worst part is? Just hearing Sam describing it, I can't listen. No. To watch that would be so painful. What other bits have you found? <sighs> Um, I don't know. I, this is two episodes only, all this stuff, and I still have a stack of tapes. Dude, I got 20 more tapes at home. I'm bringing them in slowly. We're digitizing these things for the first time. Thank God they're coming into the uh, new millennium with yeah. us. Mm -hmm. They're being transferred to uh, the digital age where they shall reside forever and ever. Because the thing about <laughs> tape is <laughs> great. There's like 40 shows. So don't you guys just... did forty of these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't don't just 
put up clips. You got to get gotta, any better. You got to find the good clips. The best of the best. Couldn't get yeah. worse. <laughs> yeah, I know. How long were they? Half hour. Yeah. Any other uh, any other clips that you've seen? Not that you, I can think of off the, the top of my head. The big I mean, one is the tickle me Elmo bit. We I haven't did. I haven't found that one yet. That's no, gold. No, it's funny. To this day, people talk about our tickle me Elmo bit like it was like it was TV gold. And I'm sure it wasn't TV. Oh, gold, oh yeah. As yeah. we look back, I don't even. I I remember <laughs> some of the things we did in the bit. But I don't remember how it all kind of played out. I, I <laughs> I'm petrified whenever these go up. I really it's, enjoy. It. Just call me and I'll tap out. I'll say it's over. Because now it's over, now it's like what is it like three o'clock? They go up or something like that. No, yeah. Now we're moving. Well, we try to do it at three o'clock, yeah. and then today's because it's part two of the driving bit. We'll put up after the show. Hmm. You know what it's like? Uh, I'll, we'll put it up before we go home from uh, from the facility. Here. It's like being at school, and <laughs> the bully you. is going to beat you up at three, <laughs> and and you're just looking at the clock, going, "Oh God, no, God, no," because you just know an ass kicking is coming at three. The movie's called Three O'clock Blech. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there. I sit there with the Twitter with the update, and I just think, and I just look at it, oh. and I'm like, "All right, yeah, update." Oof. And then I just like turn off all electronics. Yeah, best. I, 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 I shut down phones because my phone rings. You know, because yeah. of the, the the friends of the show start calling. Go, immediately. Hey, hey, I saw the uh, <laughs> real rock clip. Wow, you guys sucked. I just love the people that think we're putting them up there to go, look how talented we are. Oh, God. That's what people don't understand about this radio show. We're unlike just about every other show. Yeah. We we allow this. Oh, we'll show we, you the we allow these disgusting, beatings. putrid underbelly. <laughs> we throw ourselves under the bus, and then I read comments, and they're like, I'm like, you don't get it. I have Dude, to say that this was today. so lame. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> Exactly. I know my hair is horrendous. I know I look like a Dutch boy thing. <laughs> no, well, you ought to do yours. Defend it vehemently. It's great stuff. <laughs> oh, really? about it. It's very funny. Just yeah. try to fight our way out of it. Yeah. Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore had a fine line today. <laughs> oh. About this. He writes uh, ONA from happy to be there to angry at everything. <laughs> Good for you. That is, that is true. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Wow. Oh, there's a typo on the pad data, according to Scott from Hopak. It's supposed to read real suck TV. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, and someone's suggesting this is everything kids did in high school. It's not TV worthy. Yeah, we were cutting edge like jackass before jackass. And, and, uh, <laughs> no? <laughs> well, yeah, the cheese thing was pretty. Uh... <laughs> that was like jackass. Yeah. <laughs> See? Well before Jackass. We were the originators of Jackass. Yeah. Douchebags, we, 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 <laughs> we just didn't have the good bits. Yeah. We didn't uh, do anything funny or entertaining <laughs> on there. So it was... <laughs> we asked for a piece of cheese. Yeah. yeah. Were we introing, like, uh, you know, segments yeah. in between? Uh, hey, you always... asked for the cheese, pal. I just tried to get half of it. <laughs> and you did get half. Yes. Ooh. See, the thing about... VHS tape is that over time it degenerates. Yes, yes. Now, with this technology, <laughs> we'll be able to have every episode of Real Rock TV forever and ever. It will reside in the digital world uh, as long as there is a digital world. Are, Somewhere, it will be there. Yeah. Have you found a douchey Rocco bit that really brings the whole Rocco thing home? You know, his is probably going to look like fucking gold Can compared to our horse <laughs> shit. People are going to be like, God, the Rocco was funny. I'm going to find the best Rocco band. Yeah, find like something really funny. We'll look like shit, and he'll look like a genius. I can't get over the fact that he looks like a fat Kenny Powers. Dude. He's got the mullet and everything working. My mullet, dude. All right. The next one goes up. Uh, today we, we go early because it's part two of the driving thing. So right. probably before noon today. Wonderful. Know why I'm doing that? Can't wait. Why? So they forget about the other one we put up. Yeah, well, <laughs> they'll forget by watching something worse. <laughs> it's horrible. All right. Great. And you don't no other bits that come to mind yet that you're thinking? Not off the top of the head, but I, I mean, yeah. I have top of your head is a, a mess too. Yeah. Did, did you see? You're ripping me off because did you see? <laughs> yeah. From under my hat. All that uh, uh, afro hair poking out of the back of the hat. Yeah. 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 Those were the days. <laughs> Those were the days, all right. What's sad? I'm actually paying Sam 
to do this for me? Wow. All right. Why am I paying you to make sure these are on DVD? So, because we, we need them. archiving, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, he's archiving some of my stuff. That's yeah, fantastic. I'm going to give these tapes to the Museum of Television, Radio, and Film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? Yes. As in the what not to do <laughs> section. The new what not to do wing. <laughs> Yeah, so it's uh, Opie Radio on YouTube and Opie Radio on Twitter with the link. So the shit. You do? Oh, right, let's Jimmy, go shit. you started taking that uh, again? Yeah. You did. One already before I left the house. Oh, wow. One yeah. dump already and you have to go again? Yes, I This did. is really cleaning you out. It's just liquid, though. But some, ah. people, some people say it's all bullshit. Well, it might be. I don't know, though. Some swear by it and others say, no, it's all bullshit, these pills that clean you out. What does Dr. Steve uh, say? He's a, he's a good one to go to. Dr. Steve. Can we get him on the phone Paging today? Dr. Steve. We'll try to get Dr. Steve on the phone about the... What, uh, what, Oxy powder? Oxy powder. It's all this stuff that really gets uh, gets you doing some like, exploding crap. Mm. It's like uh, Metamucil or... Uh, What's it? Was Metamucil in a half. I like the Metamucil. Oh, yeah, Metamucil in a half. I like the Metamucil. In a half. I like the Metamucil because it just keeps things going. Yeah. I like Sillian that. Husk does the same thing, but it tastes terrible. Yeah. Uh, quick break, and hopefully Dr. Steve to talk about uh, duty. Yeah. And Miss California. I don't want to let this stupid Perez Hilton story go yet. No, I Douche. This guy is infuriating me by making it all about himself. That's what he did. That's what he did. And, but they allowed it. I'm more pissed off, I think, at Trump for allowing this. Yeah, well, he doesn't care. He just wants to see. Uh... It's Trump's pageant or not really? I know NBC kind of. Yeah, it is. It, it is. He just wants to uh, get as many viewers as possible. So that's what he does. And Miss California is uh, now defending herself on the Today Show. We got that audio. Mm. She's basically saying she didn't realize how many gay people there were out there. Now she's kind of backtracking a little bit, but it's like you answered the question honestly. Yeah, she did a fine job. She just I think just the gay community would even admit that. Like, you know, all right, maybe we don't agree with what no. she said, but she answered the question honestly, and that's all it was about. I don't think the gay community would agree. What? To tell you the truth. What, do you think they're uh, on Perez Hilton's side? Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Too- that's, the too, gays are that's too very, bad. The gays are very... Um, no, I'm not saying about... They, they know how to get behind each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you, <laughs> you don't think they have an open mind enough to... Mind? To... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do gay jokes now for the whole... But you don't think they have an open mind to realize that she answered the question honestly, even though maybe they don't like the answer she gave? That no. seems to be the problem, no. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Gays are... um um. Uh, at least the ones you see in the press, in the media, defending gayness, are very, um, surprisingly enough, intolerant. Very intolerant as to other people's opinions on gay. It's weird. You'd think they would understand what intolerance is Every and group. maybe learn from it, but uh, they don't like other people having ideas. Every uh, group is intolerant. That's, I, yeah, that's, that is true. It's like every the, group. And that's the biggest problem with our society. Every group fighting for tolerance is th- very intolerant. <laughs> well, we had the uh, the Rick Ross interview that Sam did, and he's calling uh, 50 Cent a monkey and stuff. And I'm thinking, a white dude does that. Oh, my he God. He's so fired. And shot. Yeah, yeah well, true. Well, yeah, it would, it would be a major problem. <laughs> yep. But then I get confused. I'm like, well, if he's saying monkey, then why can't Whitey say monkey? Why can't we all say the same shit is what I'm saying? I don't know. Was that's, he using conf- it as a slur, you think, or just like as a... No, but, you're but, saying he was ugly. Yeah. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. If you said that, yeah, let's just use it in that term. If you said it uh, to describe someone's ugliness, yeah, like they did in what? Sanford and Son was the big line? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, gorilla uh, cookies. Gorilla cookies. Right. If Aunt Esther ought to sma- slam her face into dough and make gorilla cookies, that's what Red Fox said. Which is... <laughs> it's hysterical. It's a brilliant line, but oh, if of a, course it a is. white comedian does that, fired. Yeah. Yes. Fired back then, fired today. Yeah. I think we should all just be able to say the same shit. Well, that's the uh, age-old uh, problem, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We're not allowed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we sit here and uh, walk on eggshells. It's amazing. It's so ridiculous. We can only do whitey jokes. Yeah. Stupid whitey. White people are stupid. Do you want to film some uh, car bits today? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, get the camera. <laughs> Sam, you get in the uh, back seat and, and film us? Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we, sh- we, we should. 
<laughs> I should take a ride around. back. I should take a ride out to your joint. Sam's in the back, and let's see what Sam we can come up with. Sam in the back seat. But that's what we did, you know, ten years ago. Yeah, it then, certainly is. And then <laughs> didn't have a filter to think. Well, maybe this doesn't belong on TV. <laughs> it's stunk. Stop uploading old Real Rock TV clips and just reenact them. Oh, the we generation. could do that. Update them. Yeah. A re-imagining. Uh, reimagining. Reimagining. But the same, but the same stuff. Though I want you to be going. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll get some ah. kind of. I'm, I want to get a Dutch boy like uh, wig. Yeah. And gets the ponytail wig. And with like, with like sweeping cameras and 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 CGI. <laughs> yeah. Like it's got to be done really well now. <laughs> it's got to visually look good, even though it's the same horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta do a a show live from the compound where you like kind of like show these videos on your green screen and comment about them. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. We've already uh, come up with the. Danny came up with. Was that you came up with the idea? The uh, mystery science theater. Oh yeah, yeah. For these videos, we got well, or uh, just other for stuff. like anything. Every so often, Wait, you can't pop come in up with that theater. idea. That is, that's. Uh, that's <laughs> wait a minute, I can't allow that. But but see, you it's, can't come up with an idea. It's I us come stealing up with. it. But it's us stealing the idea right, and uh, doing it in a real theater, <laughs> live, live. That's that's cool. see, live see. playing a movie, and then we'll just goof on the movie. If you guys want to make yourselves feel better, uh, when we come back from break, I have a Scorch update. Oh, all right. <laughs> Scorch. We're all going to be back together after the break. All right. Uh, Mark Murphy from Boston. You guys are like the moron uncle from Napoleon Dynamite who has the bad videos of himself throwing a football. <laughs> God, he was great. <laughs> Another movie that just gets better and better the more you watch. That guy was a, a true tool. <laughs> he was a hoot. Uh, let's not forget, guy butt fucked by wife. That story on the way. <laughs> yes, Opie Danny. Anthony. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show live from Sirius XM. Way up in the sky. We're way up there, right? How many floors? 36. 36, 36 floors up. Yeah, that elevator ride pops your ears every morning. I'm yeah. like, ah, oh, God. You got to yawn like halfway that. up, right? Yeah, you got to give that mm -mm, or, or swallow hard. Especially if you're on your knees and Jimmy's in the elevator. <laughs> Whoever, That's right. <laughs> big load. That's right. <laughs> Whoever designed this place, not this studio, just the whole facility? I don't no. know. I mean, the views you get up here are ridiculous. We, we don't see them. We don't see them. <laughs> We're in the bowels. It would give you a nice feeling of broadcasting live from, you know, the biggest city in the world. But Skyscraper. It, instead, we look at walls and... I kind of like not seeing. I'm telling you, I, oh, I, I love never to liked, see that sun bouncing off the buildings every morning. Never liked it. it really, nice I don't. For what's what's I don't, the problem? No, no, I don't like the uh, at K Rock. I never liked how the light would come in. It would always be in my face. I like a, a fucking studio where you can you don't know any. We could be here at one o'clock in the morning. It wouldn't make a difference. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like to see any of the outside world. And the weather. You know something? He might have a point because the weather sometimes made an impact. Like, if it was a nice sunny day, you'd feel kind of good and everything, and then it's a crappy snow or cold, and you look out the window and just be like, Ugh, yeah. fuck, I got to go out in that. I don't want to, to see the passage of time outside. I, I don't want to see anything. I want no? everything, the light to remain the same. Yeah, it's I, weird. Oh, time okay. still passes, even in here, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was magic land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the complete opposite. I want to see the, uh, the day. Really? Well, yeah, it's developing. You know what it is? You would think that there would be uh, studios. Like, it doesn't have to be only the executives and the conference rooms that get the fucking windows overlooking the city. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd think maybe a studio or two could have a window uh, that looks out over um, yeah. uh, Manhattan. There's even, like, a hallway that separates the studios from the windows. From the windows. So there are studios close to the windows, but then there's a yeah. hallway that separates them. I would have shoved that shit right up against the windows. There's probably some engineer going, wow, the acoustics. <laughs> There's a problem with the acoustics bouncing off the windows. Have you walked that hallway? It's actually on break sometimes. I'll go and walk behind our studio and let's just look out the window. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty high up. It's way, way yeah. up. Almost you, 400 feet. You, you get to see Times Square, the Hudson River. It's, uh, it's Yeah, look at the Broadway. It's, you see Broadway. What were you saying, Danny? You're the only one that, like, is uh, is annoyed at yeah. the view that he has out the office yeah, I'm window. <laughs> I'm probably like the you don't youngest like person. The view. I'm the youngest person to be annoyed at their Times Square office view because in the morning it's it's very dark and we keep the lights down in the office and Times Square is just blaring in your face. <laughs> you're trying to work and like you're trying to work and like every two seconds like you just kind of you just want to. I, 
I, me, I, I want to look to the left because something is flashing out of the corner of my eye. For the people that have never been to New York City and checked out Times Square, it, in the middle of the night, it's daylight. Now. Yeah, yeah, you can walk Square, down Broadway. You walk down Broadway, and you ever, you ever been inside a club? Like, when you come out of Caroline's uh, Comedy Club, and it's midnight 2 in or, the morning, whatever, whatever it is, sure. you, you close the joint. Yeah. Uh, you walk out. When you're walking up the stairs, you can't see the sky, but you can see the street. And the, the buildings across the street and stuff. And it's like kind of like an overcast day mm-hmm. outside. And you actually feel like you're walking into daylight. And then you realize, holy shit, it's 2 in the morning. And the, you look up and the sky is dark. And uh, it's time to go to the bar around the corner. <laughs> and then you, you walk a little too far. And then you start going into zombie uh, yes. territory. <laughs> yes. Very treacherous uh. out there at times. Hey, we got a Scorch update, Ant. Scorch! Now, for the newbies, Scorch worked with us at AAF in the Boston area. Unfortunately, Scorch was let go before any Real Rock TV episodes. Before the success of uh, of us, the the success of the station. Before the giant success of Real Rock TV. So he wasn't involved in those comedic hijinks Mm -hmm. uh, that you're getting to enjoy. Uh, and he's the famous uh, jock that was, we always forget, but he was either pizza or hamburger, yeah. and Dave Douglas wanted the opposite. So he yeah. said, look, Scorch, you're pizza, let's say, and I need yeah. hamburger. So he goes, you're, you're, not ba- you're not bad. He's like, you're not, you're not bad. I'm going to have to fire you. If but I want bad, pizza, you'd be, you'd be It's like people love, people love pizza, but I need a hamburger. So Scorch... Uh, Left. That could be a had to, had to leave. That could be a good little phone bid that we could kind of say in and out today. Mm-hmm. How the boss fired you with their dumb analogies instead of just going, you know what, idiot, you're fired. It's we, always yeah, well, we never always, got an analogy. Yeah. <laughs> you're an asshole. We need talent and you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the best one I ever heard was Scorch's firing. Yeah, yeah your yeah. pizza. I want hamburger. I'm sorry, pizza's yep. good. You should find someone that likes pizza. Because pizza's good. Don't don't let this be a reflection on you and what you do. You're you're great. People love pizza, mm-hmm. but I'm I'm in the I need a hamburger. I'm in the mood for a hamburger. So take your fucking sauce, cheese, and dough and roll out the fucking door. <laughs> and now uh, Scorch is pretty much delivering pizza, so it oh, worked, oh, worked out well for him. Oh, no. What is he doing, now, Sam? The beauty of um, Sam is... His butt? His butt. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yes. Cherub. Careless stomach. Little cherub. Um, <laughs> Sam worked with Scorch as well. Yes. Which is very bizarre. He, yes. He worked with someone from our past. Scorch taught me everything I know about radio. <laughs> oh, he tells dude. everybody that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't he th- tell people that we ripped off half his bits and stuff? He says <laughs> he thought him up and just gave him to us. Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah I thought it would be what, what, what are some of the bits we took from Scorch well, according you, to Scorch? He didn't, he's not <laughs> upset about it. Yeah. Like, you guys share back and forth a little bit. <laughs> a little back and forth going on with us and Scorch. Brain, like, brainstorming. <laughs> for instance, he gave you guys douche or dressing that you guys love. <laughs> Right. He gave that to you guys. That's true. We did it once as a <laughs> as a as a mockery. That was scorch of though. scorch. It was an homage. No, it was a mockery. <laughs> okay, it was. He also, I mean, one of your guys' favorite things was always feels for meals, which was a scorch uh, creation. <laughs> no, was it? I remember the day we came up with that. Were well, you talking to scorch that day? <laughs> no, I wasn't. That was definitely a scorch idea, and you know, and then he said that he borrowed from you, uh, finding out what the caller's name was. Before going on air, that way when he goes on air, he could say, hey, Jim, what do you have for the show? <laughs> that was an O&A thing. <laughs> he was it? You guys. Yes. Saying who the caller <laughs> yes. is? Wow. Wait, we invented that? Who, who? We yes. invented actually saying, hi, Mike. Yes. What do you have for the show? Mm-hmm. But you, said, you, you were sharing with Alexander Graham Bell. Because <laughs> the phone does it. But he doesn't have. I think radio guys. There's a lot of radio people that just go, "Hi, uh, Sirius," in in our case, right? right. Or "Hi, XM." But I, I think I heard jocks like just go, "Hey, uh, Mike, what do you got?" Unfortunately, he doesn't have the phone screening technology that you guys have. So during commercial break, he answers one of the three phone lines, and uh, and without doing, kind of tones down the scorch vo- voice and oh. asks their name, then writes down on a piece of paper. And then when they get back on the air, that way you can, actually no, he does it all during songs because he records the calls. <laughs> of course so he, he does. Yeah. He puts them on hold and then he waits and then he picks them back up so oh he can record. God. Saying uh, most radio guys are not allowed to go to the phones live. 
a right. no-no. Before the, we get to Scorch Update, we got a couple analogies uh, for being fired. Listen to this guy. Uh, speaking of Mike's, it's Mike in Albany. Mike. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning, Mike. Mike. Hey, I had a boss tell me once, the company was on a train to a new direction, and they didn't buy me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> really? All right, thank you. Thanks, boys. Let's go to. Sensitive. Looks like Mousy in Alabama. Alabama, boom. Mousy. Hey. Hey, what's up, 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 boys? Hey, Mom. Yeah, I was let go once, and apparently I was told, yeah, well, you know, when you guys marry, sometimes the marriage works, and that's the kind of girl you want, but, you know, we need a different kind of change of, you know, women. You're a lousy lay, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so leave. <laughs> Good job, boys. I, I think this next call leads to the Scorch update, uh, Sam. Yes. It's Ken in New Hampshire. <laughs> Ken, listen to this. You think Real Rock TV is bad? I'm going to steal Sam's uh, little idea and update for you. All right. Um, in Manchester, New Hampshire, Scorch actually does a TV show like you guys used to do called Pretty Fucking Good TV. Watch and it. And he, he broadcasts from a Chinese restaurant <laughs> in town. Isn't it P? Uh, it's PFG. PFG TV. Yeah, pretty with fucking good. Starring TV, Scorch. Yeah, I guess obviously this caller is one of the PFG disciples. PFG disciples. <laughs> What's yes. a PFG? Here we got some PFG disciples. <laughs> what happened to the Kingdom of Nakedness? I don't know. For He's some always reason, moving. He went to Manchester. Well, when he went to Syracuse, it became totally new. No, the Naked Militia. Naked Militia. Naked yes. Militia. Yes, which oh, Jesus, he said he's, is. he said he was doing Naked Militia, and then you guys started doing ONA Army, but it's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? I know you were reading. I was reading the uh, PFG TV thing, yes. Please Just say that again, in case you didn't, In case you yeah. were worried or whatever. He started doing Naked Militia, and then you started doing ONA Army, but it's cool. I mean, he, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys are oh, all friends. Oh, it's cool. Okay, yeah. good. As long as he's not mad. <laughs> he's cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Is there are, are there any clips of Scorch on that uh, site, Danny? Um, because a, oh, it, oh my oh my goodness gracious! Well, the no. thing is, what brought it to my attention? He's been doing this for a little while. Yeah, on public access. <laughs> uh huh. Um, and hey, well, at least ours was on regular TV. It was, I mean, a Spanish speaking. Well, that's true. You know, channel. But and I was looking on his Twitter, and uh, he posted an article that was published about him. Uh, talking about the great success of PFG TV. Yeah, yeah. And I was going through it, and you some highlighted of highlighted some of the good parts. Yes. Some of it uh, didn't necessarily ring true or <laughs> was things that I could have, I could hear Scorch saying. Yeah. Uh, for instance, you remember when you used to call this program and say he was getting signed to XM in a matter of months, yes. but he couldn't talk about it? Right. Well, in this article, it says... Uh, after a year of doing PFG TV on public access, uh, we're the f first locally produced late night talk show in the area, Scorch said. It's very humbling, but it's very exciting at the same time. <laughs> then he told the reporter, now Scorch said he's on the verge of signing with a network. <laughs> he is reluctant to discuss it in detail at this time, however. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Goddamn Scorch. So I'm thinking it could be NBC. It could be a network. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're talking uh, the big ones. The Nashua Telegraph actually bought into his <laughs> yes. crap. Jesus, what's wrong? You don't think with he's that? almost signing with a network? I first met Scorch in the month of August, at which time he said he would probably be going to XM in the fall, but that I could come with him. Oh wow, that, then, that's nice. Of him. How many years ago was that? This was 2000, and uh, this was 2005. <laughs> it's a true. And then, uh, as <laughs> hold on, Sam, the phones are just lit. Oh, no, everyone knows a little something about score. Yeah. <laughs> John, John in Manchester. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, another PFG disciple. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't call it that, but anyways, I want to correct that last douchebag. Um, PFG TV has been down because the restaurant that he was broadcasting from. Had a fire a while ago, and he's <laughs> out of business. <laughs> no, well, can he find another Chinese restaurant? Yeah, it's, it's covered in the article, actually. Uh, oh, oh, it is, Sam. Thank yes, God. The restaurant that he was in did, in fact, burn to the ground, but he is now broadcasting the show uh, in the in the very technologically advanced 
public access studio. Do you think oh. that he's uh, humbled and excited <laughs> at the same time? I think it's kind of yeah. It's 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 a mixed emotion oh my God. because oh my he's God. humbled, like he has to take a step back to look at all the success. But at the same time, he wants to move forward with this thing. <laughs> I, I beg you, I gotta read some of this stuff. Sure. All right. Uh, the show is inspired, of, of course, the show, what is it again? P- PFG TV. P- PFG TV, <laughs> yeah. starring Scorch. The show is inspired by David Letterman's longtime network show, but rather than oh, featuring God. A-list stars, Scorch looks more locally for his guests. It's a choice. Local cops, phil- 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 philanthropists, thank you, artists, chefs, and even a dog psychiatrist have spent time on the big blue couch alongside Carpinelli. Yeah, that's Nick Carpinelli. Who's that? It's a sidekick. It's like the Andy Richter. Oh. Chatting it up with Scorch. And then, Anthony. Yeah. Scorch has also spent... Oh, wait. Uh, okay. We're pretty good uh, where we are right now, Scorch said. But his ultimate goal is... And it's good to have a goal. Yes. yes, it is. Is to infest the living rooms of America as a network regular with no-holds-barred brand <laughs> of humor. I'm certainly not against going to places that carry the show and doing live appearances, Scorch said. <laughs> Oof. He I've, is- done, I've done a total of three shows from my basement... <laughs> And more people have seen it than all of Scorch's. P- what is it? PFG Cyples? Oh, PFG TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, PFG TV. Yes, I thought yes. you meant the people who watch PFG oh, TV. Oh, yeah. Mm. How, by the way, update on uh, his Twitter. How many, oh, how many uh, followers? Said, he is actually at uh, 39 followers. Thousand? Followers. Oh, wow. what? Oh, oh, 39 followers. followers. Oh, I was waiting okay. for a uh, hundred after that. Yeah, yeah. A thousand. A thousand. Something. Just, uh, 39, wow. but I mean, that's something Twitter's on the way out anyway. You missed towards the end, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. The show is taped at 8 p.m. Mondays, and Scorch said anyone looking to be part of the audience is welcome. The audience can also get some FaceTime on TV as well, since Scorch ends every program similar to Saturday Night Live with the audience <laughs> joining in the farewell wave from the set. So, so you could be on TV. <laughs> but I'm looking at this, and the production value is, a, is zero. <laughs> It's much different than SNL. It's well, Scorch well, holding a camera. Technically, this is what this is one of the PFG TV podcasts that he posts every day that we've listened to before. PFG TV, the TV show, yeah, is a totally different animal. Well, can I see uh, some yeah, of the? Clips. I need. I want to see production value here. There's yeah. See, Danny's got the intro right now. All right. There's a plane. Obviously filmed just for the show. Yeah, there's a plane, a plane landing, landing in an airport. Uh, looks like Miami or something. No, that's New Hampshire. Yeah, with palm trees? Yeah, Manchester. It looks like Miami or Vegas. What is he doing? Yeah, that's Vegas, Oh, right? Vegas. No, I think that's Manchester. It's a mirage. It's a mirage. <laughs> there's no mirage in New Hampshire. Why does his intro be. show Vegas? <laughs> it's Manchester. <laughs> it's no, it's not him staying at that hotel. It's Planet Hollywood no, in Vegas. Manchester. <laughs> and now, and now it's rainy. Now it, there's, I think there was a cut to make it look like. Oh, Yi Dynasty. <laughs> That's the uh, Chinese. All right. Oh, wow. Here's tens of fans. Here's the uh, PFG site. The live audience. Smart to keep it tight. <laughs> yeah, tight shot. And look, there's no one behind him. There's empty pool tables in this bar. If you'll notice, the audience shot transitioned to a shot of the same audience members. <laughs> yeah. Ah. All right, now he's live in the restaurant. Oh, that was good. It's empty. There is no one there. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve people. Twelve. Twelve people. Yeah. This is an early show before the restaurant burned to the ground. Help me get the PFG disciples to the Dude, there are twelve people there. Oh, the wheel of meat. He's gonna be a cult leader. Did you hear what's coming up on the show? What? Wheel of meat. <laughs> wheel of meat. Some of that no holes barred humor. We have got someone. The transitions are akin to a 1986 <laughs> wedding video. Of meat. Also. We've got our house band, Legs Zeppelin, going to be <laughs> Legs Zeppelin? <laughs> the cover band. And yes, Scorch rules. Too bad feedback. Wait, somebody lower that. Or <laughs> Special musical guest, 
Vegas temper. Oh, uh, can you pause that so for a second? I, I want to talk about I'm getting some info this. in here. Take the way Greitz. Uh, oh, uh, I kid you not. He probably has shots of Las Vegas because Manchester's nickname is? Manch Vegas, baby. Sam knows. <laughs> Manch Vegas. <laughs> Shut up. Manch Vegas, baby. No doubt. He wrote, this, this guy writes, oh. I live in New Hampshire. I hear it all the time. Yep. Manch Vegas. Manch Why? Vegas. Do Why? or die. What do you mean? Because it's a party town. <laughs> Oh awful. This is too much. I love it. I can't get enough of watching Scorch do this. All right, let's go back to uh, what uh, PFG PFG TV, TV right, PFG the TV, TV show. What the major TV network show. is he talking to with this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe it's my network. Oh well. <laughs> God Please. bless him, man. God bless the Scorch. He's in like a <laughs> suit jacket. I never gave up. <laughs> Wow. How much pot does he smoke? A lot of pot. Yeah, it's it's got to be. Yeah. The wheel of meat. What's I mean, hanging on. up there? It's like a tarp. That's the wheel of meat. No? I think those are... No, that's a tarp. And those are, I think, uh, PFG logos oh. for oh. a little name recognition. As you, uh, And now the PFG logo is stuck in your head. Is it not? It is not. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give the link to this particular video in a little bit. Oh, please. People have to see this. Yeah. But go ahead, Danny. Let's get back into it. Yeah. <laughs> So before I go any further, I want to talk about a couple of things. Anybody hear about the SWAT team that went through Manchester? Uh, it's his monologue. Oh, wait, wait. No, did oh, you hear about that? It happened outside my house. It happened outside my house. I'm freaking out. I go uh, out hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. All of a sudden, I... Oh, the guy, obviously, <laughs> like many talk shows, many late night talk monologue. shows, you got to uh, start, you introduce who's going to be on and things like, hey, you do your monologue, and uh, he's doing his monologue, and it's very local. He keeps it local <laughs> yes. for the local people at the bar. Match Vegas. And he probably had, like, an idea there about uh, the, the SWAT team. Did you hear about it? And someone <laughs> ruined his whole bit. It yeah, ruined the whole joke. It was outside my house. No, no, it was outside my house because that's my joke. <laughs> the guy ruined his, he ruined his whole fucking joke. By, by, because it really happened outside of his yes. house. Yes. And it didn't happen no. outside Scorch's, Scorch's house. Why? One of the 12 people <laughs> at the taping ruined it for Scorch. Goddamn 12 people here and one has got to be got to happen near. What the fuck? That was joke. his setup. It happened outside my house. and he, uh, he stepped on his set. The guy's not talking to the guy at the bar. <laughs> Scorch is doing a monologue. Danny, back that up, please. Oh, wow. Just slightly? Okay, here we go. The Let crowd, the must, the crowd must be mic'd. By the way, this yeah. is a 10-minute video, so oh, <laughs> settle in, boys and girls. Please <laughs> settle in. Yeah, just when you thought we were going to go, so we won't go through it all. It's <laughs> no, like, no, no, settle in. <laughs> settle in. Because this is like just like David Letterman. <laughs> Without the David and the Letterman, Letterman. part. He's gold. <laughs> but plus tarps. Right, plus tarps. <laughs> plus tarps. It happened outside my house. It happened outside my house. I'm freaking out. I go bring my dogs out for a walk. All of a sudden, I see these guys dressed. I thought it was Columbine. I see these guys dressed up in full, like a, a camouflage. All you can see is their eyes. And I hear them say, we're going to set up right here. The first thing that came to my mind was Columbine. Shit, my house is in trouble. I probably going to get killed right here. All right, all Second right. thing that came Pause to mind this. is... Oh. Yeah, you got to... Uh, Danny. It's very funny. Uh, yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. It he keeps Columbine. referencing Columbine, but there's not a school nearby. It's a <laughs> and, and, and it's, it's like, a SWAT guy. Well, it's SWAT guy. Dressed guys. differently. Columbine had, like, black trench coats. These right. guys are in camouflage. These guys are in camouflage. <laughs> they they probably have SWAT written yeah. on them. I'm sure there was a van somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah the SWAT guys <laughs> parked three blocks away. And oh, I'm thinking Columbine. It couldn't be further from Columbine. Uh, the ice cream man came. I heard the bells. I was thinking Columbine. Right. Yeah, but you guys How remember. How is it Columbine? There's not, it's no not. school. It's, it's, no. The, it's the authorities. They dress differently. You remember how funny Columbine was when it first happened, though, right? Oh, the scream, laugh, yeah. riot. Well, let's see how he uh, brings it all together. Oh, ba my God. Back it up slightly. Yeah, okay. Columbine. This, this is a little twice. <laughs> it's right. a terrible delivery. <laughs> Mine was Columbine. Shit, my house is in trouble. I'm probably going to get killed right here. Second thing that came to mind is, uh-oh, maybe it's the DEA. So as of about 8.30 this afternoon, or 8.30 like an hour ago, I was actually still pulling balloons full of crap out of like my backyard because my stash was gone because I ain't going to get in trouble yet. I think people a good stash. You know, you push, I... <laughs> <laughs> Wow! 
Hysterical. Happening since 8.30 this afternoon. This afternoon. <laughs> I mean, a few minutes ago. <laughs> Just ended. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Jesus. Oh, stinks. <laughs> know who's a big fan of Scorch, for real? Colin. Scorch. Colin, Colin, Quinn 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 loves... Colin would go out of his mind for this. Yeah. He would go out of his mind he for this. He sure would. He would probably make a trip just to see a taping of this. Maybe <laughs> me and Colin go to Manch Vegas sometime. Uh, let's Manch, do Manch Vegas. Vegas. We should drop in on a taping. Surprise. <laughs> Road trip. He was, supposed hey, to, hey. he was supposed to come in studio one time and bring his sidekick, Paulie, with him. Mm. And they were supposed to leave in the middle of the night. And he called, Paulie called him at like 4 o'clock in the morning, like, dude, so we're going today, right? Like, right now, so we can make it for the show. And Scorch goes, no, no, can't go sick. <laughs> and he told him, can't go <laughs> sick. He was sick. And then Paulie walked in on him, like, uh, maybe later that afternoon, smoking pot with all his friends. What's up, Paulie? <laughs> like, he's just scared to come on this show. Mustache, yeah. Mustache is out there. And, uh, you know, there's all my shit's in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but seriously, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, when we play it again, I want to hear 8.30 this afternoon again. <laughs> <laughs> you like the 8.30 this Dude, afternoon? It's off by six hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I was actually still pulling balloons full of crap out of like my backyard because my stash was gone because I ain't gonna get in trouble with that. How many people enjoy a good stash? Anybody enjoy a good stash? Uh oh. You know the joke bombs <laughs> for the, the crowd reaction. How many people? What else was going on, man? I mean, uh, like I was talking. Me and Nick were talking about this about the whole Elvis thing. Why? Whatever happened? Like, why is it so cool about Elvis? You know? Why is there no? Why doesn't Charles Nelson Riley ever get seen at a Seven Eleven? You know what I mean? I'll, ha I'll take a I'll take a burrito in a hot show magazine. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what's up with that? Why is it always Elvis? Elvis? I'm not a fan of Elvis. I love Charles Nelson Riley. Not that way. Uh, he might have liked him, but not that way. <laughs> so anyway, we got a great night in store tonight, you know, what I mean? because uh, I want to introduce uh, Nick and Jolanda and Jeff Hart. And to start things off tonight, we have a PFG disciple that is the ultimate in PFG disciples. Where's Brian? Is Brian out there? Come on up here, Brian. Of course, he's out there. He's out there. My mother it's would out there. He's out there. He's out there. Where is she? never have sex with me again. If I did, if I did what Brian did. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is PFG to me. Okay. No, he didn't. Oh, my God. No, this guy. Stop. Stop. Stop the tape. No, this guy did it, not do that. The guy's name is probably Paul Francis Garrison. <laughs> it better be. Oh, it better be. He. Wow. That's got, that almost looks like a fake tattoo. Well, you know what I'm noticing is that it's it looks like a tribal band around this guy's arm, and PFG is kind of in the middle, surrounded by ink. So what he could have done, hypothetically, is gotten the tattoo... And then for the show, and then he could just have that the PF and G filled in, and it looks like a regular tattoo. Yeah. Oh, that, that is kind of true, but mm -mm. You, what, you, you <laughs> think this guy actually got a PFG tattoo? Yeah, I've been looking at artists, because I think my next uh, tattoo is going to be PFG. <laughs> oh, it is, huh? Yeah. I'm going to get a tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> a tramp stamp. <laughs> All right, let's hit the... Oh, please. Back to the tape. Now, let's everybody have a seat. Relax. Enjoy yourselves. Everybody have a seat. I want Enjoy my, yourself. I want my, my peeps to have Tough a seat. order. What are you, standing out pot? <laughs> because what I want to start talking about today... Plenty of seats. Uh, Brian brought up a great, uh, great question to me the other day. Uh, Brian said, why do you do what you do, and why do you love doing uh, what you do? Uh, so I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to give everybody here the chance to answer Ma! the question. I love doing what I do. It's going to sound really hokey and gay, but you know what? And I want you guys to turn around. I love doing what I do because uh. of you guys. <laughs> Did I mean? No, I said I love doing what I do because of you guys. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Well, all right, all right. I, I, I'm tapping. Oh! You're wow. You're next live from the compound. You got to do that. You got to go. I, I do, should. I, do, I do what I do <laughs> for in you this guys. business we call show. <laughs> Holy fuck. He should have said because of two guys, the, sh the store. <laughs> Holy <laughs> mother. The side of his audience. <laughs> this is... <laughs> For you guys, and then you hear ah, and and then he goes no no for, for you, you guys. guys. That means please applaud. Yeah. 
Oh, remember when you said Jerry Lewis? The people actually thought that you were putting up the real rock TV because you thought it was good mm-hmm. and not for the sake of irony. Sure. This is Scorch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He actually is doing this. No, well, no clue. He's getting a network deal. We might not have had much of a clue when we originally taped, but now we have a major clue. Scorch oh, has been in the business for 20 years, finally branching out to TV, looking at some networks. <laughs> looking at, what are we looking at? <laughs> exactly. Twitter and stupid YouTube. I love how his right. cameraman cannot pull a focus for the life of him either. <laughs> blurry tarps. It's just the tarp is all blurry. <laughs> yeah. People are talking in the background. There's no. all chatter. There's no light. Well, they're there, trying to no... order their Chinese food. Did you hear when he was thanking the crowd for saying, I'm doing it for you? Did you hear when he said, and I want you guys to turn around for this? Which yeah, can oh. only mean that people were sitting at the bar <laughs> with their backs to Hey, him. wait a minute, that's right. He did say, could you turn around for this? Because they were all trying to get drinks at yes. that bar. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right, the first time he said it, nobody clapped. And then he said, I do it for you guys. For you guys. Wait a minute. Produced in the Queen City at the Manchester Community Access Media Studios, PFG TV currently airs in 49 cities across five New England states. It's got to be true. Scorch said it. It's got to be true. What a what a load of shit that is. I'm sure this journalist checked every single city and and this is from the burnt down Chinese restaurant, right? Yes, well yeah, now that restaurant is burnt to the ground. I want to yeah. hear when he, where he goes uh people were asking me so no one was <laughs> asking yeah, you. No one asked why him do why do he does. Do. You know, Scorch. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you do what you do? <laughs> well, let me tell you. It's the people. And you know, I'm going to tell them tonight. I'm going to break the news to them that it's the people. If they'll turn around from the bar. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, could you hey, could you guys turn around here for a second? He was probably getting the cadence all wrong when they asked him. They probably went up to yeah. him and said... Why do you do what yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scorch, are why are you doing this? Yeah, why, yeah, do you do you do? Why, why do you do this? And why does he tape on a Monday at 8 p.m.? Because that's the what PFG you, day. I do what I do for you people. For you pe- I do. It's for you. <laughs> hey, hey, it's for you people. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Stop it. And give me a drink while you're there. Please, we rewind a little bit. Oh, please, <laughs> I, I, rewind that because I got to hear his little speech and then his <laughs> his speech, his non-reaction from the crowd, and then his forced, you better react to me, uh, plea. We were talking uh, before. Yeah, yeah, get the whole thing with it. We were talking, you know. Um, and he sat down for the special moment. It's horrendous. Yes, yes, he, he sat down. in the chair. Because we're going to get serious yes, now. The jokes are done. He is. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes are done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did my Elvis joke and my yes. stash joke. My oh. Columbine reference. Oh, Time to get serious, God. folks. 8.30 in the afternoon, bad. right? Is it the afternoon in the morning? I don't know what time it is. Let's see. Uh, Doing uh, what you do. Oh. Again, if I did, that is P- what I want to start talking about today. Is, uh, Brian brought up a great, uh, great question to it's me. Not a great question. Uh, Brian said, <laughs> why do you do what you do and why do you love doing uh, what you do. Uh, so I want to answer the question. I want to give everybody here the chance to answer the question. I love doing what I do. It's going to sound really hokey and gay, but you know what? And I want you guys to turn around. I love doing <laughs> what I do because of you guys. You know what I mean? No, I said I love doing what I do because of you guys. <laughs> oh. When I was a little kid, I was a little fat, picked on little kid. You know what I mean? And uh, now... Uh, I would there like are to nobody. say, I'm going to, to speak with you, you know what, I'm looking good, people look at me, I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, I got these fat slobs that I went to school with, has anybody noticed that, the girls you go to school with that were hot are now fat slobs? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, noticed right? that, Scorch, I noticed that. Are now fatter slobs, nobody's gotten better but you, yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah, I love doing what I do because I like to see the uh, first-hand reaction of the people. Of the person. I love to be able to be me. I Why like is to be He is a fucking... He has the cadence of Jake LaMotta when he was a nightclub <laughs> yes, entertainer. Yes. Just an idiot. <laughs> he also has a little Rupert in him. A little, oh, there's a lot of Rupert fucking <laughs> delusion. <laughs> Scorch, it's very ironic. Six that... weeks? I can't give you six weeks. You went to tears to come out of my eyes. <laughs> come on, Jerry. <laughs> 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 hey, Liza, you look great, Liza. 
Uh, you always does. L ladies and gentlemen, doesn't she look great? Every time she looks younger every time. Jay, I gotta do yeah. this now. Jerry, you you look good too. You, what? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's fucking delusional. It's it's. He just did a whole bit about how now he looks good and everything. Yeah, yeah. But he developed a reputation around the radio station for coming in every day with his clothes completely covered in dog hair and <laughs> smelling of canine urine. <laughs> he it's also, a new cologne. He also did a bit on the radio uh, with Pauly in which he argued with Pauly that Drakkar was indeed a good cologne. <laughs> because it was, his, it was his cologne of choice and one that the women enjoy. Wasn't Drakkar one of the ones that were in the dispensers in the men's room if you needed cologne? Dude, we should put his radio show on this channel. For Dude, sure. I, I am fantastic. not even joking. I'm I not am, even joking. I am fucking captivated by Scorch right now. We got a real live Rupert Pupkin. This guy is Rupert and he, Pupkin. And he needs some exposure. Scorch on a Saturday Night Virus. Holla. Let's do that. Him, All right, I'll get with Scorch. Him sitting in a network office. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Is that ceiling cork? <laughs> 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 Fucking Rupert Pupkin. He's going to show up at your house. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anthony, I got the work right here. So maybe me and you could go over some stuff before dinner. Mr. Kumia, he's touching ev everything. <laughs> everything. I'm having a heart attack, attack over, over here. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, back up slightly there. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. Good, this, news, good news, we got four more minutes. This <laughs> pompous fucking speech he's giving. And then you go in the office and find maybe, oh, for sure. maybe a special clip for everybody. Like Whoa. he's a legend. We haven't heard, because uh, this is just the beginning of the show. Some of his bits include Nick, who we talked about in the article. He does a drink, like, he, like an alcoholic beverage. Oh. And the segment is called Nick's Drink to Help You Think or At Least Sink the Pink. Does Scorch have to rhyme everything? Well, no. Nick's? Nick's drink to help you think, or at least sink to pink. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a beverage. <laughs> it's a beverage. Right. There's, there's also, before we continue, yeah. one of Scorch's bits is the munch box. Oh, what's that? <laughs> well... What he does is, <laughs> we got to get him on two hundred two. I love it. Or one ninety seven. Wherever the fuck you're listening. What has, could the munch box be? He has a a briefcase that he opens. It's a metal Halliburton type briefcase. Oh. Actually, it's probably the case the camcorder came in one of those metal <laughs> right. camcorder cases. Um, and there are food products in there. For instance, could be breakfast cereals mm -hmm. or Little Debbie's snack cakes. Mm -hmm. Ah. And he'll usually have three different types. And he will have previously surveyed the audience as to which they prefer over the others. Oh. And he'll first announce the three separately, then put them back in the briefcase, and then announce which are the most popular. <laughs> that's the, the next munch segment. box. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's a waste of time if you even think it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like jaywalking, kind of, yeah, except... Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's go back Please to more. PFG TV. Oh, yes. See the uh, first-hand reaction of the people. I love to be able to be me. I like to get paid to be me. However little or about, you know, a, a lot we get paid, I enjoy a paycheck to be me. I like making a living out of having fun. You know what I mean? There's, how many people in here have fun at their jobs? Yeah, you know? But they're clapping. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we here have a lot of great times. So, uh, it's supposed to be, line, if you say how many people have fun, but plus we go, no, nah, none of us do. Yeah, no, no, you're, all, you're <laughs> the lucky one, Scorch. We all do. We understand you get to do this for a living, and you're blessed, but we don't. <laughs> you know? But he's like, who has fun? And they're like, all of us. <laughs> you could have done any of our jobs uh, and had fun, too. Yeah, we're in New Hampshire. We all have fun jobs. Manch Vegas. And Manch, I just want to say, Scorch, fun jobs. that we were wrong, and you, Scorch, <laughs> you were right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. How bad do you want to hear his show now on 202? Dude! Slash 197. I am going to watch every one of these episodes, first of all. You'll get in, sure. touch, you'll get in touch with uh, Scorch. I will email Scorch today. Get, yeah, some, yeah. get some best of, and we'll throw it on. Yeah, on sure. Saturday night. Right. Wow. 
Back to the TV show. Yes, back to Scorch. Starring Scorch. Uh, but we here, we here have a lot of great times. So uh, the bottom line is but. I like uh, doing what I do. And once again, this is going to sound really hokey because what I do to me is PFG. So let's hear it for us. Now what I want to do is I want to ask Nick, and I want to pass it on. Nick Carpinelli, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we supposed to do when I say, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Carpinelli? You say what? There you go. Uh, that means so much to me. You guys are awesome. Uh, the reason I do what I do is... Hi, Nick. I know he said something about being hokey and stuff, but I've got two kids. They're teenagers. How long has Master Paul been working with you? remembered for doing something. Okay, I don't want to be the guy... Wait a minute. That... Hold on. Did I just hear right? Yes. The reason he does what he does is because he has kids and he wants to be remembered for something? He wants... That... He wants his kids to go to school and be able to say, my dad is Nick Carpinelli from PFG TV. Right. Scorch's sidekick. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Slick writes, listen to everyone just socially talking while he's talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Kevin from Connecticut, when does he play the hit song, I'm in New Hampshire, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bench Vegas. Bench uh, Vegas. No then, one cares why he does what he does. No, no one asked. No one cares. Sick bastard from New Hampshire. Scorch sounds like the speech at the end of Rocky IV. Talking to Rocky <laughs> 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 yeah, And I do what I do. And if we could, you know, get together and do this, maybe, the, maybe a few more people can. And if a few people can, then maybe, like, the whole world can. And that's PFG. And that's PFG. <laughs> the whole world of PFG disciples. Wow. Right, let's go back to Nick getting very serious. Woo. This is want to be remembered for doing something. Okay? I don't want to be the guy that was, you know, I was, uh, I was cleaning his uh, pool. No, I don't want to be that guy. I want my kids to be able to go, my dad... So hey, fuck you, man! <laughs> you no, know, we're not talking about Anthony, okay? Uh, I just want my kids to be able to be proud. I want my kids to be able to say, hey, you know what? My dad was Nick Carpinelli from Rock 101, or Nick Carpinelli from These guys fucking talk the, mill, or... the way you try to be dramatic when you're 17 and drunk. Like, man, <laughs> I want people just to know. Like, no one cares. Dude, you gotta make a mark in the world, and, you know... Be remembered for something or else you're just gone. Man, forever, man. We're all just dust in the wind. <laughs> Shut up. It should be noted, by the way, that he has a fucking black vest and a turquoise tie. Yes, He's he horribly does. dressed <laughs> for his TV <laughs> appearance. I'm getting, I'm getting sad because it's less than three minutes. I know. <laughs> I'm getting so sad. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. And there's many more clips. Right. Oh, it's fantastic. I right, continue. I just want my kids to be able to be proud. I want my kids to be able to say, hey, you know what? My dad was Nick Carpinelli from Rock 101 or Nick Carpinelli from The kids Mill. Kids be prouder to say my dad was Joel Steinberg. <laughs> <laughs> was Nick Carpinelli from Sean Rock 101 Ramsey. or Nick Carpinelli from The Mill or Nick Carpinelli from PFG TV? No matter what, I want my kids to be able to say, you know what? My dad was that guy. That's what I want. That's what makes me do what I do. Wow. wow, Nick was my very first intern at Rock 101 in 1980. So, uh, so me and Nick scored. Cholanda, the girl. One day I could be Nick Carpinelli. You can't. You could. Cholanda, what do you do? What you do? And why do you love him so much? Well, I'm a white girl with a black girl's name, and I wanted to make some kind of a mark in the world, <laughs> rather than being mocked by both races. <laughs> yeah, I'm a white girl with a black girl's name, so when I call for a job, they turn me down. <laughs> Why are these others wasting our scorched listening time? Oh, I know. I'm so pissed. They're all so priceless, though. But they are so self-important. This is so... Se like, fucking Sinatra wouldn't give this speech. <laughs> Because here's what it is. Scorch, after, before and after this show, is like, guys, I think this was a really good show. I think we're really going to go places. And they're all going, fuck yeah, Scorch. Yeah, yeah this, is, this yeah. is it, baby. I'm jumping on this bandwagon. Hey, we'll see. You know, they're all trying to keep their chins up and, <laughs> and contain their exuberance. <laughs> does he does he play that uh, like that? Does he play that uh, fucking song that Gervais played? <laughs> 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 Simply the best, and then run out of the thing. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> well, we got to end this. And he's pointing at the individuals. Like, yeah, you're yeah. the best. Yeah, you're the best. You're the best. <laughs> oh, like, you've, been, 
fucking great. Let's end this with simply the best one. You're this simply all the best. best. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I've been David Brent. I, I've been David Brent, and you've been the best. And you've been the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then he doesn't leave. He just claps and points at people. And no one gives a shit. And they're just looking at him. Oh, fantastic. My, Nick, my favorite uh, scene, by the way, from the British office. Yeah, that, that one is that, that is my favorite. Hysterical, man. It's so uncomfortable. Oh, so uncomfortable. The hat. The hat. Oh. When he throws the hat. <laughs> it, hits, it hits her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> when he walks in at the beginning of that episode, he's got this a shitty imitation of Neil's jacket. Yeah. What does he call it? It's like it's not it's not Armani. It's like what is it's oh, Giorgio Sergini? Sergini. Let's see why she Fantastic. does PFG TV. Yes, let's find out. Trelawney, why do you do what you do and why do you love it so? All right. Well, Scorch, when is your birthday? September 23rd. Okay, so my birthday is, it is, my birthday is September 10th, and when I first talked to Scorch, it was when everything he just said, I feel the same way. I think that people have to tell me, like, wow, you're so comfortable in front of a crowd, but it's more like, I just like to have a good time, and if I'm the one initiating it, well, let's do it. How do we know she's comfortable so, in front of a crowd? No. <laughs> Yes. She should say I'm, in, I'm very comfortable in front of a smattering. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever been to a not very full bar, uh, Anthony, you're doing the same thing they're doing. Anthony has a bigger crowd at his house on a Tuesday night. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I've talked to more people in my car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, hit it. <laughs> I, I could be dressed way sluttier right now, and I'm not. I have pictures, I'll show you. Actually, their man is here. He has pictures, too. We traded. So, um, so I just have a really good time. I love leading the good time and rock on, rock out. I'm so happy you guys are here tonight. We're going to have a blast, and we're always going to have a blast on PFG TV. Thank you. Yeah. Rock on, rock out. Oh, that's what she said, yo. Fucking it's nice oh, no. that Stephen King is sitting next to <laughs> <door. laughs> <laughs> Me and Jeff met, uh, Nick had a barbecue at his house. I was like, you're Jeff Lawrence, I've heard of you. You might have been in the In his house. I'm like, you might have been in radio maybe that much longer than me. With mesh t-shirts. Sure <laughs> Tell us, you remember that? Oh. Yeah, so, that uh, Jeff, tell us. Oh, with his Bruce Jenner haircut. Uh, basically, because I hate manual labor, but good for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's just it's something I've done for like 40 years now. And it's just, you know, when I when I went to divorce, what? get divorced from that, I, I, told, I told the judge, basically, I'm a maverick and an oddball and unemployed doing anything else so this is what I do and I enjoy doing it and I do it because it's it's like uh, wow. being a kid all the time and you never know I do it and that's why I do it I do it because everybody seems he's to have a saying good time nothing. Kind of things going on so I hope you enjoy yourself he's saying <laughs> nothing <laughs> we are going to come right back oh. now that you know everything there is to know about all of the PFG crew we're going to come back and for the first time ever live from PFG TV Television Center, someone is going to spin the wheel. Oh, me! All right, listen. <laughs> Holy shit. Gold. All right. That is gold. Let, let's a uh, little audience participation. Do you want one more? Yes. PFG set. Please. please. I, 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 I need it. I feel it. like I can't, we can't leave it right I there. I need it. Did you I hear need that the tease? wheel of meat. Do Did we you? have the wheel of meat clip? Do my best episode one. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. We got it, dude. Yeah, it's All right, we'll take a break. It's one of the best bits in radio and TV. <laughs> <laughs> we'll die, apparently. I love how Jimmy just started cracking up going, he's saying <laughs> nothing. I, that guy was babbling. About, like, you know, I mean, for 40, the judge, your honor, right? he was just, <laughs> he was fucking spiral. He was like, un like a mummy unwrapping and just fucking sounds <laughs> were flying out of his mouth. This is what shit. <laughs> this is nonsense. This is nonsense. You would hear at a fortieth birthday party. Dude, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Just horrendous. Who Holy gives a shit? Shit. shit. I, I I have to. I, please, can we hear the guy, the, the last guy? Because I yelled through him. He only I, talks I, I for know, a minute. I know. It, it's he He's, looks like Stephen King. That's a great this observation. Yeah, guy he does. is great. Feathery grayish hair with Stephen King glasses. Yeah, but it just not nothing uh, of substance comes out of his mouth. Nothing. Map. Sounds to me like someone is a PFG disciple. <laughs> <laughs> let her rip. Jeff Lawrence, who 
Me and Jeff met, now Nick had a barbecue at his house. I was like, you're Jeff Lawrence, I've heard of you. You might I think it was at Nick's call. It is awesome. Yeah, it was at I'm like, you might have been at radio maybe that much longer than me. With mesh t-shirts. Sure. <laughs> tell us, you remember that? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Jeff, tell us why you love doing what you love to do. Uh, basically, because I hate manual labor. But Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's just it's something I've done for like 40 years now. And it's just, you know, when I, when I went to divorce, get divorced, when I, 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 told, I told the judge, basically, I'm a maverick and an oddball and unemployable doing anything else. So... This is what I do, and I enjoy doing it, and I do it because it's it's like uh, being a kid all the time, and you never get old doing this, and that's why I do it. I do it because everybody seems to have a good time when you have these kind of things going on. So I hope you enjoy yourselves. BFG Cycles, come on! Wow. I never thought you could get, like, that many people in a row give you uh, douche chills like yeah. that. Like, th one was worse than the next. I've never heard four people collectively say not one thing of interest. <laughs> no. to that man's been a radio broadcaster for, he said, 40 years. 40 years? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. How, how old is he? He's probably, I'll say 60. He would have to be, like, at least 58. Yeah. When we get back, the Wheel of Meat. More <laughs> PFG oh, TV yes. starring Thank our God. old pal, Scorch. Scorch. <laughs> yeah, sending this out to Scorch this Woo! morning. You, you, you. We <laughs> were gonna... <laughs> yeah, Danny's doing the dance. <laughs> yeah, he's clapping his hands over his head, and his gut was hanging. His fucking t-shirts tucked in. <laughs> yeah. I do that around my house. It's just so much fun. It's fantastic. Well, where are we? Uh, we were going to move on, but this PFG TV, we got to do one more segment. <laughs> Our old pal Scorch, we worked with him at AAF in the Boston area easily 10, PFG. 11 years ago. PFG TV, Cigars and Scotch is calling it, calling it pointless fucking garbage TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it stands for. We were gonna no, move... I know, Sam. We were going to move on, but he uh, teased the wheel of meat, so <laughs> we have to hear He's a little... Also... He's also the guy who uh, who sat in the coffin for you when you guys were too afraid to do it. Thank God for Scorch. Guys, I have some great news. Bob. Yeah? Uh, I'm reading the uh, description of this particular piece of this episode. Oh. And not only will we see Wheel of Meat, but we will also see Nick's drink to help you think or at least sink the pain. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now I can find out what the hell that is, really. Thank God. And, and there's another uh, piece of the article that yeah. we need to read, Sam? Yeah, definitely. Which one? The Scorch has also spent time. Yep. Paragraph. Okay, that's, that's where they uh, oh. they try to give you a little bio on Scorch in yeah. case. This oh. was a big article on PFG TV that made the Nashua <laughs> Telegraph, NashuaTelegraph.com. Scorch has also spent time as a wrestling manager with WWE. That would be the World Wrestling Entertainment. Yes, he said wrestling was another thing that was on his bucket list. And after attending former wrestler Killer bucket Kowalski's of bucket of shit <laughs> list, <laughs> and after attending former wrestler Killer Kowalski's training camp many moons ago, Scorch found that he could take a fall better than many in the business. He even did a brief stint acting as Captain Lou Albano's up-and-coming son. Scorch is lying. <laughs> he never was involved because I remember Scorch wanting to get into the whole wrestling thing back when we were at AAF. And he never, he was always talking about how, yeah, I got a call from WWF. And there's <laughs> yeah, a, he, yeah. He's never spoken to anyone in WWE or WWF, and he's never how dare ever. dare you say that Scorch is lying. He's never been a part of that organization. Scorch is a compulsive liar. <laughs> he's probably never even gotten like a Did he go to Killer seats. Kowalski's uh, school? He could have because anybody can go. I mean, that, that could have been. And as far as the Captain Lou thing... Has he ever taken bumps in the WWE? No, the not WWF? in the WWE. No, he's never been in a or WWE. The AWA or no. any of those leagues. No, no he's brief been... Brief stint. He's been in gyms, at, high at, school gyms. Has he ever met Captain Lou Albano? The only way that that part could be true is if somebody did it at one of those high school gym shows the same way... You know, oh. I you know the same way I could have played Captain Lou's up and coming son. <laughs> Captain Lou, it's still even, real to me, man. It doesn't, <laughs> even, it doesn't even say Captain Lou was with him. They could have just introduced him. You know. Okay. He did a brief stint no. acting as Captain Lou Albano's up and coming son. He could have done that at that bar, right? Like, it didn't mean it was with the WWF. I guess that was before Vito Carlucci. His wrestling character. Well, perhaps, yeah. Vito Carlucci was Scorch's wrestling character. You say was in a past tense, which I find <laughs> strange. 
<laughs> it's still he Vito still Carlucci. believes he's Vito Carlucci. Is Scorch's uh, wrestling character. As a matter of fact, he did at least two wrestling gigs in Syracuse as a manager. Well, I uh, I apologize then. I think Squared Circle Wrestling, 2CW. 2CW? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where he's at, 2CW. <laughs> uh, after the Wheel of Meat and the PFG TV <laughs> segment number yes. two, good news for everybody. Puppetry of the penis coming in today. Yes. We had these guys. Cox. We had Just these what guys we need. on. Yes, <laughs> almost uh, about seven and a half years ago. So they're older now. So I'm assuming they could do a lot more things with their penises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes, a little bit more fucking stretchability. <laughs> yeah. They're nutsack. Yes, and this we, is a tarp at Shea Stadium. <laughs> we also learned something. <laughs> we also learned something about HR today. Yeah. Last time they were in, which was September 24th, 2001, according to Iraq. Wow. Um, really? Wow, really? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we went around and, and invited all the ladies to come in to check out the show. Mm-hmm. Wait, when was that? 2001, just after 9-11. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, Jesus Christ, we, <laughs> we actually did that two, a couple of weeks after 9-11? Yeah, yeah, I think they had uh, they made towers out of their penises and everything. Ugh, and one funny. penis crashed into the other guy's penis that was the tower. And it got really gay. Yeah, it was very uh, yeah. awful. Uh, but... We want to redo that by, you know, walking around the halls here at Sirius XM and inviting the ladies, if they want to, yeah, to check out Puppetry of the Penis, which is an off-Broadway show. It's not, it's not in the porn category, believe it or not. No, they don't sit there and jack off or something. <laughs> they, they, they make stupid animals out of their uh, schweens uh, and their nuts. Animals? And Cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers, Hello. things. Just the, they, they make, like, uh, yeah. Like balloon animals with their junk. Well, let me tell you how times have changed. And this is satellite radio. Yeah. We're not allowed mm-hmm. to even walk around and ask the ladies if they want to see this. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Sexual harassment. Exactly. Is that, is that, be, is, is that an, exactly. an aggressive work environment? That would be considered some kind of sexual harassment. Oh, we're fucking pussies. Yeah, we can't even ask. That's why HR departments suck a dick. Ooh. Red flag. Really? Yeah. In general, nah, they do though. Fucking show, we can fuck say whatever HR. We want. That's every company. It's not just this radio. It's every single company. Yep. Human resources. Oh, I'm, not, are, I'm not talking about the particular HR department here. I'm I'm with Jimmy. Every single one of it's them. It's what they do by like, nature. They're like, knee jerk overreaction. Like now you babies. can't hang posters or little cartoons or anything around your cubicle because they might offend somebody. Because the lady might see it. Pin up, pin up calendars. All that no. shit. No, yeah. it goes away because of this. Because of this. It's sexually harassing. So, so now we, it's a bunch of guys looking at yeah, two guys and their dicks. Fantastic. And what they can make out of them. Great. Steve could watch. No, Steve will watch. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, let's get back to PFG TV, starring our old pal, Scorch. Oh, boy. The Wheel of Meat? The Wheel of Meat. Can't wait. Welcome back to PFG TV, <laughs> TV show of Scorch, that's me. And that's now, a, that's this assuming is something I've been looking forward to. I've been playing this game on the radio for years and years and years. But this is the first time I've actually brought it out live first to an time. event. Because this is PFG TV, the TV show. And this is a game that we call the... We have got, on the wheel today, we have got for you a piece of beef teriyaki, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear from beef teriyaki. Come on. What? Wait, 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 wait. He's going to make... <laughs> He's going to make people cheer for Dude, there's like eight or ten meats on this thing. Easily. Is he, people going to have to cheer for every meat? Yeah. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> All right. It stinks. Who died for that? At least we think it's a cow. Chicken teriyaki. <laughs> and a pork strip. So the rules are if Alyssa's going to spin the wheel of meat. Uh, if she doesn't, guess by the sound of Nick. Because Nick is going to spank his meat. Now Melissa has to guess the sound of the meat. She knows now it's a one of three chance. In the radio game. Now, if Melissa can't guess the sound of Nick spanking his meat, then she's going to have to lick his meat, which would be just like old times in Melissa's house. So it's all nice. Oh, so let's God. Let's no, it's Can we have to do it? What we want to do now is spin what the wheel of meat. 
Oh my Spin god. Wheel, There's no one there. <laughs> this could be the worst bit ever. The first time ever the right. green was published. Spank that me! Spank that me! Don't do it yet. Spank that me! Spank that me! Spank that me! Spank that me! Pause it. Do you know who he looks like right now when he's got his hands up? He looks like the guy that fucking Snake Plissken killed with the bat and escaped from New York. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was. <laughs> so <wild>. <laughs> 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 fucking a nice bat with a nail through it. Dude, <laughs> that is, is so bad. He's trying to get a bigger crowd reaction, but he's got everybody, which is about 12 people, reacting. Yeah. And he's still looking for more noise. He's yeah, he's working the crowd. Place. There's what, nothing what? else. Wait, He's getting the maximum value out of the people in there. So it's an excuse to say spank your meat on a radio show. You guys, you didn't steal and, this one too? No. I figured you guys would have stolen it. Now yeah. they spin the wheel. You spin the wheel and the wheel stops. Then you take, <laughs> without telling the listeners or in this case the viewers, you got to blindfold whoever it is, I guess. Without telling them what meat it is, you take that meat off the wheel. Right. Then you slap the meat against your hand or the console or whatever. But you say... Now I'm spanking my meat. Oh, God. Because that could like mean something. Off, oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, that's crazy. See, it's got to be something uh, oh. that's like double entendre. Right. Oh. Without the uh, entendre <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or the Do double. Wouldn't all meat sound the same as you spank it against your hand? Well, that's yes. no. I mean, that's one of the challenges that there are subtle differences between beef teriyaki <laughs> and chicken teriyaki. And then you have to guess. <laughs> right. Now, why the wheel? Why not just have someone turn around, say, I have three meats here. I'm going to uh, spank one, and you have to guess. Because then, while you're waiting to find out what meat, there'd be no sound that goes... Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> oh, all and, right. And a lot of people claiming, uh, uh, Colorado Brandon and many others, there's a ripoff of Wheel of Fish. Wheel of Fish. From the Weird, the weird Al uh, Yankovic uh, movie. No. UHF. Oh, Wheel really? of Meat. It's Wheel they of did Meat. Wheel of Fish. Did wow. they? Well, but oh, yeah, but Scor score. Scorch has been at this for a long time. There's a good chance that him and Weird Al used to kind of go back and forth with ideas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I wrote a lot of songs <laughs> yeah. for uh, Weird Al. <laughs> I said, I said, Al, you can have that one. Yeah, you take that one. You take the eat it one. You, Amish you paradise. You take the eat it one and make millions off it. I don't yeah, care. Go ahead. <laughs> He's a good guy. Right. Eat it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, I, I can listen, listen to this all day. Uh, all right, let's see the, how Wheel of Meat Simply plays the out. best. Yes. Buzz, <laughs> make away. Yeah. Okay, you have a choice of pork strip, chicken teriyaki, or beef teriyaki. What do you think it is? Can I taste it? Not <laughs> Oh. There's Melissa for you. You know what? It's if it's meat, oh, uh, just let me taste the meat. Got it. It's either black, white, or Indian. <laughs> John Stossel looking motherfucker, too. That's exactly what yeah. he looks like. Okay, pork strip. Okay, chicken teriyaki or beef teriyaki. Give her, give her one little lick. Give her a lick of the meat. Yeah. Right here. Bow, 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 What is it? It is a Porsche place, gentlemen. Yeah, pauses. So she actually, the woman has taste buds. This is not an exciting game. Is this a tomato or a piece of popcorn? Fucking... Horrible. He, his humor, back to Raging Bull, it's yeah. it's LaMotta when he's pretending to sneeze as they're fill, filling the champagne glasses. Yeah. That awful. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Did he's I ever, terrible. <laughs> did I ever tell you what we used to say whenever one of the bits worked in the studio? And we knew the bit worked because all three phone lines lit up. Wow. And when that happened, uh, well, I guess Paul and me started doing it uh, ironically, but Scorch started it. Where all three phones would light up and Scorch would go, turn to us and go, this was not on the air. This is just him as a human being yeah. looking at us and go, ooh, looky, looky, Miss Cookie. <laughs> but why didn't you shoot him when he said that? <laughs> because our bit was working so well we had three people calling the radio show. <laughs> and you knew you had radio gold. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Wheel of Meat was always a looky, looky, Miss Cookie type of day. Really? Oh, yeah. Back looky, to Wheel of Meat. Looky, looky, Miss Cookie. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's see how he wraps up the Wheel of Meat. We'll give you a prize later. Right. That fire. She knows her meat. <laughs> she knows her meat. 
We still have got legs and Zeppelin coming in. And I wish it was great white. Vegas <laughs> temper is going to be up soon. <laughs> and thanks again to you guys, the PFG Cycles. We'll be back right after this. Holy shit. Time now for Nick's drink to help you think or at least sink the bank. <laughs> Here it is. Tonight, people, we've got one that's going to help you out a lot here. It's the Apple Teeny. It's big with the chicks. Just pay attention. Here we go. We're going to shake it full of ice, all right? We got all the right. vodka. Could be absolute, could be three olives. Depends on what you get you off, right? A good healthy amount, because it's the. Shake the Get a little apple pucker to twist it up just a bit. Oh, yummy. That would make the apple. He's making a drink. Apple martini. I wish he was whipping up the same thing they had at the Jones compound. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my. I bet you guys didn't know how to make an apple martini. He just made a drink on TV. That'll help you save the pain. Where's the twist? Yeah. Ah. The problem is, there's no twist. <laughs> never, Here's there's how that never, twist to there's his never face. a twist. Here's how that would be perfect. If the next cut was a fade in to his fucking pickup truck wrapped around a tree. <laughs> <laughs> News footage. <laughs> News footage of blood on a from, pole. From too many apple martinis. <laughs> All you see is a fucking turquoise tie with a branch through it. <laughs> Unknown radio host. <laughs> exactly. That Why? fucking horrible John Turturro hair. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are saying you can find the Wheel of Fish uh, clip on YouTube, and it's the exact uh, same it's, bit. It's, it's, well, it's uh, not quite the let's same. Let's go to Rich in Baltimore. Rich, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, you missed it. He said, uh, hey, I'll get you a prize later. <laughs> did, he, did, he, did he know he didn't have shit? Oh, dude. <laughs> I'll get you a prize later. Let me explain later. something about school. <laughs> if you say, oh, no. I'll give you a prize later means he doesn't have anything to give away. <laughs> he was the king. He, his briefcase that he brought to work every day was full of people's names and addresses that he had written down because we had no prizes, but he insisted on doing a contest every day, and they never got anything. None of them ever got a thing. Because why would Rock 101, the, Rock 105, the dog, have any prizes to give Wait, out? Wait, he's not even on Rock 101? No, now he's on Rock 101. Back when, in Syracuse, he was on Rock 105, the dog. <laughs> but the next bit, look, I know we were only going to do one. <laughs> but it's the Stephen King haired guy. Yes. And I have to hear him redeem himself. Let's see what he does. Because he's fucking. This guy is a perfect <laughs> parody. <laughs> he had a complete His ass. fucking hair. <laughs> this guy is fantastic. Here's, here's Wheel of Fish. It's well, Wheel of Fish. It's a wheel, Sam, with a lot of fish on it. Yeah, but where's the meat? Well, what do you do with the wheel of fish? I don't. I I saw UHF years ago. I yeah, don't, I don't it's remember a, the. Bit. It's a whole different deal. Maybe on instant feedback or no other idea. Uh, things we could find out. Uh, back to the Stephen King. Yeah, let's guy. see what Stephen King guy does with for his guy? big segment here <laughs> on <laughs> PFG TV. TV. It's TV Center. It's time for the house band. Oh. Oh. He's the announcer. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. See? See? Wait, he doesn't have a band there? And you said there's no twist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to pause this. It's too fucking... Wait, so Legs of Zeppelin isn't a no. Led Zeppelin. No, Legs Zeppelin. Legs Zeppelin. Legs Zeppelin. You know, Zeppelin. I, I really thought it was going to be a female Zeppelin yeah. cover band. I just thought it was like a cover band, <laughs> yeah, with some Zeppelin. kind of thing to... But see, what are we looking at? Well, they're playing obviously the real Led Zeppelin. Yes, and the visual is a, a woman's knees, and on one knee is a guy, a face of a guy, and on the other one, a face of a girl. It's painted on the kneecaps. Yeah, it's a guy as a, a man's face and a woman's face on each knee, and as the music is playing, you know how you could kind of flex your kneecaps and make them move a little bit. So the faces kind of move very little bit, and that's the bit. Legs, Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> Tank Rizzo writes, he just made a drink on TV, and we're listening to him on the radio make a drink on TV. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he was like an asshole. It's a disaster. It's PFG TV, the TV show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's watch the knees sing. <laughs> See how long this we, goes on for. We can't play this whole thing. We might have to fast forward. The knee is lips lip syncing. So people Zeppelin. on the radio are just listening to Zeppelin right now. Yeah, right. All right, Dave, fast forward. Imagine knees. Yeah, how long does it go knees. on? Oh my God! Look how long it's going. They, yeah. Okay. Come back from what, by the way? Well, they. It's Vegas Temper. What's Vegas Temper? It's one of the hot match Vegas bands right now. Oh, it's a real band. Yeah. Or is it legs again? <laughs> Oh, this stinks. Why? <laughs> Wait, how does the band manager tell them that this is the gig? Yeah. <laughs> good news or bad news? <laughs> the bad news is it's a Scorch's TV show. The good news is it will allegedly be shown on a television <laughs> somewhere at some point. I like the moldy ceiling above the Scorch's head <laughs> on the stage where a pipe has been leaking for about 15 years. It's black mold. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sam, is this the same restaurant that Scorch worked at uh, to make extra money doing oh, wings? Danny, yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, hey, really? No. Well, hey, well, hey, you got to work out the studio space. One day in good old Syracuse, Scorch came in bragging to Paulie and me that he had a new business opportunity, which was one of the Mexican... He had made a connection with the owner of one of the Mexican restaurants in town, and they were going to let him work in the kitchen for a couple extra bucks under the table. <laughs> Cooking. Oh, wow. Cooking. Hey, just another thing on the bucket list. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to... I want to be a dishwasher. You sure the deal he made, he wasn't going to take all the shit from the Mexican food and make a TV show out of it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Uh, See, Scorch should write a book, except he would just lie in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he should actually tell the truth in a book, and it would be interesting. He is so full of shit. <laughs> yes, he lies constantly. <laughs> he constantly lies. <laughs> Let's uh, fast forward here oh. through Vegas. What is Vegas it? Temper. Temper. Vegas Temper. Vegas <laughs> Temper. All right, Vegas Temper. What song are they singing? Are they a cover or an original? Oh. All right. Another uh, local piece of shit. Uh, oh, my God. Shoin, I think, in, uh, or Shoin, I don't know, in North Carolina writes, who opened for Leg Zeppelin? Was it Guns and Toses? That's <laughs> 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 great. <laughs> wow, they uh, went on and on, didn't yeah, they? That, this, this clip ends with them. Oh, so. it does? Yeah. That's with it? Vegas Temper. That's it. No. I wanted to hear on. the big really? closer. I wanted oh. to hear how Scorch ends his show. There's got to be a part three. Hopefully, yeah, the way, hopefully the way fucking <laughs> Leonard Lawrence ended his fucking <laughs> Marine Corps recruit training. <laughs> <laughs> There's confusion coming in. John in Philly. John. Hi, John. Hey, I just want to make sure I got this right. So you guys are making us sit through every second of Scorch, but screaming fast forward when we get to Led Zeppelin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. This guy sounds like Andy Levy from fucking uh, Red Eye. I can't... Can... How did I ruin the show by saying that? <laughs> just, his voice is familiar. I guess that's it for today. PFG yeah. TV's over. Keep in mind, I mean, there's very many episodes. This is episode one we were watching. Can you just fast forward to the end? I want to see how he closes yeah. his show out. That's all I want to see is him saying his good nights. I guess it's probably episode one, segment four, because I don't see anything else. So let's let's give that a shot. All right. Let's see what we got. Segment Vegas Temper. <laughs> All right, we did that right. I think he had Vegas Temper play like three There's songs the whole time. Oh, uh -oh. oh, I don't know. Oh, that yeah, is. that's a good. Yeah, you want to? What is that? What is Sam? that? It's some kind of um, uh, animation yeah. that was done with. Uh, it looks like photographs that were cut. I'm getting out of this crummy little town. I'm going to see the world. You wouldn't consider staying here and running the bank, would you? Hell's no. Hey, your dad died, and we need you to stay here and run the bank. Crap. <laughs> the moon i'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down <laughs> what are you two going on this here now honeymoon we're getting out of this crappy little town 
now. What is this? It's a wonderful life. We want all our money. We don't actually have all the money. But it scorched his head on all the characters. Yeah. But it's still the original. I just lost eight thousand dollars. You're more dead than alive. I don't get it. I'm gonna kill myself. Help! Well, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> How'd you fall in? I jumped in to save you. I'm your guardian angel. Oh yeah? Wish I'd never been born. Here's what things would be like without you. Take me home, pal. I ain't never seen you before in my life. Why are they doing this? Funny. Don't you know it? It's an old Jimmy Stewart uh, movie. It's a horrible you. show. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas movie house! She did it! She told a few people you were in trouble and they went all, all right, over right, town right, to right, leave right, the right, right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna go Please. far. They're gonna go through the whole goddamn movie. It's a wonderful life. It's very funny, though, because Scorch's head Scorch's is on. Head. Oh, is this the, uh, the, the big uh, closer? It's gotta yes, be. So they're getting everybody up. And this is where he does his SNL oh, okay, right, right, type right. ending that we read about in, in uh, Nashua article. Telegraph. <laughs> dot com. Chef Lawrence! Yolanda the girl, Wanda, and for me, myself, and I, thank you, my PFG disciples. We'll see you next time on PFGTV. Thank you all for coming out. Have a great Starring time. Scorch. <laughs> Executive producer Scorch. <laughs> Director, Scorch. Director Scorch. Where's the waving crowd? It's all fucking. <laughs> this is unbelievably bad. That was fantastically awful. You're going to watch many of those tonight, though, oh, aren't you? Don't, yes. All I could think of was that fucking black spot on the ceiling. <laughs> I know, that mold <laughs> from the dripping pipe over the stage. <laughs> the Holy fucking shit. vent over his head. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And now that restaurant is burned to the ground. Oh, mm, no. good. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> Don't have to have him in there anymore. <laughs> oh, oof. All right. We're going to do a very quick break to get the uh, puppetry of the penis guys in studio mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to do their thing. Yep. We really wanted to do this in front of uh, girls today. Girls. Yeah. So we, I guess we've got to get intern David in here. And also yeah, we'll E-Rock and make E-Rock say things in a girl's voice. Uh, that's a good idea. That's not a bad idea. He's a good actor. The closing of the curtains are taking place right now. Um, Maybe Bitch Hips can come in. <laughs> bitch Hips is here. I haven't laughed at him walking yet. What the fuck is wrong with him? Fucking what a swish. <laughs> Blue Healer from Kentucky writes, why are they doing this? That's what Anthony said. Yeah. Why are they doing this? That's what your listeners are saying. Yes. Wow. Uh, the closing segment of PFG TV uh, episode one uh, has zero comments, although comments are enabled on this YouTube clip. <laughs> and there's one rating of one star. <laughs> That's it, huh? <laughs> Very generous rating. rating. And you just put uh, PFG TV in YouTube search. And, well, uh, the username is just the letters PFG TV. Nice. How easy. Yeah. Very easy for everybody. Yeah. To, yeah. Well, he's no gonna, one found it. <laughs> he's going to be checking his hits later and get all excited. Like, yeah, oh, hey, hey he's finally taking off. I, 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 and then, I, I bet you the network is checking this out. Yeah. Then he'll wonder why his Twitter still only has 39 followers. Yeah, don't yeah, give out the name. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want him getting a bunch of followers. No, that'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very quick break. We'll do a very quick one, and we'll get the guys in to do their dumb penis tricks. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll move on to other shit. Hey, everybody, it's Leg Zeppelin. Leg Zeppelin on the Scorch Show. <laughs> Opie and Anthony Show. Apparently, uh, Jimmy and Opie are having a little... Um, Trysts in the bathroom. Jimmy ran out of here uh, at the beginning of the break saying that he had to take another dump. He's back on his uh, magic powder that makes him uh, go to the bathroom a lot. I tried that stuff once. Is really? that oxy? Yeah, someone sent it to the studio a while ago. It's oxy powder. Yeah. I tried it one time Why? and I shit my brains out for like a day and a half. <laughs> Why do that? It doesn't sound like something that's very healthy. Holy shit! Sorry. Good. You have a good one? No, I I I just drink too much. I I've had three yeah, cups of I coffee. Know. Oh no no. <laughs> uh, three bottles of water and one of those big delicious uh, things of muscle milk. Muscle milk. So I fucking just I just had like a three minute pee. No joke. And and how long was the break? Five minutes? Five? Yeah, about 
And Jimmy's not making it back anytime soon. No. The Must- noise is coming from the stall when I was leaving. <laughs> oh, God. That must have been awful. Oh, horrendous. Would it sound like uh, they were pouring cement? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when, they, when they pour a foundation. That's really funny. <laughs> Yee. And we got the uh, puppetry of the penis guys outside the studio. Yeah, we had them in uh, years ago, and, and, and they're back, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's bring them in. And we need, uh, I think we need intern David and E-Rock sure. and a few guys. Gentlemen. Sir. Sure. Didn't you have long, one of you guys had long hair last long time. Hair. You had long hair, right? I got rid of that long hair, huh? Yeah, hi, 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 sir. How you doing, Here boys? Thanks David. For Thanks for having us in. Everybody else, curtains. no problem. Yeah, the curtains have to be pulled because, you know, Jesus. God forbid somebody sees uh, what you do. That mic sucks, uh, Mars. Let it talk. Yeah, you. This one? Yeah, I hate yeah. that mic. Uh, well, we, you, you guys want to use the same mic? Yeah, we can do that. That better? Yeah, that's way better. Cool, cool. Speaking of the microphone. What is yeah. that line? Uh, uh, yeah. That's uh, mic six there, Mark? Yes. All right, because we're still trying to figure your shit out. We just found out that uh, you guys were on our show September twenty fourth, two thousand one. <laughs> interesting time, huh? Uh, you got to get, you got to eat the mic, yeah, basically. Make it, believe it's an a... interesting time. Yeah, no. we we just got near, I think. It's seven, not six, Mars. Still trying to figure out uh, everything. Okay, there we go. That better. Yeah, you guys were on um, seven and a half years ago. Yeah. That's amazing to us. <laughs> Still doing Christ. it. And we had you on right after nine eleven. That seems a little weird that we'd go from uh, that sadness to. Yeah. Making shit out of our penises. It was an interesting not- time to open the show in uh, in New York. I got to tell you. Yeah. Most people just said, "Don't do it. Don't do it." Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I think they needed a laugh. Well, it all worked out okay. Two weeks later, you guys opened up the show for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you've been at it ever since. Pretty much traveling the world. Yeah. You know, I thought I don't don't do the show much. I sort of. More of more uh, yeah, an executive role, training boys up and Oh, is that your franchising, franchising it out, oh, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're working oh, it. Wow. Milking that cash cow. Wait, so, that. so you have to find other guys that have penises they could twist into yeah. all sorts of stuff. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not something I signed up for in the early days, I've got to see. I've got to tell you. But now I see way too much strange men's male yeah. genitalia. Yeah. And the ladies just eat this shit up, right? They're loving it. It's still going. I mean, we, we've we spent um, a good part of the last six years over in Europe and the UK. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes pretty well over there. Yeah. Just did South Africa, which was interesting. Really? <laughs> hey, David, you know what you're going to see today? Come over here, David. David. <laughs> Just nodding. David. David yes. nods on radio. Know, oh, you know who these yes. guys are? Oh, yes, did you see the face he made? Did you see the face he made when Jimmy touched him? Oh, I was just tapping His him. mouth went... He does the, the rabid uh, dog face. Yeah. You freaked out. Oh. <laughs> Yo, you okay, David? Well, yes, I'm all right. I heard about who these guys are. I've never, yeah. I've never well, heard of them before, but I know now. Well, what have you heard? I've heard that they do uh, com- uh, certain acts with their private areas. Satellite radio, you could say it. Yeah. yeah, you could. I know. Juicy cocks. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yes. Wait, they're in New York to audition and recruit new members for puppetry. Oh, yep. okay. Yeah, are there people uh, you you want to get the word out? Yeah, you... yeah, definitely. People can hit us through our website, puppetrythepenis dot com. We've got an audition page, and we're also launching another side business that we've had running in Australia for years now, which is our private parties, where we do bachelorette parties, bar mitzvahs, dinner parties. Dude, it said here wow. it said, it said you guys do like upwards sometimes of seventy private parties a month. Yeah, yeah, really... yeah. Justin's running that down in Australia. Wow. Uh, what what do you look what? for when you look for uh, guys that are uh, big dong and a complete lack of shame? Is that it? <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty much? much. Pretty much. You need a lot of real estate there to be bending that thing around. Uh, uh, not, not too much. You no. know, you don't want to frighten old ladies or anything. Just yeah. someone a good. You know, every man. Yeah, just your your average every man kind of a thing. You have a lot of bag though, because I have little balls. Like yeah. my fucking balls are worthless. I wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> you need big yeah, a couple of Maltesers. <laughs> it's all about the bag. Yeah. Oh, you got to have the bag. Yeah, it's all about, you know, a, a bit of stretch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need the 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 stretch. So cuz I I remember from last time you guys were in, there is a lot of stretching going on. Yeah. A lot of tugging on that thing and stretching. Uh you can't have anybody that's going to be getting excited either because that kind of makes it difficult to oh, no. twist and turn. Never that. work hard. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Never <laughs> work it's a hard. Motto. Yeah, and uh, so boy, that is kind of that's a hard audition process. You guys made it to the difficult, t- not hard. They, they made it to the Tonight Show. 
Yeah, yeah, we, we did. Leno? Yeah, we did Leno. How the fuck do you do Leno? Well, we just sort of, he was going to have us on the show and we were going to like shoot it Elvis style, shoot us from the waist up yeah. and just show his reaction and the crowd's reaction. But just before we did that, Ron, San Francisco uh, Breakfast TV and my friend's Eiffel Tower has gone right across greater television. Uh, oh, and, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that was a biggie. There was, there was three big incidents. There was you guys, there was us and there was Nipplegate. All at the same time. All, yeah, all around the same time. And uh, so That's right. It was one after another. Yeah. The Eiffel Tower uh, cock thing made live TV in San Francisco. <laughs> live TV. <laughs> right across everyone's bagels. <laughs> well, it's San Francisco. you think they wouldn't have minded exactly. something like that. Please, if ever right. it's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, David found that funny. David, <laughs> well, yeah, thank right. God. So, David, you've never seen any footage of anything these guys have done? Never. I've never okay. seen it before, no. Well, the, some of their classic puppets they do with their penises is the hamburger. We talk about the hamburger to this day. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic. That, that, that pretty much amazed yeah, everybody yeah. in studio. The Loch Ness Monster, the Snail, and the Eiffel Tower. And I uh, hear you got new puppets, including Brazilian woman and pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you guys do a show in a theater? Do you have, like, a camera? Is it like a uh, Yeah, you have a, a camera and a big video screen. Yeah, so it's like three stories. Story high penis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so uh, everyone gets a good view? Yeah. Not a bad seat in the house. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see that cock. Yes. <laughs> so the guys with foreskin, are they able to do more tricks? Well, a guy with uh, foreskin can do a better Eiffel Tower, but, you know, a guy with who's circumcised can do a better Loch Ness Monster. You know, we, we like to balance it up. We like to have one of each in each team. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> okay. We had naked porn stars yesterday and now naked guys today. Uh, Jesus. Oh, no. Morning oh, Joe's doing What Have We Learned Today? Oh, wow. Yeah, Who is? Oh, I wonder where they got that. Yeah, well, Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, so how are we going to do We don't have one woman that we can bring in here? It's a little weird, isn't it? It's just <laughs> fucking it's weird. No, I'm, I'm the penis knows. man. I'm telling you, this is weird. It's Curtains a goddamn pulled. disgrace. I feel, I feel dirty. Human yeah, resources. Yeah. <laughs> Human resources. Unbelievable. It's a disgrace. We, we weren't even allowed to walk around the halls to ask the females if they want to see something uh, called puppetry of the penis. i got to tell you, we've done this on radio like all over the world, and this is the first time we've ever had the curtains pulled. Really? See, yeah, it's and this first is, time. And, and this is satellite and radio. Satellite. Yeah. We're supposed to get crazier. Yeah. They're so fucking scared. It was, of, a little, of, it was a little different last time we did your show. I yes, mean, there, there was, was like oh, yeah. 30 people in you the studio. You remember? They're all women. We went yeah. up and down the floors of uh, the building we were in. It going, was hey, jam-packed. You see, I, couldn't, see, I could hardly turn around without taking someone's eye out. Yeah. yeah. Asking women uh, if they want to come in and see it, but now you can't even ask. So we got like E-Rock. Is going to have to react like a girl. <laughs> yeah. We want you to say girly things. Squeal. Yeah, yeah and, and we want you to comment on uh, their um, puppetry of the penis uh, like a girl would. Where's Steve? <laughs> oh, Jesus, guy. They're too excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we want to get our producer in here. Uh, yeah, no yeah of course. So. Get, get the get the produ- here, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hi, boys. Okay. So we can't yeah. get females in here. What? One. That's the whole bit. One I, I, I know. In I here. guarantee we could get a bunch, but we're not allowed to ask. No, so they don't even know that we're doing this. It's the asking. That's how uh, about we can't ask because maybe we said specific to women. Why couldn't we ask men and women? Staffers. It was staff. You couldn't. Uh, oh. Can we invite them in as our friends? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, corp- the, I'm stunned. This is. I'm not. But this is, don't. Let's not make all the mistakes that regular radio did. We have a chance. <laughs> we have a chance here. Don't make the same mistakes regular radio did. <laughs> all right. Well, let's just make this a really homoerotic experience. Yeah. <laughs> so, Steve, are you going to hang out and be like, yes, uh, he is. "What's his name in Boogie Nights holding the mic for Dirk Jiggler"? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> sure. Phil- Philip Seymour Carlisi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, did one of your one of your guys bail on us? Wasn't no. there supposed to be three? No, no, just the two of us. You got Simon, and your name is? Yeah, you, your big security Justin. guy took our publicity guy out the back somewhere. I don't know where he is. Oh, okay. Oh, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see this. <laughs> got to make sure you don't have yeah. any other weapons right, on step you. Step aside uh, that way a little more, uh, sir. Bring the mic, Bring with, the mic you. with you. David. Jesus. David, you have to be one of the dumbest individuals <laughs> I've ever known. <laughs> where can they see Puppetry of the Penis? We're doing a, a sneaky show at Comics tonight. It's the first time we've performed in New York in seven years. Get the wow. fuck out. No, no, it's the first time back. So we're doing a sneaky show at Comics tonight at 7.30, and then um, we're going to be uh, recasting and training up. We're going to be doing a full North American tour in October, November, December. 
And it's uh, comics, C-O-M-I-X-N-Y.com for info. It's on, uh, yeah. it's on like 14th Street in the Meatpacking District. It's a, it's a really Avenue, nice right? club. Yeah, 14th and 9th. It's great. <laughs> yeah. We thought it would be very appropriate to have yeah. the show in the Meatpacking District. Yes. <laughs> What was with the wheel, wheel of meat, by the way? We can do the wheel of meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently. We're Scorch. Yeah. <laughs> Got yeah. more he's meat a, for your wheel. Card, that one. Scorch. Oh, boy. What a laugh riot he is. Huh? <laughs> that's, that's radio. At least he'd have a girl, uh, at least one girl in the studio, though, for yeah. this. I'm like us. Well, it's going to be awkward, but I guess it's time Fucking to it. right. make stuff out of should, should, right. should we kick, him, kick the pants off? Here they go. Uh, right. Puppetry oh. of the penis. Uh, E-Rock, well, got you got to look, E-Rock. Yeah, we got two you naked guys. Look. E-Rock, look. What are you doing? And now, they're, they're, now comment, E-Rock. Are, are they fluffing? They're All getting... Right. We'll start with the hamburger. All right, we're starting with the hamburger. It's sort of like the old-time imitation thing. You turn around and go, and it would look something like, like this. this so. Here's one I prepared earlier. All right, here's uh, the hamburger. Here's the hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, uh, that's a hamburger. <laughs> it, uh, hold on. Hold it like that. <laughs> <laughs> see, you like complete the with the poppy seeds on the buns there. Yeah, I see. What do you, what do you, what do you think? Uh, well, uh, his hamburger is well done, and uh, his is uh, <laughs> medium rare. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think there, uh, David? Uh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> what, Dave, what's wrong? You don't like the hamburger? You want to take a bite? <laughs> it's different. I've never seen that before. Wow. Oh, he's doing his catchphrase now. <laughs> We should give him a little scary one. How about a windsurfer? All right, here's the windsurfer. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at? You can wreck yourself on that, David. I, I've, I've, I've tried to stretch my penis before. That's that's. Imp- I, I gotta say, that's impressive. You can stretch it. That's that's impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> How big was that wind sail there, David? That was huge. Oh, he like <laughs> stretched the penis and the balls all the way out. Oh, shit. Oh, no. oh. Whoa. Oh. Holy shit. Hey, here's a cute one. This one's not so bad, David. Here's the snail. Here's the snail, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Dave, you like the snail? He's saying oh. off. He's from jiggling. Up. He's like moving like a snail. Well, yeah. He's moving like a snail. God damn, David. <laughs> Iraq, what do you think? This is, Are you watching? I'm watching. It, it, you know what? It's it's very impressive. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, is is Justin's bullfrog? You ready? Bullfrog. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, he just pops. He pops his <laughs> testicle out. It goes in and out like a frog. Oh. It, yeah, he's squeezing it. It's like a balloon, uh, balloon inflating, like a bullfrog's oh. neck. Oh, oh my God! Here's the Loch Ness monster. Right, and here, the Loch Ness David, monster. Puppetry of the penis. Oh, that's the Loch Ness monster. That's the Loch Ness monster. And uh, oh of God. course, it looks just oh. like the Loch Ness monster. Oh my God! It's so cute. <laughs> Watch out, the Loch Ness Monster might get you. Oh, no. oh, that, is oh, boy. Oh. that is scary. Oh no, Justin's has hurt himself. Oh look, he's got a swollen thumb. <laughs> of course, <laughs> his penis is, is actually where his thumb would be. Oh, That's crazy. God. That's right. insane. Yeah. But David, here's something you probably haven't seen before. Let's get the uh, the, the, the Brazilian happening. <laughs> The Brazilian. <laughs> this is a little scary. You might not have seen this one before, what David. What is this called? The Brazilian Woman. The Brazilian Woman coming up. Puppetry of the Penis. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He made a vag out of yeah. it. He He's made, made an vagina. anatomically correct oh. vagina out of his testicles. How? Wow. <laughs> Yeah. There you that go. Is, uh, Stunning, huh? Amazing. <laughs> you don't like that one, David? David, look at the badge you made. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fortune cookie. <laughs> a fortune. <laughs> oh, He's actually God. made a vagina <laughs> out of his <laughs> testicles. Oh, my I'm God. amazed you figure out how to make a living out of this. <laughs> Unbelievable. We've all tried a few of these in the bathtub <sighs> when no one's looking. <laughs> Steve, Steve's like, it's all food to me. <laughs> There's oh, a new one I've been working on. And this is the pregnant woman. The pregnant it's under woman. He's got his. Check uh, out them knockers, huh? He's, he's got his thumb looped behind his bag skin, making tits in his. <laughs>
the walls yeah. look like the belly, and the cock head is, of course, the girl's head. You can oh tell me, Ben. Oh, that's the wheel of meat. <laughs> oh, meat spin. Yeah, that's, <laughs> they're doing meat, meat spin. spin. <laughs> you could tell they've, uh, they're have they very oh, wow. flexible. That's a fan. We'll finish off with a fan. Well, Where's the Eiffel that's, Tower? Um, What's the Eiffel Tower? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not that good at it. I'm, 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 I'm cut, so... Oh, you, know, you need a lot of skin. Oh, oh he's, 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 he's giving it a whirl. It's he's a bit just... of a stumpy Eiffel Tower. There you go. Oh, I see. you got to pull it down. Oh, oh yes, oh, yes. What the fuck? And you have to uh, pull it. Ah. Wow. David, you want to try you one? The no, chaos no, kick, no. The chaos no. keeps popping out the bottom no. there. How, how awkward is it that when you leave like a studio, no one shakes your hand? <laughs> <laughs> it's all, exactly. It's all waves goodbye. <laughs> You're getting a cuddle, David. You're getting a cuddle. Oh, what it, wow, that's... Uh, Jesus, that's, quite, uh, that's pretty impressive. impressive. Again, Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> that was a little weird, I know. Where's the, the girl? Favorite, the favorite has to be the uh, windsurfer was quite impressive. <laughs> oh, man. That guy, that's like a bat wing <laughs> with a tumor in it. You have no idea that is, uh, how big that wow. cell was. <laughs> you can get a lot of surface area on your bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> quite amazing. And the, the, qu the question is, do you think you'll ever be able to get an Asian into your troop? Never. <laughs> Never. Here is a grain of rice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A pencil eraser. <laughs> An acorn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you guys, uh, well, you haven't lost a thing. No, no, uh, no. it's yeah. still going. How you gained going? a little elasticity over the years, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it, it works. There's, uh, you know, people are trying to pu uh, push all these pumps and all these penis enlargement tools out there. Just do a little bit of origami for half an hour a day. Just kind of crank it a little there, yeah. pull, tug on it, uh, yeah. and uh, you'll it's a bit be like all right. those Amazonian Indians with the big plates in their lips and stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. The stretches. You I'll... guys get uh, the audition process. Uh, guys that just can't do it because it's painful to them. Um, most of it is fear. But yeah. every man can do at least a couple of these, you know. Let's just say the more clay, you ha the, the more clay the sculptor has to work with, the more it can create. You ah, know? there you go. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, but everyone can uh, do some. The hamburger thing looks like it could be painful. Yeah, no, because the no testicles pain. are very sensitive. Yeah, and then to twist them halfway like that. And and put one on top and one on the bottom of oh. a curled, coiled penis. <laughs> yeah, but there's one thing a guy knows how to do from a very early age. It's handle his own nuts without hurting himself. Okay. You know, we can all do that. There's no pain involved for us. You know your limit? Way. Oh, See, because definitely. the bullfrog looked like it would be painful. <laughs> Just kind of can popping out like that. It can go wrong. Yeah, you've got to be very careful with a bullfrog. One slip of the fingers and you can be on your knees. Yeah, that'll <laughs> yeah. hurt. That'll be hurt careful the lower abdomen. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All right, well, puppetry of the penis. Uh, Thanks for having oh, us back wow. again. Yeah, wow. How long was your show? How long? How long was the show? Do you guys do at the comedy? Eight uh, inches uh, from uh, the yeah. looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> About now, we do it now. That's great. Wow. Yeah. And Amy Schumer is going to support us tonight. I love Amy. Okay. Yeah, Amy cool. Schumer. We're a big fan of Amy. Yeah, yeah she's we're going to have her on the show soon. Puppetry of the penis dot com. <laughs> what? 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 Nothing. Just David's <laughs> undertones to everything you're saying. Oh, wow. Oh, really? oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Maybe wow. Show David, you want to go to the show tonight? And report I don't know. Back? I've seen a lot already. <laughs> you don't want to go and give us a full report tomorrow on the show? Yeah, why don't you go, David? Go why don't David. you go, David? Come yeah. on, David. You'll, you'll, take me in, you'll take me there and I'll go in and I'll report. Oh, maybe you could you do like, you know how you do the wind <laughs> sail? Maybe you could put over David's face and do the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they put over our Lord after you killed him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, right, yeah. I did. No, oh, I didn't kill anyone's Lord. Oh, why did I kill anyone's Lord? Oh. <laughs> David. Uh, if you go to Puppetry of the Penis, you get to see some of these? Indeed, you'll get to see them all, and plus many more. We're doing about 45 on stage tonight. What? 45. 45. 45. <laughs> What are yeah, some of the other ones you do? Oh. Uh, there's a skateboard. There's the baby bird. A pelican. I remember the baby bird. I remember that the was, baby uh, bird. Yeah. That was pretty good. Oh. Yeah. A pelican. A pelican. pelican. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, uh, you can oh just picture that one. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. All right. It's comics tonight. C-O-M-I-X-N-Y.com. Oh. 7.30 show. Uh, 14th Street and 9th Avenue. Yep. And, and available then, for private shows, puppetrythepenis.com. You can hit the private parties button. That's got to be amazing at a fucking bachelorette party. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Oh, it's, it goes off. It's perfect. 
I'll eat the hamburger. <laughs> I'll suck the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> just fucking whores just yeah. yelling <laughs> things out. <laughs> fucking bachelor at party whores. I have I have one fucking dumb trick I do with my dick. So I pull it out and I go, look, it's a gun. And then I shoot gonorrhea on a girl. Jesus. All right, gentlemen. Um, great job, wow. man. That is fucking hilarious. Thank you, gentlemen. It really is funny. I wish there were some ladies in here to uh, partake enjoy, and yeah. enjoy. Uh, but, uh, if I was, if it was a taping tonight, I would actually fucking go see that. That is fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see like the audience reactions. Yeah. That would be yeah. hysterical, you know? Yeah. Well, we're, yeah. we're hoping. We're trying to put together a, uh, a little off-Broadway season in, in mm -hmm. the summer, around August. So if, if we do, we'll let you know. Summer's good. Your bag is nice and loose during exactly. the summer. Yeah. Yeah. During the winter, the show's like 20 minutes. <laughs> you can't do anything. <laughs> this is a hornet's nest. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> the unopenable <laughs> clamshell. <laughs> the pistachio nut. A boil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and finally, the peach pit. <laughs> In the summer, it's different. Yeah, the last supper. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Great Very job, good. guys. Right, gentlemen, uh, uh, again, yeah, like Jimmy said, uh, excuse us for not shaking hands. That's pleasure. We got to get you guys to one of our live events. That, that's fucking, that, it really, yeah, we have to. That would be, to. That would be cool. on a giant love to do it. screen. Next yeah, time yeah. you're in New York, let us know ahead of time. Maybe we could, like, uh, build some kind of live event around that. You do a quick appearance. Sure, we'd love yeah, yeah. to. Yeah, I mean, we need to bring this to the fans. It's very funny. It's Tonight really in comics, funny. if you're in New York or Jersey, uh, on 14th and 9th, it's, it's, comics is actually a well-constructed club for a show like this. I like it's it. It's not, perfect. I like thing. comics. Yeah, three tiers. Everyone yeah. can see. It's good. And then you got the big screen to make your penises look nice <laughs> and, and large. And the, the plasma screens everywhere. Like, no matter where you turn, there's going to be cock. <laughs> <laughs> you sell t-shirts? No t-shirts. Some of these on a t-shirt can be pretty damn funny. Well, yeah, but we used to have the hamburger, and it would have, like, you know, a big, would you like fries with that? And you'd see people walking down the street just, like, staring at it, and, like, they're going to get close, because it does look like the hamburger. <laughs> yeah. And. And, uh, but no, someone's wearing a, you know, we had all these beautiful girls walking around with cocks on their T-shirts. <laughs> so that they got banned. Yeah. The best shirt ever is Larry Flint when he was going to court for like obscenity. One of his court things years ago, he wore a shirt. It had a giant black cock on it and it just said, I wish I was black. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the shirt he wore to court. <laughs> I just fucking love Larry Flint. <laughs> I wish it was black. He's doing his catchphrase now. His catchphrase. Now he does it like on purpose and but not the same impact. But bravo, guys! Thank you so much. Thank you, Rox. Thanks for having us. Oh, you want to shake your head? And he pinched David's cheek. Pinching David's cheek and shaking his hand. You almost. We'll see you tonight, David. Oh, 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 no. Gentlemen, Jimmy doesn't care. He'll lick his hand afterwards. <laughs> doesn't matter. Take it easy, uh, gents. <laughs> Take Fair care enough. of those uh, instruments. Oh, yeah. There you go. See you guys. The puppetry of the penis, guys. Yeah. You get some big fucking laughs out of those dudes, man. That, that's, uh, I would like to see well, reactions of people like, just in an audience who yeah, have yeah. never seen that. That is very funny. The key, too, is, I mean, you can make that stuff, but just how they present is hilarious. Yeah. The yeah. one guy, obviously, is a funny guy. Yeah. Very funny. Bro. Knows am how I, to work it. Am I fucking... You better hope those guys are fucking, like, showers and... Because if they're growers, those guys are fucking bullshit. <laughs> you should be in fucking porn. Jesus. Yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Room full of little dicked men just staring at two real men making a living with their cocks. There is just something with the... the I guess the pulling <laughs> oh. constantly and the twisting and... and, and that just makes their fucking dicks like rubber. But their dicks look weather beaten. Like their dicks look like yeah. rubber chicken necks. Like they're just tired of it all. But that's funny, man. Yeah, they're, they're like stage mothers putting their kids out there for years. It's like, oh, they're beaten and weathered. It's like, oh, come on. Just want to be a dick again. Did it's, you like that? No, no. Jesus. Them? That was that was scary. What's up with the flinch, scary. dude? When you get touched, why do you flinch? Yeah, it's like, I'm I don't not, know. It's not what an aggressive that? touch. What is that? Why do you do that? Why is that? You don't I like don't know. Being... It's just a reaction. I don't know. You don't like being touched, right? Nah, uh, I guess not. I don't know. I guess you... not. I don't know. Were you touched as a kid? No, no, no. Ever? Not anything out of the out of the normal. No. What's the normal? Yeah. 
Did so your homework get raped? Suck your cock? <laughs> did, your no. un- did your uncle try to make a wind sail out of your Oh, and my God. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh man. And then, and then yes. you know, blow into it to make it... Uh... No, his, his, his uncle would tell David that his penis was a lemon drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh. And, that was no. fi- huh? and that was five minutes. You want me to go see an hour at comics? Whoa. <laughs> that stuff, stuff is pretty scary. All right, David, get the fuck out of here. Pretty scary. Yeah. Whoa. Good job, David, as always. Yeah, Thank David, you. David, good yes. job. That's right. I think uh, we, young, we young lead David. it to this after the puppetry of the penis. A nice little story. Yeah, what do we got? Bend over, slut. I'm on butt truck yet. Does it need a setup? Whoa. Um, no, I think if you just let Is it this, run. I you'll... thought this was a news story. Yeah, I know. Stupid I, me. I, no, it's I'm like, fun. well, uh, in Daytona. <laughs> I know and what that is. A man. No, it's uh, it's just it's, video just or audio. Oh, let okay, me, all right. Is let's that st- up, let it run? Let me pull up the video. Uh, no, I got confidence in uh, what Danny says. He knows what he's doing. Let it run. Bend over, slut. I'm on butt fuck you. <clears throat> all you women eat your heart out. This man's got the cutest butt in the state. Oh no. <sighs> what are you doing to me, bitch? Oh, you bitch, you're fucking me with that tongue. Uh huh. Uh. Oh, you uh, like that tongue fucking. Uh, <laughs> oh, it feels like it's coming out my belly. Uh, ah. Oh, you slut. Uh, oh, God, you're big. Your strap on's big. Mm-hmm. Mm. The bigger the better. Uh, Keep that butt stretched. Uh, you're fucking me. That way it's ready to <laughs> fuck. Uh, oh, I'm ready. Uh, to butt fuck you. Mm. You fucking bitch, you get off me with a scrap iron. My bitch is kinky. Mm. Oh, my bitch is kinky. Mm. That's what you get for being a woman, thief. Mm. You stole a kinky mm. Harley, bitch. Mm. You fucking getting off, ain't you, bitch? You both are ready. Uh. Are you jealous? You coming again, are you? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're having a big one. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're slamming. Mm. <sighs> when did Throw Mama from the Train start doing fucking... <laughs> That was so fucking disturbing. I don't even know what to say about that. This is a fat, <laughs> disgusting uh, couple. Yeah. Uh, the woman has just... It's a flat so. She's got <laughs> saggy, flat tits. And she's strapped on a dildo. And fucked her um, hubby or boyfriend or whatever it is in the uh, in the ass. His bitch is kinky. Uh, you're kinky. You're kinky. Oh yeah. Uh, you're kinky. You're f- I like when he goes. You're fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> so he just woke up from a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait. You're fucking me. He no dreamt shit. he was being was interrogated by the Nazis. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh God, what a disgusting couple that is. Okay, mm. terrific. Yeah, wonderful. Another great find, Danny. Thank you. How do you find these? Hey, and you know who's back, too? I didn't watch the video yet, but oh. uh, uh, one one jar, one guy. No guy. way. Oh, he's got I've a new never video? Seen that. See, he wouldn't be back. You, you never saw that? one I could not jar, find one it. guy? Couldn't find it. No. Well, can I see it? Sure. He and, uh, wouldn't be back. He'd be in the back. hospital. No, he's back. Is it real? Dude, I'd say I no know. now. I don't know. I mean, because the guy, I don't think so. he's got like marks all over his thighs and stuff. So he's done some fucking really weird shit before. Let so. me see it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. What is he back doing? Uh, I didn't watch it yet, but apparently. <laughs> one guy, one wheelchair. <laughs> this is it right here. One guy, one screwdriver. Oh, and apparently oh, he shit. takes a, a screwdriver to his cock hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just got a weird, tingly, bad feeling. Let's see that, Dan. Let's see the cock hole. No, 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 I'm not going to watch it. I can it. see that. I don't know That's I'm not going to watch it. Put it on. That's a fetish for some guys. It's called sounds. It's called what? Sounds. Guys that like these things. Why put sounds? I don't know. I'm not sure where the name That's came from. Because he goes, ah! <laughs> That's a weird uh, name for that. I don't know. Oh, if I, no. I, might I don't know if I want to. I oh, might. Come on, fucking man up, you coop. I might. Ah, oh, dude. What the oh, fuck dude. is he doing? Stop oh, it! Dude, stop dude, it! Dude, dude, Leave it on. What are you done watching? Dude, he's all scarred up between his leg. He's and got, he's got lard. A... Whoa! He's putting. He's putting a big. 
cup up. Yeah, he's got lime. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, all right, right, I'm, I'm done. done. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Don't take it off. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. He's bleeding badly. I'm done. I'm done. He's pulling a screwdriver. Fuck. 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 Why are you making me lost? Jesus Christ. Here's what he did. He's uh he's bleeding badly from the cock. He had pushed a. Oh my God. We thought he pushed the you know the the screwdriver in and. No, it was the handle. Of yeah, the and he's driver. bleeding badly. I can't watch this. He's Turn pissing this blood on purpose. Stop it. Turn this off. I can't look. I can't do anything. I want to sleep tonight. I can't think. Jesus that guy's damn. great. <laughs> he's fucking great. And the and the fucking screwdriver's on a, lino- a really awful linoleum floor wow. with oh blood. What do you think? He lives in a really nice place. If he- yeah, oh they just show God. the floor. He's done. He's done. He just did puppetry of the penis. Oh, now look he at all the blood the in the tub. <laughs> There's blood in the tub. He just did, he just did the <laughs> he just did the JFK. <laughs> <laughs> the JFK. <laughs> yeah, he had the fucking handle. I guess he ripped the skin inside because he was bleeding, yeah, was think, spurting blood from his cock hole. You think he did, Jim? Oh my god. Let me and he and it, but while he did that, he had lard in his ass. He squatted over a glass. And he took the whole fucking glass up his asshole. Uh, I can't take that. Can I please see the uh, the, the one guy, one bottle or whatever? I'm yeah, sure yeah. it's real. That's right? nothing compared to this. And yeah, now I'm starting to think it's real. Dude, he's bleeding from the dick That hole. guy's got like all kinds of fucking scars all over his asshole and he's everything. He's the body mutilation. Oh, is he? He's, By the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. Perhaps one, wasn't. one guy, one cup, tearing up the charts. Uh, 3.6 million views. Wow. <laughs> wow, there are some sick fucks out there. Oh, here you go, James. Oh, yeah, take take a look. Because did Bob not Kelly gonna... hate this? Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he's all scarred up. This guy's a disaster. Right, he's uh, he's the, squatting. The yeah, he's squatting yeah. on the uh, yeah. on the jar. Oh god. Oh god. I squatting, can't. pushing the jar further and further in. I can't watch this. His asshole is way open. Can't watch this. Listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait for it. Oh! oh! The glass broke in his ass. Holy fuck. He's now trying to pull the broken jar out of his ass. Broken glass shards, and now blood is dripping, pouring, pouring, pouring. out of his ass. I, ca- I can't believe this. I can't fucking look. I wonder if he does it on... Did he break it on purpose? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. And he's very calm as I'm far as trying up. to get the glass out of his ass. Yeah, I'd be panicking you watching. You think this is real, Jimmy? Yes. You think this is real? Without a doubt. This may have been an accident because uh, there, I've seen, a, like, obviously that screwdriver one, and there's another video I saw, and apparently this guy, he loves sticking glass bottles in his ass. So <laughs> I think maybe this one broke by accident. Maybe by accident, but he's not panicking because he's all scarred up. Yeah. He's been hurt before. This is, yeah, something like this has definitely happened before. I was just pulling pieces of... Uh, <laughs> What's the matter, Ant? I'm not looking at <laughs> this. I'm not, I'm not looking at this. It's actually done. This is so bad. Shut up. I saw this clip, Jimmy. You're not going to fucking catch His me hands like are that. bleeding badly. Um, yeah, this is kind of nauseating, actually. I'm not looking. I, I wish the camera is angle was better. So the <laughs> camera <laughs> angle was better. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking scorch. Did Bob <laughs> Kelly puke? PFG Yo. TV. I'm going to sit on a chair. Yeah, Bob Kelly was, like, puking. This guy's asshole is being <laughs> held wide open. I'm not looking. Oh, God. He's I just can't. picking I can't. glass up out of his asshole. <laughs> Very calm, though. Yeah, he's handling it well. This guy handles pressure well. Everybody else would be screaming their ass. Must be a relief pitcher. <laughs> screaming their ass. <laughs> well, I think there's some noise at the end, but that was put in. It's not this guy. What do you I, mean? I, 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 uh, they, they like put they in like a, some yeah, shit. like a scream or something. It's, it's not in. Oh, he's picking it out. He can still feel it's up there. How do people see this, Danny? Well, they can go to my favorite They have website. a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can go to my favorite website. Actually, it's mogulist.com slash Anthony Kumi. Oh, no. Anthony Radio. Oh, nice. Anthony Radio. No, it's, it's actually E-Fucked. E-F-U-K-T dot com. It's probably one of my favorite websites. Who is this time. guy? Oh, someone I, just linked it. Yeah, that. See, that's... that's Who is that guy? I think... Um, I think he does crazy stuff, but Apparently I, think, he's, I think there's some kind of a, a trick involved there. Uh, this guy, uh, I think he, he actually posts in the forums... Of this website, and I think that's how these videos came out. Oh, God. You know, like every every medium has some weirdo that does weird shit. Like I remember on on Pal Talk, somebody sent me a video of some guy putting a slice of pizza in his ass. Yeah, yeah, and I've then taking it out and stuff, eating man. it. So I mean, this this I'm sure shit like that. Then again, the it could have been that looked real because the way his asshole opened so for you to be able to take that in your asshole. Yeah, yeah. But it could have been one of those breakable bottles that you see in movies. Which are you could break? I had a bottle broken across my head in a movie, and it's it's like a sugar thing. It doesn't hurt you at all. Yeah, 
But I, I think but, there's some kind of trick there. But again, dude, he's, his, 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 he's so scarred up. No, I, I, yeah, well, he's obviously putting and you can't, things in his look, ass. Look, we'd like to think it's fake. Dude, that, just I, that's for real, our dude. own fucking that sanity. That is real. But we just saw that. Yuck. God damn it. Yeah, I want to see so Bob's disgusting. reaction, dude. I, I've. Uh, A lot of people huh. think the video is real. That's right. absolutely real. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do Bob's reaction oh, into break. God. That's yeah, that's, un- that's unsettling. Bad, I can I can handle a lot. That's Same uncomfortable. Same video we just played. This is the time we played it for Bob Kelly. Uh, a very different reaction. <laughs> Quick break, and then we're going to get an update on Miss California and do some other things. Thanks. They have to just irrigate your asshole with like water or something? How would they do that where they wouldn't push it farther into you? I, I, don't, I don't care. Know. I don't know. Ant's I right eye is closed. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm like wince. I'm wincing at the thought of this. Could, you, could your instinct be to close your asshole and that would suck the glass up farther? Would it? Mm-hmm. The first time I watched that video... I'm turning uh, into Popeye. <laughs> obviously, I didn't know what was coming, and I tapped out. The minute I heard that glass break, and like I knew what was coming next, I was like, <laughs> yeah. like, I saw there was still like two minutes left in the video. I'm like, no, I'm not watching this. <laughs> you can't watch the rest. I couldn't do it. Yeah, that is bad. That's, a, that's upsetting. The worst was be watching that guy get murdered is the worst I've ever seen. But that's bad. I don't... Yeah, guy would just kill the screwdriver. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we take a break? Mm. So this is Bob's reaction to that same video we just played for Jimmy. <laughs> hey, Bobby, you ready to see the video? I, uh, the only thing that makes me laugh about, I, I hate when you guys show me these videos and I puke and here comes Sam with a camera so you know it's bad. Oh, of course. No, it's An- not bad. Anthony's, your, your cackle Dude, during Two Girls, it. One Cup, no. it makes me, for some reason, that cackle that you had going was funny to me. It starts a chain reaction. <laughs> you can yeah. just hear you. Your, your dry heaving starts me cackling. <laughs> I can't. There's nothing funnier than watching someone puke or dry heave. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just funny. All right. Here we go. For Bobby, we're showing a video. We should- Whoa! I don't like it already. Wait, wait. He turned around. Will you, will you stop the video? Hold on. What are you doing, Bobby? Is that a... Is that a, is that a- it's a jar on the, on well, the what's floor. A, what's on his... What's on the... Th- don't even try to describe it. Uh, hey, go back. Is what it is. Now we got to start over, Bobby. Is he European? Why is it like that? Who cares? Oh, yeah. that isn't even... Don't even worry about that. Yeah, here we go, Bobby. Don't even pay attention to that. All right. The All video's right. playing. We're just going to let it... Unfold in Let front it of us. Play. Keep looking, Bobby. Watch this. Oh, Bobby, come on, just watch. No, just keep looking. Oh no, it watch. doesn't. No, just please watch. Just watch. No, keep it clean Don't for the radio. So by much. The way. Oh my God, no. See, there's no jar now. What oh, happened to watch. the jar? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Bobby, Bobby what? Bobby, watch. Bobby, watch. Bobby, you got to look. Him. Bobby, you got to look. No, look. Look, Bobby. Hold on. We... <laughs> oh, my God. He's feeling up the breakfast he just ate. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Was that a pickle jar? <laughs> he can still be funny. Wow. How great is this guy? Oh god. And he can still be funny. All right, Danny, back up the video because uh, unfortunately missed uh, a bunch of the goodness. Yeah. Back it up a little bit. Ooh, Bobby. Is that blood? Bobby. <laughs> Keep it very vague, please. We're not answering any of your questions. All right. Did you back up the video? Now, Bobby. Bobby, will you turn and look, please? Something's so wrong. All right. Just turn and look. Here we go. No big deal. Stay with it. Stay with it. Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton, doing Red Eye tonight on the Fox News channel I with am. Greg Gutfeld. <clears throat> yes. So make sure you take a look at that that's, uh, tonight or DVR it. Uh, in the news, Stephen Hawking, we were talking about him yesterday. Yeah. Yes. He's terminally ill or something like that. They said he's really, really sick. That's the, what they said. The update today, Stephen Hawking is going to make a full and complete recovery. Good. 
to what point? <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> that's what the news story said, though. A full and, and complete recovery. <laughs> yeah. Back to where he was, which was well, I, horribly ill. <laughs> a full and complete recovery to me means he's going to be running, you know, next yeah, year's yeah. Boston Marathon. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> right. God, I'm smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> full and complete. Not, not complete. I think the news has a sense of humor. That's we, how they yeah. were reporting that this morning. Don't we have Kaku in tomorrow? Hey, is, we had Kaku just before. We had a lot of Kaku <laughs> today. Wah, wah, wah. Dr. Michu Kaku is tomorrow, right? Michu Kaku. And then Friday's Oppie Gary Coleman. Oppie and, uh, and Anthony. He still doesn't remember me. I see him around the building. He has no recollection of who I am. I am Dr. Michu Kaku, Kaku. and yes. I want to talk to you about... Yeah, I see him on the what is he, on the Science Channel and... Sci- Sci- Sci-Q Sundays. Sci-Q Sundays. Join me every Sunday and test your Sci-Q. Sci-Q. <laughs> I'm Dr. Michio Kaku. Every 45 seconds on that fucking job. Uh, yeah. I'm Dr. Dr. Michio Kaku. So if there was an <laughs> ant, would the ta- aliens talk to ants? No. No. It's a, he's so used to talking to people. Because he makes little corny jokes. He's so used to talking to people that are 90 IQ points below him. Oh, yeah. Just morons. Everyone he talks. It's like us talking to turtles. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he looks at most people. Try to explain, yeah. The internal combustion engine to a frog. <laughs> but he almost sounds like a crackpot because he goes, it's like on Star Trek. The, he's trying to explain really complex physicists, yeah. uh, uh, physics to, to fucking laymen, and he's yeah. pretty good at it. Yeah, because he does use things that people, you know, it's almost insulting if, it's like, if it wasn't completely necessary. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like, all right, forget the Star Trek. Just explain it if you were talking to another, if you were talking to, you know, another physicist, you wouldn't go, it's like in Star Wars. Yes. You, you would know. just spit it out. Yeah, you would say like you do in scientist talk. Yeah. Can I take tomorrow off? Explain it like you would to a child. I want to take tomorrow off. That universe stuff creeps me out. That's yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. The universe is pretty big. Ugh. You see the Saturn picture? Pictures. Yeah, no, well, those are pretty shit. cool to check out. The great the Cassini his satellite. Ah, hey, speaking of space, that astronaut we never it's got far frontier. We never got to it yeah. yesterday. The astronaut saying, "Look, there are aliens visiting us. The government's uh, uh, covering it up." You know that old story, but it's a new ast- gag. This is a new astronaut, right? Really? Or is it the same one that we've talked about yeah, it in the past? One. It's a different it's one. A different guy. Yeah, he uh, a recent astronaut too. I think he made he did his flights in like the nineties. Shit. So. so his so his brain should still be there. Oh, uh, what did he say? Because the old astronaut, I'm like, eh. did he see something? Well, and then he's like, Obama's got to open the files, and Obama seems to be doing everything differently. So maybe maybe Obama opened some files for us. He opens files, all right. CIA files about stupid. waterboarding. Dude. Dummy. Well, and the report oh, came out because dummy. the report came out because of that that insane waterboarding that our boys were doing. That they got some great info. Of course, of course they, they did. But that's yes. also good, and that's though. all that should. That's that's the only thing that should matter. See, they're not an Obama guy all the time, and see, they're talking see? about fucking Khalid uh, Muhammad. That they, they waterboarded him. He's 100... the guy that fucking masterminded September 11th. Yes. 153 times they waterboarded him. Something Good. like that. Good. God, are we a fucking and, nation and of dummies. Obama fucking says that will never happen again. Ugh. We will not uh, use that technique. It, and then they're talking about actually prosecuting Ugh. certain people that were responsible for the waterboarding. Waterboarding, by the way, is uh, a torture technique. Uh, they call it a torture technique. It's an interrogation technique where you um, make the person feel like you're fucking drowning them. You p- hold them underwater. You, 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 you're drowning them. Uh, and then you bring them up at the last minute and make them go. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's the plan. <laughs> and they said that they actually thwarted the uh, Los Angeles um, terrorist plot. Through information garnered through waterboarding. So, so we as Americans would rather politely talk through a lawyer. Yes. And we would have people. These are religious people. They're fucking willing to die. They don't. Mm-hmm. They're not afraid to go to jail. But the immediacy of death like that will probably get somebody talking. We fucking we, we almost deserve to get attacked. We're so fucking stupid. We are not stupid. This motherfucker is stupid. What an asshole the he, president is. He's an asshole. The fucking attorney general's an asshole. It's uh, it's stunning to me that uh, it, it, they've forgotten what happened on September 11th. Well, his they've strategy, just forgotten. His strategy is to brown nose the entire world and oh, see if yeah. that turns things around. Yeah, right? he thinks he's gonna. He thinks he's by just walking to make, around, shaking hands, nice and smiling, he absolutely thinks that the world is gonna go. 
Oh, America's not that bad then. That's quite a gamble, my friends. <laughs> quite a gamble to yeah. take. Thanks. I, under I understand torture not being used on soldiers. I understand, but the, the, the level of what you're preventing, you're preventing attacks that are yeah. going to kill thousands of people at a clip. These are not just random incidents. These are not just people with certain military information. Uh -huh. These are people who know the exact details of terrorist attacks. And we and we are all yeah. we, it's like fucking we, there's no common sense. And it didn't it didn't say the memo didn't say that they were waterboarding everybody. They were they, it, they have instructions that they were to use certain techniques on high high level uh uh people that they have uh uh down in Guantanamo. And only if they weren't talking. Yeah, at first he said, you know, you'll see. That's what uh, they said, uh, Khalid, Sheikh Mohammed uh, you'll said. You'll see. He said he, they said, uh, tell us what, what, what's being planned, what's going on, you know, getting info mm -hmm. from him. Mm -hmm. And he goes, you'll see soon enough. Mm -hmm. You'll see soon enough. A few dunks in the old fucking tank, and he was a blithering, blathering idiot on uh, everything Al-Qaeda. But no, I guess what we should have done, uh, once again, the left is completely in touch yep. with how to handle foreign policy. Not that Bush was great, but when it came to this stuff, I, I backed the way he handled it. I guess we should have just been polite, right? We should have just been polite and then allowed more fucking uh, office workers to jump out oh, the yeah. 90th floor window. I guess, and again, Obama must have been busy that day. I don't think Obama was watching uh, TV that day. I don't think he heard about 9-11 or anything. I think he was very busy. Um, getting some kind of social program together for the poor in uh, Chicago. Uh, th this guy is completely out of touch and has no idea what the real world is like. People hate this country. They hated this country before George Bush, too, mind you. I know George Bush didn't go around uh, making uh, the rest of the world love us, that's for sure. But uh, they hated this country, our ideals, our values, our, our government, everything. They're, they're religious fanatics that don't like us because we're not the same religion. If it's this, not going to change by shaking their fucking hand and bowing to them. They're uh, beheading people, and this asshole wants to possibly prosecute people in the CIA, you yeah. fucking traitor. You That's a traitor. He's a traitor. If you prosecute people in the oh CIA God, yeah. for questioning, however they question Al-Qaeda top lieutenants exactly. and protecting Americans from, from terrorists, as far as I'm concerned, you're a traitor. Totally traitor. Let, yeah. Uh, yeah, Jonas in Jersey wants in because uh, he wants to uh, revise your description of waterboarding. Let's All see right. what Jonas has to say about that. Jonas. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I just want to say how much of a pussified nation we are. It's actually even way less harmless than dunking your head in a tank of water. They actually wrap a bandana around your nose so you can't really breathe through your nose, and they just pour water over your face. So it does feel like you're drowning because you can't catch your breath. There's water pouring into your mouth and nose and stuff, but there's no chance of you drowning. And here we are right. crying about how we're hurting these people who fucking blew up 3,000 people. Yeah, and they behead people and everything. <laughs> and then, you know, we, we, we use uh, uh, these techniques to get the... Um get the uh, information out of them and and we're the bad guys of course and obama knows how you know oh we can't we can't do that in this world we have to set an example of good and we did and we, before we, you know it kablooey buildings are blowing up we set an example of a country that was too polite mm -hmm. to stop giving out student visas so we yeah. took a big dick in the ass yeah. um and the whole country was outraged that a few years passed nothing happens because of what the cia is exactly. doing and we cry that the cia is not being polite to fucking high-level religious fanatics who target civilians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got Mike. He's an interrogator for the U.S. Mike? Army on the line. Mike A. Hey, what's going on? God bless what you do, Mike A. Uh, well, um, let me tell you, I just got back from Iraq, and these guys 100% have no problem going to jail for the rest of their lives or dying as long as they kill one person. If waterboarding works, and trust me, I've had it done to me, it does. It has to be done. Yeah, it, it's it's it just astounds me. What happened? How did how did people just forget about what was going on? Well, I mean, and, and 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 the fact of the matter is, there have been plots that were uh, you know they they found out about them yep. through these um, techniques, these interrogation techniques, and uh, Obama is now telling. Obama is now pretty much saying, you don't have to worry if you're captured. Uh, we're not going to do anything that's really going to get the information from you, so you don't have to worry. 
No, I mean, when we're over there interrogating people, they'll literally look at us and tell them we're violating their civil rights. <laughs> I mean, these people think they have American civil rights because we captured them. The because o- of people like How will the CIA... Them. Look, the CIA, they're going to get around it. There's no way uh, they're going to allow this fucking jackass... To just tell the whole world, oh, we were naughty for interrogating these people too harshly. If there's threats, though, of prosecution, dude, if there's threats of prosecution, what guy in his right mind is going to risk going to prison for uh, interrogating somebody? You're now going to toe the line, be a good boy, not get the information. And wait until, you know, we have another attack. And they were targeting the White House. They, yeah. they could, apparently they couldn't find it, which is why they hit the Pentagon. But yep. from, from the air, you could, the White House, they wanted to, to hit the White House. Yeah. Not, the president probably wouldn't have been there. That would have been amazing. But they were targeting but, the president. Sh- yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Rick, uh, the other side here from Missouri. So do you want to see our soldiers waterboarded? Again, as, I've said, excuse me. as I said before, these are high-level uh, religious fanatics. These are not foot soldiers. I'm not talking about guys that are in the field fighting. He I'm said, not talking about that. He, he's saying they will do it if we do it. And dude, They'll they do it do, anyway. They, they cut exactly. their fucking heads off, you idiot. They fucking drag, they, they drag American bodies through the street. They fucking beheaded that one. Some of those three soldiers yeah. they captured. They hang them upside down yeah. on bridges. They, do, You know, it's... What is that guy, an idiot? Yes. Do you listen to the fucking news? What a dope. Do you watch? Do you read? Do you, do you, what do you do? What the those soldiers would have loved to have been waterboarded, I'm sure, what? instead of uh, had their heads uh, uh, sawn off. See, people don't watch the beheading oh, videos. Fucking idiots. Watch the beheading video of the Black Hawk helicopter uh, pilot. Yeah, who's beheaded? It makes watch uh, the yeah. videos. It they, makes playing naked pyramid in uh, a prison uh, look like nothing. Believe me. Bunch of fucking people that want to sit home and complain, and it's like at least watch the video Ugh. and listen to them reading that religious shit, and then fucking lopping somebody's head off with a, with, a, with a fucking butcher knife. Unbelievable. We got some info oh coming God. in from Dan Turner, who Ugh. used to be an XM employee, huge know. fan of the Opie and Anthony show. It's good Dan. to see that he's doing well. Uh, Dan Turner still listens to our show. God bless him. He writes, the numbers on the waterboarding aren't individual sessions, but the tally of water drops, maybe 30 per session. Nobody was waterboarded hundreds of times. Hmm. Drops of water, though? Not drops, but every time your head goes under, it's probably considered a drop. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Or a a pour. The thing is, when when Obama released... Classified CIA memos. Fucking idiot. He released fucking classified CIA memos uh, to make uh, people aware that this torture was going on, but left out the parts. Here's Mr. Transparency in government once again. Mr. I'm so tra- I'm transparent. You'll be able to see and know this is an open administration. Left out the parts that said that those techniques got results and the results that they got were uh uh finding out that there were uh, plans to hijack airliners in uh uh the in asia and fly into los angeles that was directly that information directly came from waterboarding of prisoners here's this this root cause guilty american shit that the president's practicing The whole thing, and we all knew it when Jeremiah Wright was saying, uh, the chickens come home to roost. Yeah. That means it's our fault, and we deserve what we got on September 11th. Oh, we change your foreign him, policies, and then nothing will happen. So that completely takes away the fucking the horrible uh, religious fanaticism motives yeah. of the people doing it. It automatically means they're only reacting to American terribleness. Where to blame? Well, Always to blame. Steve in New York disagrees with what you just said, Anthony. Let's go to Steve. Really? Steve. Hey, hey, Anthony. What's going on? Hey, man. Hey, man. Anthony, absolutely wrong, dude. Listen, waterboarding has not produced not one positive result. All right, how, where did you, where'd you get your... Positive result. You name me one instance, one specific instance where waterboarding has provided any information regarding uh, okay. uh, terrorist uh, whereabouts, regarding terrorist incidents, okay. regarding terrorist plans. All right. Not one incident. You All right. Name, Steve, I will. If And I would if I didn't think you were going to go frankis and goof on me because uh, you absolutely know that information came out. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Name, name it. Come okay. On. All right. Here name I go. One um, where, name one instance where waterboarding produced results that, that thwarted a terrorist act. The waterboarding 
of Khalid Muhammad thwarted the Los Angeles uh, terrorist attack that was being planned to crash an airliner from uh, Asia into Los Angeles, into a building in Los Angeles. Directly came from waterboarding. That, that was a C. What, what, what is your source for that? that is the source is a, the rest of the CIA. A shithead. That never the rest of it was the rest of that CIA memo that fucking Obama decided to leave that info out when he gave it to the public. How, how do you know? What you are, what you are doing, That's you my source. What's, you are, regurg- you are regurgitating uh, uh, our former vice president Potter's. What's own, your What's your What's your source what you that said there wasn't any result? What's your source? What's your what you source? I just gave my source. What's yours? Well, my source. Obviously, I reviewed some government documents. Obviously, I've oh, read, you're privy to CIA I've documents read, that were released read, yesterday. Well, you're privy <laughs> to documents that were only released <laughs> yesterday. Anthony, that argument you're making is so disingenuous because the information that was put out there by the recent report was already out there. What it's documents have you reviewed, sir? Yeah, what documents? What documents? No, 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 no. Stop yelling. What? Stop fucking yelling, stupid. Listen, what documents no, have you reviewed? Person. What documents? Stick to the point. Stick to the point. What documents yeah, what, have you reviewed? What documents did you review that told you... That there weren't any results. What Go. documents? I read the U.S. News and World Report. I read the U.S. That's the documents? Document. I, 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 read, I read various Do you know that the CIA, the so CIA please. put out uh, the memo to Anthony, show, you, you, to show that just, Obama left just, information refer, out? Refer, to show that... Refer, hey, listen, you... Loving shithead. No, you listen, <laughs> listen you asshole. Racist, you You're a fucking racist, ignorant racist, fuckhole. Racist, I hope, I hope and pray you and your family are in a fucking building when the next plane crashes into it. I hope you and your family have to jump out of a burning fucking building and land on your extended family. Go. Be- I hope, I hope a fucking terrorist beats your head open with your fucking daughter or son's arms. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. That's right. Thank you. 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 You know what, Steve? Shut your fucking mouth. Steve, you lost the argument. Fuck you. You loser. You're a fucking loser. Drop dead. You're you fucking loser. Fucking You're a fucking guilty liberal shithead is what you are. You guilty lib. Guilty lib. I hope you get fucking robbed. I hope you get shot. I hope a fucking... I hope somebody fucking... Some poor impoverished bastard fucking shoots you. I hope there's a home invasion in your house and you offer them cookies. Drop that. Fuck yourself. Fuck your you mother, fuck, fuck your mother, <laughs> that whore bitch. Okay, Shut up. Answer. Your mother's I'm vagina spit you out, that stink face. hole. I fuck her. Fucking long Shut it. Fuck Shut up. Yeah, that's I'm me, poor. ignorant white trash. Thank I'm you, I'm proud to be. Proud of it. I'm fucking proud. Proud man. I am a proud... Ignorant, white trash motherfucker. (laughs) That's me. I'd rather be that than a dumb fucking stick your your nose up his ass liberal shithead that you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cunt. Don't say goodbye to me, man. I fucking hate you, too. He got you got that guy got his that guy. Oh, here's what annoyed me. It was not that he didn't agree he with you. He made some good points. Look, he, he really <laughs> had nothing. You guys are gonna no, have to. Didn't. You're gonna have to agree to disagree. I think. Yeah, I think we did. We got off That's on the an wrong agree foot. To disagree phone call. But just a fuck. <laughs> I think the second time we talk, it'll go a lot better. A little bit. I read Jesus. the World News and Report. Just like what a fucking. A guy who just, that's, the, that's that guilty, uh, it's always America's fault. But, uh, we get it, Bush was terrible, we get it, he didn't do anything right. But the CIA did release things to fucking, uh, to, to because con- Obama was making them look bad, which yeah, is great for the president course. to do, to yeah. his own intelligence agency. Make the CIA look bad. Uh, you know, he, that idiot doesn't understand. They released the rest of those documents 
to show that, hey, the president left something out. And there was results from this. And he goes, there wasn't results. Well, how do you know? They just released Show me one case, and then you showed him a case, and uh, he just can't. Yeah, but when he said uh, he reads U.S. News and Report, you should have said, well, I read Us Weekly. Yes, I read People. <laughs> uh, New York Times came out with report that we got info from waterboarding. You can look that up. Of course, we did. You want to go with another Ants Completely Wrong? Where was or? he? Yeah, I'd like Where to hear he? Ants Wrong. How could a guy when justify When did you guys that? become Fox News? Oh. Yesterday. It's amazing. Uh, what, people we, can't handle if you criticize Obama, your Fox News. That's Shut what it the is. fuck yeah. up. Sorry, we, I'm not MSNBC with my nose nuzzled up his fucking crack holy hole. Holy shit. We did two fuck hours you. of cock jokes and a little, just a little exactly. politics today. We talked about poopy. Yeah, we did poopy. Uh, we did cock. We yeah. did Fox News. We did uh, d- uh, uh, yeah, Fox strap-ons News. up the ass. What else did we do today on the show, Danny? A man bent his penis into a hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How, <laughs> how is that on Fox News? His <laughs> giant <laughs> sack into a wind sail. We didn't appreciate the wind sail. You're not going to see Sean Hannity doing that. <laughs> and then, and then no. you watched a video of a man just sticking the handle of a screwdriver into, into right. his cock hole until he bled. <laughs> And then picking you know glass what? out of his asshole. <laughs> and then we listen to our friend vomit. Can you get E-Rock in here? I think we got to pass that bit on to Sean Hannity. I think that would be a big hit on Fox News. Oh, yeah. You want another one, Ant? Well, let's see. we'll handle this one well, differently. I, I want to go to Mark in North Carolina because uh, we, need, we all need a little Truman knowledge today. Mark, yes. go ahead. Hi, guys. I think you guys need to just take a breath and calm down a little bit. What oh. you're forgetting, what you're forgetting. Mountain pose, everyone. Everyone up. What you're forgetting is the most important oh. lesson of the 20th century that Harry Truman taught us. If oh. you want to you beat the your enemy, I'm if listening you, to this guy talk about the atom bombs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you want to. If you want to beat your enemy, the only way to beat him is to be twice as brutal as he is. Exactly. That, that Harry de- Truman proved that. That deserves a holla, holla. But it's not. It, it, the bottom line is, it's, it's not even targeting soldiers or guys that are just doing their. Do- These are fucking people targeting civilians. They're trying to kill civilians. They know the civilians have no defense against them. They're yeah. targeting civilians, uh, th- and we cry if the government doesn't protect us. Uh, getting more knowledge, Michael in Toronto <laughs> writes. Bigums <laughs> magazine says no info came from waterboarding. <laughs> Bigums, <laughs> my favorite magazine title of all time. Is, I dare you to come up with a better magazine title. Than what that are they one. writing in Honcho? <laughs> Bigums and rules. Yes. Puerto Rican uh, inches. Says, is there a Bigums website? Puerto Rican inches. <laughs> Black inches. Uh, There's another one too. They're yeah, both bad. Oh, of course, oh, of course. I mean, you, subscribe to it. Yeah, like I don't know. Come on, Jimmy. Mm. Is there a big of a website? Unbelievable, that guy. But just, but the, but the whole ranty and uh, 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 and it's like I, I if, if they were torturing uh, soldiers just to get information, they should yeah. not be doing that. Not low level guys. But if you have the number three guy at Al Qaeda, who who people in Pakistan were telling you this is the guy, and we yeah. knew it was the guy, you have to get the information. How do you get information? Out of a guy who's a religious fanatic. He's not even a soldier. Yeah. He's a religious fanatic. It's based on the desire. These are guys that are willing to send their own guys to die because they think they're going to see God in 20 minutes. It's just you can't reason with people like no. that. So you, you, you fucking use uh, whatever techniques you can to get the information from them. Can I run down the phones because we'll never get to everybody? Oh, just yeah. Because we do try to do something that's a little different than Fox News and, uh, and MSNBC. So this is what's coming in. I'm not, I'm not editing. Kurt in Delaware, if we're humanitarians, we need to set the example and not waterboard. We also got, uh, we should let Saudi Arabia take care of it. We're humanitarians. We're not fucking sacrificial lambs. Right. We're not torturing civilians. Chris in Texas, we waterboard our own soldiers in training. Uh, pork chop, the trucker. W- waterboarding is not the worst thing we've done. Yeah, I'd love to uh, uh, hear about the other no stuff kidding. that we don't They're the show hear about. Demonstration now. I would love it. Uh, oh, is that waterboarding right there? Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Josh. <laughs> Good. Josh in New Hampshire writes, I'm an Iraqi, an Iraq vet. Just because Obama wants to change things doesn't mean interrogation will change. Uh, James, I just read in lips that we got no info from waterboarding. <laughs> <laughs> in lips? Wow. <laughs> is that a better magazine than Bigums? Lips is pretty good. What and, about, what's Bigums, Swank saying? And Bigums is spelled B-I-G-E-M-S, Danny. Is it? Yes. I did two tours in Iraq. Waterboarding is necessary. Uh, Russ in Texas. Obama was just trying to point out Bush's hypocrisy. Mm. And then you got Jay in Ohio. Anthony is... A douche. Huh? Correct. I can't see. Let me look. Completely wrong. 
completely wrong. Was the correct answer. All right. Let me just plunk him down for a minute. For real? Yeah, I just want to see why. <laughs> I'm not going to get on him. I just want to know why. Keep it, keep it, keep it I'll nice. I'll keep it very civil. Jay? <laughs> keep it nice. Jay? I'll on I get a 30 we're going we keep, on All right, we're going to be civil. Can we keep this, this civil? Right? Okay, why am I wrong? <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to start off. Hey, uh, little Jimmy was talking, asking about Pete Dominic. He has a show on uh, XM POTUS. He had a uh, FBI agent on that had uh, information, had wrote a book, talked to a lot of Al-Qaeda members, and did not have to use torture. Second, hold on. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, let me ask you about the thing you just said. Did the FBI agent? What level Al Qaeda guys did he question? Top level. <laughs> Top level. He the, um, when he was interviewed on Pete Dominic's show, he had to go by a uh, fake name because there are people actually looking for him to kill him and his family. So uh. he wrote a book under a fake name. <laughs> Yeah. You get paid when you do that. Exactly. Like what do you call that. it? Well, whatever. All right, go ahead. Um, Happy ending. Um, se- second, there's uh, the Geneva Convention. It's written right there. We're part of the Geneva Code. It's written right there. We're not supposed to do it. It's, let me, a, it's, it's illegal. How, it's let me illegal. ask you this. How do you, how do you when, again, when you're dealing with guys like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, or if we were ever able to get our hands on fucking... Uh, uh, Al- how do you say his name? Al-Zawahari, the number two, the Egyptian surgeon, yeah. who's right behind bin Laden and, and who's like the real spiritual fucking crusader in Al-Qaeda. You get your hands on, on guys on this level who are the guys that are not going to die themselves but are sending people to do it. They're plotting it. They're planning it. They're funding it. How do you handle them? How do you handle a guy like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed when you sit him down and he goes, you'll find out soon enough. What should we do? The, the, the thing is, we have to follow the laws that yeah. we are, are supposed to follow. So let's just say he. It's, it's, well, hold on, I'm hold on. Not, I'm not, what should we I'm do not. to stop the attacks? This is not just about finding out stuff in the past. This is about preventing things that are currently being planned, which are going to kill thousands of civilians. We have to follow. We have to follow the law. Uh, all right. Let me. Let me. Uh, let, now, okay. now you've said that three times, and I'm going to uh, answer you that uh, in this uh, instance. We are not, these are not prisoners of war, uh, my friend. So we are not um, holden to the uh, Geneva Convention in this case. We're not. Yes, yes, we are. No, no, we're not. No, we're we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. And also, also those, uh, the, the statements that were released by Obama, they were, had to be released because a news agency sued, and they had to be released from the Freedom of Information Act. Okay, but let, let me ask you this, though. Dude. If, let's just say for the sake of argument they had caught Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in uh, July of 2001 and had him, and let's just say we had the gift of hindsight or whatever it was, or foresight, and waterboarding him would have gotten him to throw up the information about what was coming on September 11th. Because we know what ha- we never will know what would have happened mm-hmm. in the Los Angeles airport because the attack was stopped. So it seems like a non-event. But let's just say that we could have gone back to July of '01 and and had uh, Khalid Mohammed what, waterboarding gets the information, not waterboarding. He sits there and goes, "You'll find out soon enough," because he's willing to go to jail for the rest of his life. What's your What's your answer? Yeah, my my answer, as painful as it is, and I know I'm wrong to say this. We have to waterboard them, but I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Okay, okay, but you do wrong. see, but no, dude, you do see the waterboarding. It's still, it's still wrong. It's not it's wrong. wrong. It's not wrong. Dude, do you know the Geneva, Con- Geneva Convention only applies to other countries' uh, soldiers? It's soldiers in a war. It's not. Uh, a- 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 it's not terrorists. Uh, Isn't this criminals. The war here? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a war. The war. These aren't. These aren't a country. These aren't a country's, a sovereign nation's soldiers. We're not taking uh, ex-Iraqi soldiers that we were in the war with in Iraq and uh, torturing them. Uh, we are taking terrorists. Uh, is it a way around the law? Maybe. I think it's, it might be a little loophole, but it's not breaking the G- Geneva Convention. It doesn't apply here. Right, right, it's right, like saying right, these right, guys right, these right, guys right, don't right, have the rights. Statement, by that statement right there, you know it's you no, know, well, no, you know they it's, don't have the know, rights. By that, state, by that statement no, right there. No, my statement made, was to, to my, the by statement. that statement right there right. you made is saying, well, is there a loophole? Yeah, that means you know. You technically is not supposed to do nope, it. Nope, that was just to liberals. No, 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 that 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 statement that I made was just to the liberals. 
to say, look, if it's a loophole, it's a loophole. Whatever the fuck it is. I don't think it is. I'm say, what I'm saying is that they're not uh, under our Constitution. They're not under our laws for fucking uh, speedy trial. They're not under our laws for uh, uh, cruel and unusual punishment or the Geneva fucking convention. They are there because they are trying to kill us, and we are finding out how, when, where, why, and avoiding it. And we have since 2001. We caught that that pirate that we caught, we're not supposed to treat him a certain way? Who? Are we just... Yes. Are we just supposed to beat him up no, and do no. the hell we want to? Dude, no, you, listen, no. dude, dude, dude. How deluded this guy is. He was... No matter, no matter what a wrong... He was or arrested. Or not make it right. Dude, that guy is afforded right. the constitutional right. Stop talking right. That guy is afforded rights under our laws because he is under arrest... Uh, by American uh, and and not by the military, he is under arrest so, um, for committing no, a and, crime. And, and the CIA is not a military. The FBI is not the military. So they're there to collect right intelligence right to protect our national security. That's their but, job. But they're not military. Uh, hey, Mike. I have a uh, question. Hey, Mike. 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 Stop yelling. Mike. Uh, Mike. Uh, stop. Uh, Mike. Uh, no. Uh, Mike. No. Three. Do you really uh, think? Two. Are you no, comparing the Mike? One. Will you stop? Shut so up! Holy shit! You. You're a horrible <laughs> conversation haver. One <laughs> thing at a fucking time. <laughs> One shit at a time. Yeah, you are I'm, you really I'm, comparing? I'm, I'm, shut your ass! I'm talking. Are you are you really right, comparing? No are you band. really comparing the arrest of this fucking eighteen year old pirate to Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? Is that the fucking best example you can pull up? No, you just made it for me by saying that the, he's he's not under military arrest. But he's also not a high-level terrorist. The CIA and the FBI. The he's not a high-level terrorist. It doesn't matter. He's still a person. We're so, we just, understand you're still a that. Person like a person. Oh, you oh, fucking no, you, no, child! No, not in every case, you don't. You're right. Look, Sir Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. But why did you say that he's a person? Why did you say you would have waterboarded him then? I, I put, like I said, it's wrong. But well, why'd you say you would have done it? So what? You admit it's wrong. It works. The, situ the situation Jimmy gave, I, I'm sorry, I have to do it. Looking at hindsight. So how I about the to. um? How about but the it's, potential it's LAX attack? Wrong. How about the potential Los Angeles airport attack or, or, or Los Angeles attack with the Asian airline? Yeah. How about knowing that was coming? Or how about uh, getting that information? It's still wrong. But Just, should they have done it or not? No, no, no. That we did, give him cookies, so talk cool. to him. Give him cookies and milk and talk to him. Hopefully yeah. they'll give up the information. Why, uh, oh, yeah, Lester, why pressure him? Listen, before, That's before it. You Obama's go. great. He's, He's amazing. Person. He right. treats That's everyone it. nicely and everyone will love this country. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, not hold on. You just keep talking. You're just yapping over everybody. All right, Jay. Thank, thank you. We gave you, Goodbye. We gave you almost 10 oh minutes. Oh, my God. I just can't believe there are people like this oh out there. It stuns me. It stuns me to no end that that 100% of this nation... Uh, doesn't remember 9-11, uh, uh, that it's not everybody. Like, that there's actually people out there that do not remember people falling to their deaths because fire was at their backs, that they had to jump out of a building, uh, one of the tallest in the world, and plummet to their deaths. And they just, they forget about it. The next day, everybody wanted fucking blood. Everyone. And, and and now it's like, they're people. They're people. Shut the fuck up. What people, what, here's what liberals no, have done. They're not. You have allowed your hatred of Bush mm -hmm. and your hatred of the Bush administration to cloud the appropriate hatred you should have of people that were legitimately being targeted by him. Like, you want to complain about the Iraq war? Or, uh, fine. But the, the people that were legitimately targeted in Al-Qaeda... Uh, uh, and who are legitimately fucking uh, uh, waterboarded for information. You're allowing your hatred yeah. of Bush and Cheney and the Halliburton stuff, and a lot of the legitimate arguments you have, you're allowing all that to bleed into what is, is the right stuff. He, even though he was a boob, he didn't do every single thing wrong. Right, right. It wasn't every... Everything he did wasn't completely wrong. No matter how much <laughs> you dislike a president, you can't say that every single act yeah. was wrong. Well, the instant feedback uh, went nuts. So you want me to read I a few of don't these? doubt sure. it. Okay. Booby Man writes, uh, according to Blackzilla. Booby Man? Excuse me, Booby Man? The Booby Man. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. uh, Booby Man writes, according to Blackzilla.com, no info was found from waterboarding. Blackzilla. 
I read in We, this is Mike and Matt, <laughs> oh, we. that torture never produced any info. Yeah. Fast Freddy, Jamaica Station, over 40, says that all this torture talk is a bunch of bunk and it's for the queers. Over 40? S- Scott S. from Quakertown writes, Black Tail Magazine says... <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Waterboarding is racist. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sean in Monroe, New Jersey, I read and shaved... <laughs> I read and shaved sniz. <laughs> <laughs> that waterboarding did bring positive results. Ah, uh, see? And Chris in Reading, Pennsylvania writes, I'm currently reading a placemat at my local diner and see nothing about waterboarding. <laughs> Ask him how he's doing with the maze yeah. on the back. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking flabbergasted. But the, the examples of guy, like we're talking about <laughs> high-level operatives who have yeah. all this information. They're targeting thousands of civilians at, at a time. They're trying to get uh, uh, weapons of, of uh, you know, fucking, like, they, they would love nothing more than to drop a fucking suitcase nuke in New oh, York. Oh, would they fucking uh, love that a dirty one. bomb. We're not talking about a pirate. Yeah. We're not talking about targeting every criminal. Yeah. It's like, we're not talking about targeting every soldier. No. No one is talking about that. There are restrictions on how and what level of... Uh, Suppose torture uh, you could use on uh, enemy combatants, as they've been called. Uh, there, there, there are levels that you use. There's a protocol there. They think they fucking think you're just grabbing these innocent people and shoving their heads in fucking water. It's that isn't what's happening. Guys like the guys that just called up and like we're so completely refusing to to yield an inch. Yeah. Guys like that remind me of women. Who go like and marry Richard Ramirez when he's in prison for raping and murdering? Oh yeah, right, they're these yeah. fucking people who are so deluded. They think that if they align themselves or somehow show gentleness or love towards the evil or rotten thing, that that thing won't hurt them. It's not it's, gonna... it's just silly. Do you think? Do you honestly? Let me give you a, a great example here um, of of trying to uh, have a rational conversation with a madman. Uh, do you think any? Um, the 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 most intelligent debater of Jewish descent would have been able to sit down with uh, Adolf Hitler and talk him out of his beliefs on hating the Jews. Do you honestly think any amount of sitting and talking with him would have stopped him from his want to exterminate the Jews from the face of the earth? No. I, I, you I, had to kill him. Why are you answering your own question? That was that. That would have been fun. I want to hear from any of these idiots that well, are calling that don't believe in waterboarding and everything, but, because that's the same mindset these motherfuckers have. They just want us dead. They want us dead. They don't want to talk. They don't want concessions. They don't want us to give them this or take that or gut. Go- They want us dead because we don't believe in their God and their way of life. We are horrible to them. The women being able to walk around exposed is fucking vulgar to them. It infuriates them. And they want us gone. Let's go to the phones again. I I can't go to them, but just so we get all uh, opinions uh, out there. Uh, Tony in Florida, I agree with Aunt Jim. These people are fucking animals. Dave in Kansas City, people are forgetting what type of people these terrorists are. Mark in North Carolina, there's only one crime listed in the Constitution. Do you know what that is, Ed? What's that? One crime listed in the Constitution. Uh, let me see. Prohibition, and then it was repealed. <laughs> Piracy. Uh, pirates are criminals. Terrorists attack national security. That's Rick in Missouri. Geneva Convention only applies to soldiers. That's Trevor in Texas. Mike in El Paso, doesn't anyone remember people getting their their heads uh, cut off? Former Green Beret, Paul writes, uh, these callers got me pissed off. I know. Screwy Louie in Buffalo, I don't care if they hold a flamethrower to their feet. So a lot more people agreeing with you at this point than uh, earlier. Yeah. And uh, Chris in South Carolina, if waterboarding's wrong, what about the fucking A-bomb? Because it's the the people you're talking about waterboarding are not... Foot soldiers. No. We're not talking about just guys that were fucking picking up arms and fighting. I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about guys that you know. Mm-hmm. When you're on that level in the intelligence community, you know if you have somebody who knows something. They don't have. They don't have any idea of what the Geneva. Like they pull out the Geneva Convention, having no idea what it is, what it applies to. It doesn't apply to these people. 
Neither does the Constitution. They're in Guantanamo Bay under the jurisdiction of uh, uh, Homeland Security, <laughs> who can go down there, the CIA, uh, and, and, and question these people and use tactics that are completely acceptable. We, me, we demand protection and then fucking bellyache oh. because the methods are unpleasant. Yeah. Let, let's go to the former group. Another conspiracy theory will come up. If, 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 if we fucking slip up and, and don't interrogate people, misinformation, and then get attacked again... These same motherfuckers will be going, it was an inside job, man. The government, the Republicans, this one, that one. Shut up. Let's go to the uh, <laughs> former Green Beret, Paul in Texas. Paul, you're on the Opie and Anthony uh, show. Good evening. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I want to re. First of all, I want to emphasize, Anthony, you are completely correct with all your Thank info, you. as usual. Thank you, the Geneva sir. Convention, okay, first of all, I can tell when these clowns get on there and try to go head-to-head -head with you, I can tell just by the way they talk, they have never worn the uniform, they have never sacrificed their body, their mental, mental soul, or anything, for nothing except for, oh, maybe a little cock in the ass. Um, but anyway, um, the Geneva Convention, is, you're correct, it, it applies only to soldiers and soldiers in combat, and when you take soldiers as prisoners of war. Terrorists do not get that luxury of the Geneva Convention. No. They are threats to the national security. Therefore, when you have them in custody, you have to use any means necessary to get information to protect this country. Now, quite frankly, waterboarding is nothing compared to what they do over there, strapping batteries, to batter springs and tying it to it, hooking battery cables to your ears, heating up hot mm. tools and burning you, sticking drills in you, things like that. That is what is called savage terrorist tactics to get information. We yeah, don't that's do torture. That. Waterboarding is minute. Other things that we use, you know, you inject them with a little bit of true serum, slap them around a little bit. You know, you get the information you need. And there has been plenty of information that has been obtained from waterboarding. Finding terrorist camps, training areas, things like that. And these clowns, they have no idea. And, you know, you're right, Anthony. I agree with you. I consider Obama, or it was Jimmy that said it, he's a traitor for doing that, wanting to stop black op operations and, you know, CIA waterboarding tactics. We have to have that to protect this country. Let, yeah. me, say, let me say, look, yeah. traitor is, you know, I said traitor. <laughs> and I'm not, it's like, do I, of course he's not. It's just... My, it's it's such an irritating quality to go after guys who are, who are doing what has to be done to people that really do need to have it done to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? To me, yeah. if you're the president and you're doing that, it's disgraceful. By the way, Anthony, did you get your book a couple years ago that I left? Uh, I gave to uh, Kenny at one of Jimmy's shows in uh -oh. Dallas? Say yes. He's a Green Beret. He, uh, yes. It was, uh, it was a book. Uh, it was called the Nazis. There was a really neat picture in there of the, the guy smiling, doing the dirty deed. I, I gave it to Kenny. I don't know if he got it. I just wanted to make. Oh, well, I think sure Kenny, Kenny ate it on the plane. Let me just say, I, I love listening to you guys every single morning, and uh, my load today and my big truck that I'm hauling, I have electronic items for the general public. Hey, Paul, you like the show? Uh, what do you like about the show? You're not going to oh. get me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> he is a fan. Fuck you. <laughs> Paul. There, there we go. go. All right, Bye. Paul, thanks. Hey, you know, we, uh, Pete, that guy mentioned Pete Dominic. Pete's a comic. He's a buddy of mine. Ultra liberal. He's enraging politically. Oh, I But bet. he's a funny dude. He's a, he's a fucking, uh, you know, he does a pretty good show for me. I've only did it once, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to have him on one time. He, oh. He's he's fun, man. He's That'd very be fun. Pete's he look. I, I don't agree with him, but he's a, he's very uh, out with his opinion. He's not. He doesn't. You know, he speaks his mind. Yeah. He'd be a very interesting guy to have on, I think. Very good. And then he likes to kiss yeah. other men, so I think we would all enjoy each other at oh, the end. Oh, interesting. Well, if things go uh, bad, <laughs> we can make up with a good uh, blowjob. I, I say a little less of that on this show. It would be nice. <laughs> I disagree. Yeah, right. Can we get a Bigums magazine for tomorrow? <laughs> That's all I want to look at now. Did you find any Bigums website, Danny? Well, I don't think it's a real... I mean, it wasn't... It's, I think you're thinking of Biguns, which was Al Bundy's favorite magazine on Married with Children. No, there's an actual... Me and my brother were checking it out. Maybe I'm really? getting the name a little wrong. Biguns? Yeah, Biguns. I don't know. I never remember that one. I know, yeah, Biguns was... Biguns. Uh, right. Was, uh, was from Married with Children. Married with Children. Uh, am I getting this wrong? 
Somebody help me out. I'll go to a uh, newsstand and figure <laughs> go it out. Go to a newsstand and ask them. I'll figure it out myself. Fuck it. Ah, uh, shit. We should wrap up because now we can't get... S- well, no, we should do really fast because it's a big story today. The, uh, uh, the turbulence. Ooh. Some woman. Was yeah. it another continental flight? Continental flight to yeah, Houston. They get some weird things going on. They're a safe airline, but they get the weird ones. The weird things <laughs> happen. At- yeah, there it is. <laughs> See, that's big, Al Bundy big looking at big, big guns. As in big guns. And Griff right. looking at black big guns. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, big guns or... Big guns. Or, uh, someone will help me out. I'm, I, I got to uh, hang up on everyone. Big cocks? We're moving on from waterboarding <laughs> for now. We'll, we'll certainly go back to that. We like to get serious on the show. A lot of people don't under, realize that it's not just dick jokes. Let's waterboard um, E-Rock. That would rule. We'll Could see we if we can it? waterboard him. Why not? <laughs> yeah, ask the lawyers. <laughs> If we could waterboard Whoa, E-Rock. Hold on. Oh, my God. First It'll opportunity to play my, my new sting. I would try hold being on, waterboarded. What would management say? say. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. Maybe we won't ask. <laughs> That's great. Dude, I would fucking, I would allow someone to waterboard me. Uh, would you? Yeah, because it would only be like for one or two. Ooh. I just want to see what it feels like. And I'm have sure. like a, one of those uh, words, safe word, like you do with a yeah, dom stop. or something like that. <laughs> stop. No, you can't do that. You have to go until, because you might say, like, oh, stop, stop, and you know, no means yes. No, because your mouth is fucking full with a rag. You had a wet rag in it. So oh. That is something. They, it looks like they shove it down their mouth and put it over their nose and then just, just like, pour streams of water over the fucking rag. It's a wet rag. rag. It's, it's a really That's rough one. That's got to be hard to so, breathe in. So, Jimmy, what are you yeah, saying? Yeah. What are you saying? What are you saying? I would. Uh, How fast would you give uh, well, give it up? Immediately, as soon as, I, <laughs> as soon as they pulled the rag out of their pocket, I'd be like, "All right, I got it." Right. <laughs> Here we go. So, what do you want? I want to be uh, waterboarded. What would management say? say. <laughs> I am willing wow. to try it. Yeah. Uh, the turbulence, uh, turbulence story. She's in the bathroom, and so- turbulence struck. And she fucking smashed her head on the ceiling. Which the turbulence way, is also called bumpy bumps. But yeah, well, that's <laughs> yes. what the pilot will say. <laughs> Technical term. <laughs> He'll say we're going to be hitting some uh, bumpy some, bumps, <laughs> some the equivalent of air genital warts. <laughs> and uh, you know, the, you know, the the bathroom design is just built for paralysis because the fucking <laughs> the ceiling slopes down because of the yes. shape of the plane. And I guess it dropped and she smashed her head on the ceiling. and uh, Bends she's your neck, I guess, yeah. Paralyzed below the chest down. Oh. No more bathroom runs during the bumpy bumps. Dude, they're going to lock the bathroom during yes. bumpy bumps. Yeah. Uh, Tracy in Pennsylvania. Tracy, help me out. Hey. Hey, hey. Tracy. Um, yeah, I used to work for a magazine distributor. I'm big and is an actual magazine. Yes. Uh, it was about eight years ago. I am going to go find some bigums. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. See, I told You're you welcome. guys. Let's all bring in our silly porno tomorrow. I don't have any. What's your favorite silly porno? I, I don't. It was always like um, just the Hustler, Beaver Hunt in there. Hustler still is good. We get we yeah. get a Hustler in this joint. It's because Hustler's not oh, just. Oh, I mean, we don't get Hustler oh. in this joint. My God, we why would to. I say that? That's crazy. Uh, An actual yeah. porno magazine in the Opie and Anthony show. What oh. would management say? say? That would be bizarre. Why would we? Yeah, that's nuts. That. Uh, so yeah, so she's paralyzed, and there's a lawsuit, and, and blah blah blah. That must have been some bump. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Can we can we end with a laugh? You got anything fun Won't over there, you. Danny? I thought that story or, was supposed to. Yeah, right. What? Yeah, we didn't get the laugh we were hoping for though. I, when I stand a piss though in the uh, bathrooms, I always keep my hand on that rounded part of oh, the ceiling. Oh yeah. So if, if it hits a bump, yourself. at least a little bit steady. Yeah. What do mm-hmm. you got? Mm-hmm. Ah, penthouse, penthouse. Is, is good, but we're going Getting for silly it? porno. You know what it is. Penthouse has nude women on, in it. You could get nude women anywhere. Hustler at least has some funny jokes. You laugh your balls off at some yeah, of those bad cartoons. Don't forget great. about the cock in Penthouse. Yeah, nice. uh, oh, yeah. yeah. The Penthouse throw, has changed over the years. They have to throw the cock in there. They were into pissing for a audience. while. Ooh, and they were into, like, yeah, the cock. The, the cock. Danny has handed me the, the laugh that we're going to go out on. Ah. I'm hoping. I'll be on Red Eye tonight, by the way. We know. Oh, Jimmy. And I may be doing something next week, too. That's a big secret. Shh. When are you going to let what us know, it? Jimmy? Um, sometime next week. Yes. Ain't yes. a major deal. For me, it's cool, but it ain't a big deal. TV show? Um, big deal. Possible, possible not. This girl is very small Ooh. taint. All right, here we go. Really? Here we yeah. go. It's a little footbridge. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Hit it. 
Knee problems will play for the Hawks, meaning the Flames have yet another Chicago speedster to contend with. Meantime, for Calgary, defenseman Corey Sears. Cocksucker. Oh, he's done so well. Okay. So Chicago, uh, Roger Millions, obviously, uh, reporting from uh, Chicago with a bit of a, a blooper uh, on that one. <laughs> that went out live. A bit of a blooper. <laughs> Cocksucker. Cocksucker is a bit of a blooper. That's more than a bit of a blooper. Yikes. That's a job changer. Yeah, that is a so fired, yeah. completely fired. They probably just played the wrong, you know, clip. Oh, you think he did uh, the... Uh... He probably did it properly, but what, what, what's that? What? I don't know. He's just... Danny's well, we, just we, distracted we... me with a copy of Babyface magazine. What I is... had this one. What's Babyface oh, magazine? One? It was some of the. It was better than barely legal. Teensy teens, they're tiny. They're so little. <laughs> all over. All over. <laughs> so they have little boobies yeah, and ba- little. It says babes, brats, and virgins. Oh, this one was good. And also, uh, well, what's my... their stance on waterboarding? Uh, they they're for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Chester's uh, liver brings the whole turbulence uh, story together for everybody. Oh, instead of joining the Mile High Club, she came close to joining the Six Feet Under Club. Oh. oh, that's not very nice. Can we go home now? Yes. yes. I want to go home. I want to go home because I have to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nappy naps. Yeah. Time for nappy naps. Not Let's to, rock. Not to be confused with bumpy bumps. Oh. Let's go because I got to take a shitty shit. Speaking of <laughs> porno magazines. <laughs> I uh, I found a copy of Over Forty somewhere. I don't you know did. Where. I think it was like one of my dad's old ones. And you'll never guess who's inside. Who? Sandy Kane. No yeah, way. No swear to God. What was it? Here. Way the fuck over forty? Yes. Yeah, over well, four hundred. <laughs> it, it was an over forty from like the eighties. So <laughs> bring you, that in. I, I gotta find it. Bring I it in. bought that magazine because oh. I didn't see the zero. Uncle Paul. <laughs> oh, Uncle. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, this magazine was great. They don't make it anymore. Of oh, I, I, all I wonder why. They're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's miss. It's miss three o'clock. Um, does she have braces yeah, she, on the on the way? Uh, by the way, on that cover, she absolutely does. It's a stunning little uh, photo there Let's of see um, that. Uh, yeah. ba- any back issues? Uh, any way to get some back issues that, that's, of that's baby the face? That's the website I was on. It's all oh, to get back stuff. issues. Dude, there was a guy. Boning in the- daddy's little girl uh, is one of the stories. <laughs> Why Eva just digs older men. Teaching Petra to give head. Yeah, she was in a lot of those, Petra. A little flatty with a big surprise. <laughs> that's cover girl Emma. Oh, is that her? What's her big the surprise? Does she have big pussy? Hopefully. What's it Emma's surprise, like she's got Danny? like a little bit of Maybe she has a babes, pe- brats, and virgins. Oh, Maybe she has a penis. Wonderful. I want to have a babes, brats, and virgins party. Me too. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> Broadcast live on mogulus.com slash Anthony Radio. <laughs> Sam. This is the best magazine ever. When's the video go up? Oh. The, the cheese video. Wow. Anal. Hells yeah. Sam's right outside. Sam. Uh, yes. Uh, young Sam, Sam, so come in here with your fucking. Are we ready to put up the uh, Real Rock TV oh, well. clip of us going through the drive-through and sharing a piece of cheese? Soon, soon. All right. Might have to make him wait a little bit, but yeah, soon. we'll make him wait. Yeah, till the nap's over. That's Early good. afternoon. It'll be good. Yeah. Okay, let's go home. All right, All right. Let's bye guys. Get. Little.